Alrighty, welcome to the second live stream of the bow build, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Shinshi channel. Today, 
We may get some co-op gameplay in here. I'm supposed to be playing with Six. Uh, I was supposed to play with him last weekend when the, the stream shut down. So we'll get him in here eventually. Uh, he can't get on quite yet. But we'll get some co-op going. Uh, we'll really just be finishing our faction quest. Um, and then seeing what we can done, uh, get done after that. So that's the goal for today. We will see what happens. Uh, you never know. So, But uh, welcome to the, another live stream, Ren Heffern. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's up, Showtimers? How's it going? Our next step for anyone who wants to be caught up from last time, we got to talk to Cyrene. We did the first step of the faction quest. Uh, time for step uh, step two. So, it should require a starting a war, I think, or finishing a war. One of those two things. Both very important. I wonder if this will inspire me to try bow again. I gave it a very brief shot when I first picked up the game. Quickly proceeded to get wrecked by a chicken. Gave up. <laughs> now, bow's very strong. I was, I was on the fence about it, but what? it's very good. Alright, so basically we're going to war. That's what we got going on. Crafty. No, you're a somewhat recent addition to the city. Slums, okay. It's possible the people in the slums might open up to you. Go talk to the people in the slums. Alright. Let's go extract information from our slum friends. But yes. Okay. Oh, we can loot gabberries. It's not a bad thing to have in my inventory. Alrighty, let's get back into the bow build. I'm pretty excited. The last bow build was... last bow stream was awesome. <laughs> it went way better than I thought. Maybe I can get my... Um, my other legacy item today. I don't know if we're going to the Hall of Marsh anytime soon, but... Who do I need to talk to? Probably Pigeon Eye? Yeah, yeah, should be Pigeon Eye. What's up, Mio? Welcome to the Sheen Shot stream. Hey there. Yes, he does I have information for us. Okay, Sorborians are concerned. They have no interest in helping us. Okay. I won. And that's it. Now, is that all of the info that I can learn, or can I talk to one other person? We're going to find out. What now? Looking for info. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to fight him, don't we? Not interested, or I want to train with you. What now? Mm. Run you 50 silver, teach you technique. Really useful to shank someone who owes you money. Yeah, I don't know. It's not letting me fight him for some reason. Okay. What's up, everyone? I'm glad I can catch this stream. I don't have work today, so I might stay for the whole stream. Oh, what's awesome? Uh, that's awesome. Just live. Nice. I really thought I could... They're supposed to be able to fight this guy. What now? Do I not have silver? That's what it is. I need 50 silver. I was going to say, I know for a fact you can fight him. Uh, he has, like, this shady fight club he runs. And I'm like, dude, I know for a fact. I can just sell stuff to, uh, the smuggler. You touch it, you buy Oh, the Chimera it. Pistol. Nice. Uh, I need 30, right? We can sell this, because we don't need that. Sell meat. Maybe these... I actually like plant tents, so I'm going to keep those. Oh, where's all this? Okay. All right, now we should be able to enter the ring and fight him. We're all praying to the anti-lag gods for you, Sheen. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay, where am I at here? Loot this chest. Absolutely crap. Thank you for iron, though. Okay. Yeah, the second option he gave me was just... uh. He wants to give me the skill. I can't remember. I think it's the sword skill, puncture. Now I should be able to do it, though. What now? <laughs> yeah. Fine. So we head down into the area here and we can fight him. Under City Passage. You live. What's up, Kumashi? Shishi? Kumashishi? I am live, yes. Very excited to be live. Hey, Sheen, is your Mana Knight build still viable? Yes, Dakota, the Mana Knight is still viable. I would maybe change... 
Uh, I would maybe change to Gep's Blade for certain areas of the game, but that is definitely still viable. Alright, friend. Yep. Yes, two shot him. You're not very strong, Marcus. Okay, we want to find Sand Corsairs. What is the dialogue options? Because I never know this. We got three. I could spread the word that you leaked their location. They kill you anyway. Maybe I should ask Cyrene to interrogate you or tell me, and I'll be the one slitting your throat. Or I will. Cyrene will pardon me for anything I have to do to get this information. We're going to go with option two. I feel like that is the right one. Listen up. Ah, yeah. You're just going to tell me. Corsairs are drip feeding into the slums. Comes from... Oh, the food is from the old ruined tower. South of Levant, west of the Sand of Sea, there's a little canyon entrance along the mountain walls, which should be the slide. The ruined tower is at the end of it, I think, right? Those guys are from the Blue Chamber Collective. One of those guys fought here the other day, and I swear, clear as day, he had the Sutherland family crest tattooed on his shoulder. So this is the... This faction quest is where you get to see kind of the dirty insides of the factions. What's going on? Interrogate the scouts inside a fort in Abrasar. Go south of Levant. Oh, no, I know where this is. I know where this is. What's up, Heffron? Grilled ribeye. Hey, what's going on? Stream is going to make my work night fly by. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, remember to pull this so we don't fall into a den of troglodytes. Is Bloody Alexis here? Bloody Alexis may be here. Let's buff up for that. Um, stamina. We're not that good on stamina. We should refill on that when we go back to town. But yeah. Pistols are nice. Saving money for Chimera. Yeah, I think I actually have enough money for the Chimera. We may get that when I go back. Oh, okay. Bloody Alexis is definitely... There she... There it Look, Bloody Alexis right there. Boom. We're gonna do something crazy, though. You ready? Oh, yeah. That should have done a lot of damage. I don't actually have to fight anyone here because I can just leave, but... I don't know. Felt necessary to me. Haha! <laughs> Snipe. This is actually really fun, I gotta say. The the bow is pretty fun. Okay, where's Bloody Alexis? We gotta take... Is it her or him? Alexis is a name that's like boy and girl. How do you like the bow build? Is it something you would run daggers with or is it better off being strictly bow? I actually think it's better off being strictly bow. There is a way to do it with daggers. Uh, I gotta say, I like it with just bow, though. Oof, that was close. Gotta be careful. His attack will kill us quickly. Here we go, here we go. Playing just the bow makes it feel more... You really get used to the attacks with the bow. Okay, we need to get out of this position. I feel like I'm going to fall off the cliff here. Okay. I did drop my backpack. That was intentional. Ooh, look at the sidestep. Oh my word, I love it. Can't even touch me, bro. Can't even touch me. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? And sniper. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, see, with the dagger, you could do it with the dagger. It's a, There's a very easy way to do it with the dagger, but... Uh, I think bow's strong enough to just, just... Just go ahead and just go bow. You're gonna do it. Okay. He's gonna die, too. These guys, the long-range guys, I actually found out the spear guys are the ones you want to watch out for. Because they'll hit you before you realize it. Okay. Now we simply leave, and we can go to... Um, There's this... There's actually an area in the desert. Uh, you guys have done this before, probably know. Like, no one ever goes to, and that's what this part of the quest is. Like, spears with bows. Yeah, the spear is a good backup to a bow. Um... Dagger works because if you have a war bow, you can inflict confusion. But yeah. Good luck, Sheen. I'm here to just uh, lurk. I need to start my stream. <laughs> What's up, Lazy? How's it going? 
Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get back into the bow build here. Oh, let's do this, guys. You want to see this? Okay, here's my setup here. Oh, it's too far away. I should probably drop my backpack. Now I'm out of mana, but it shouldn't matter. One hit. Boom. I I like, uh, at least till mid-game, you gotta have a backup for the bow, I think. For certain enemies. Um, in the end game, you won't need it, though. What's up, monkey? How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How you doing? Good evening. What's up, Eric? Welcome to the stream. The problem with the desert, though, guys... Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but there's no wood in the desert. <laughs> uh, the arrows that I have are the arrows I have to run with. Like the tent video dropped. Uh, be sure to horror tent, but then didn't say anything about it. Any thoughts now that you're live stream? Yes, I didn't. I didn't say anything about it. I mentioned it in the video actually towards the end. I did put the info about it. It's not a useful tent because how it works is is you have to use horror kite to craft it. But the uh, and you get two of them, but they're not. You can't pick them back up. So they look epic. They're really really cool, but they're not very useful, especially now that corruption corrupts you much faster. I'd say if you actually want to use them for corruption, they'd be pretty good in Caldera. But that's about it. The tree up by city main entrance. Yeah, I think that's one of the few trees in the whole region. So the horror ten is very very cool. It's called the Scourge Cocoon, but it's just kind of. It has very little use uh, since DE, I think. It's cool, though. Just got off work. Good to see uh, the weekend. I was outward been for you. Uh, been good. Yeah. Been good. Last stream on Tuesday was awesome. Had a lot of fun with the bow build. Oh, look. It did go through him. That's the first time I've been able to get him to do that. Awesome. These guys are actually pretty formidable, and we've been taking them out left and right because, uh, bow? <laughs> but I will take their iron. Fine with that. Where'd this other guy die? Did he sink in the sand? No, he's right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that gave me a lot of stuff to decraft. Right here. And spear. Okay, there should be more bandits in here. Where are they at, though? Oh, they're far. They're far. Is there iron? No, no iron. Yeah. But yeah, the, the Scourge Coon is pretty cool. I, I showed a little of the details in there when I was going over some of the other tents near the end, but it's just like, why use it, really? Sorry, dude. I don't want to get ice shot. We need to get blessed, guys. We need to get the blessed boon so we can do more damage with our bow. Here we go. Oh, nope. He didn't get me. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. Gotta be careful when you get in that close range. Two desert tunics? What is this? What is this? Hey, Sheen, you gonna get Murmur? I've been farming birds for weeks. Uh, I will actually get Murmur. I don't know how much I'll use it because I already have kind of a setup in mind. I will grab it, though. If I can find the dumb Pearl Bird mask, I'll make the full thing. But... Oh, yeah, there is a... This is the only reason in the entire game to go here. I don't think I've ever gone here other than... For this quest. I really don't think so. Is there an ornate chest in here? There might be. Pearl birds hate me. I got it once the first time I played. Now never again. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I get... First uh, Definitive Edition came out. I got it twice. I haven't got it since. So. Wishing you best of luck. Thanks, Azusio. Thank you. Appreciate that. Dang, a bow makes those desert lieutenants a piece of cake. Grilled Rabbi says, yeah, it really does. It really does. All right, this guy has some words for us. Not happening. We're gonna we're gonna fight him. 
Someone's about to get it. Because why not, guys? We have the ability, we have the strength. I don't see a reason not to. Now, if they hit me, it doesn't feel good. Occasionally, you have to take a hit, though. Oh, I need to put more arrows in my inventory. Oh, shoot. How did I click on the arrows and the um, skill at the same time? Yeah, you gotta watch them spear, guys. Run around the table. Okay, okay. We can sniper shot him. And he should die now. Boom. He's dead. Now, I don't know what I was supposed to learn, though. I forgot. Uh, did they buff Royal Manticore in DE? Yes, because of protection. Protection got buffed. They didn't actually specifically buff him. But due to the fact that protection now gives enemies more stability and you more stability, he is harder. Uh, I don't need any of that, I don't think. Oh, there should be a note somewhere, right? Yes. Maybe it's up here. If there's not a note, it already updated the quest. Okay, plant tent. Uh, we actually will take those for later. Talk to Yazan and Levant. Okay, so it did update. This was surprisingly easy. Those lieutenants can give you a run for your money. Truly think it's because I'm doing a bow build. Because if you... The pearl birds know that you're going for murmur. Yeah, they don't want you to have it. I find that usually when I get my pearl bird masks, it's when I don't care to have it at all. Don't care to have it at all. Yes, yeah. Uh, he. I actually have been having trouble with the... The Royal Manticore is one of the hardest enemies in the game. Even though he's not as hard as some of the unique bosses, he's still hard because... The dude's attacks are fast. That's the honest truth. The dude's attacks are insanely fast. I need blood mushrooms to make more health potions. They're killing me on this. There's more bandits? Bro. Do boons stack? Uh, what do you mean by boons stacking, John Clan? What do you mean by that? Boons have individual damage. Like, they do each of the elemental damage. Um... I want to say the answer to your question is yes, but I want to know what you mean for sure before I say that. Getting used to the movement of the bow, I feel like, was the hardest part. Now that I kind of have it down, it's not too bad. Just made the Sar Claymore and has never looked back. This Sar Claymore is freaking ridiculous. Okay, tired of this guy. Run towards him. Sniper shot. That didn't kill him? This dude's on some steroids. For real. Boone's infusion? Oh, uh... The mace infusion skill? Infusions, no, no, they don't stack. Once you put on another one, it will get rid of the previous one. The damage stacks. So, like, the way infusions work, or they're called imbues, is... You put them on your weapon... And they increase the elemental damage by 25% and add a small amount of damage, I think. Um, but you can't put more than one imbue on a weapon at a time. If that helps. Hopefully that answers your question. I just kind of stood there and took that one. Sometimes... The running, because like you can't activate, a, you can't pull your bow back immediately after running. You have to take some time, and that can be quite annoying. All right, that guy's gonna die from bleed. We don't want to fight him anymore. Right about now, yeah. Very fun, very fun. You're not in danger of getting hit most of the time with this build. Thanks for clarification. Okay, yeah, that did help. All right. Sometimes answering a question is like, I don't know what you mean, but I'm glad that helped. Yeah. Monsoon's your favorite city. Monsoon's awesome. I think Levant has to be one of my favorites. Harmattan for sure is my favorite. I love Harmattan. Harmattan has a sense of... 
like a like a scholarly adventure. This is what our Matin has. I also like the. What do you call it? Is it a czar? No, it's not a czar. It's the marketplace. I really like that. Yeah, Zuzio, our Matin. That's, that's my favorite too, for sure. Just entered Levant for the first time, and it's so beautiful. Was blown away by the colors and architecture of the city. First playthrough. Yeah, Levant's beautiful. They have a lot of government issues and political problems, like most big cities, but uh, it is beautiful. Saving our Madden and the volcano area for last two areas to explore. That's how I do it. That's a good idea. I want to go to Caldera, though. I need to get the... I don't know what I want from the Friendly Immaculate. Either the Bone Cage or the Tent. Probably not the Bone Cage, though, because of the stamina. I'll probably get Brigand's Backpack. It's never a bad thing to have. We're going to grab a bunch of wood, and we're going to make as many arrows as we can and store what we can't make. I think that's a good decision to make. Pains me to see you delete Steel Swords. Dozens of scrap from them if you sold one. Yeah, I guess that's true, but... I don't know, that's where my mind's at. Anything iron, scrap it, sell it. You know what I mean? It's worked so far. <laughs> it's worked so far. Can't go back to my ideology. I'm planning to go burst archer or damage over time archer. Um... It's a good question. Alvaro, welcome to the stream. The plan is to go burst damage with lightning. So we get a lot of lightning damage out front. Um, if that doesn't work, we're going to go AoE. Not AoE. We're going to go overtime effects from Hex. Can I? Uh, but again, that's if things don't work. But so far, they are. I don't see them dropping off yet, even though it is beginning game. So We have more time before we know for sure, but... All right, how much arrows do you think we can craft here? There should be a craft all button. Like how many of these? Oh my word. I know we had a bunch of iron. You planning to do the city in Caldera? I am on this character. I'm going to do fully beat Caldera. I really need to for some videos. So That is a yes. That didn't make as many as I thought it would. But. You've played maybe No Towns Challenge on Hardcore. I haven't. I did play a Hardcore twice on stream. I don't know if I'll ever do it again because it's just annoying to create a cool character and then mess up one time and I delete my character. I prefer to, you know, play around with the builds a bit more. Um, so I don't know if I'll ever do Hardcore again. I see. But I'd like to do some things like that. Maybe if I do a challenge run like that. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, I could try going in for the tunnel to cut them off. Yes. That should work. Okay, so now I can actually get through. Because he says here, I took this key from a Corsair I killed the other day. So this is how you get through the slide to Old Levant. Although it's the same key. It's the exact same key. So I wonder why it didn't work last time I went there. If you're going lightning, what armor are you going to wear? I actually have half of the armor set already. So check this out. This is the arcane hood. White arcane hood. It's only a small bonus. The white mage hat would be better. But I don't like the... I like the cooldown on this. So I grabbed this. This is enchanted with twang for the lightning damage. And then the boots have flux. Uh, because the boots have to have negative stamina cost for me. It is the same key, you just don't have to snag it from the Mantis. Well, then how come the gate didn't open earlier? Because I went there and I couldn't open the Can gate. You? Hmm. We're going to find out soon enough. Okay, we need to buy jams, probably meat, because I have some money here. Okay. Seed our turnips. I don't know where we keep getting these turnips, but... 
You can buy Brigham's backpack in the city, or do you want to focus on other special buildings? I do want to do a couple buildings. Number one, I need an enchanting building. I want to make the arena for the specialist. And I have to get the upgrade for the Heroic Kingdom. I can't remember which it is. Those are the only three I have to have. I think the Heroic Kingdom upgrades off of the capital building. Maybe. Quest base, so even with the key, you can't open it unless doing quest. Okay. Thank you for the clarification there, Homar. I was wondering. Alright, we'll make more of these teas. Of which we can apparently make a lot of. Wow. Alright, how full is our backpack? We don't want to go with two... I mean, I love Mofinos, guys. Also, by the way, the scaled leather with the extra pouch. Nice. It's nice. Uh, we have a lot of teas. We could get rid of those, but why do that when we don't need to? Plenty of arrows. I say we're good to go. What's the quest step? Go to Old Levant in the northwest of Abrasar, pass through a cave, and a slide. Okay. Um, and I can move these to back. I'd like to be a little bit less weight, but we're, we're good. Would be nice to get these special arrows in Caldera. Oh, the shop. That's what it is, Saffron. Thank you. The shop is one I have to make as well. The shop and the specialist arena. For those elemental arrows, but also grenades. Uh, this build could actually utilize lightning grenades very, very well. If I get to use to them. Kerouax Breakthrough. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. What's up, Hero? How's it going? Welcome to the chat. City Hall. So you could buy brigands and go for the tent from the Immaculate. Okay. Well, I also know where to get the tent. You can farm the tent from the Ark. So. Yes, this is where we can get the Pearl Scent Mail. Either we can get it now or after this. I think we have to wait till after. No, we get it now, I think. We'll find out. It's hard to remember some of these minor quest things. Okay, so what was the thing I made? I made Stringy Salad. So this helps with just heals. Oh, that's actually worse than cactus then. Interesting. So, yeah. It's going well. Hope the bow life is still treating you well. Yeah, it actually is, Hero. Uh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Quite a bit. We have plenty to do. Numerous enemies to fight still uh, to test its capabilities. But we want to complete the faction as soon as we can. Just because stringy salad is terrible. Barely heals. Yeah, it's not looking very good. Not looking very good. Alchemist shop and hall. To get arena later. Okay. Yeah, we'll get the alchemist shop probably first then. More flaming arrows. Save those up for later. I have a couple arrows that I've saved up. You really can't save that many, though. Doesn't seem like it. You don't get enough. You get, like, one to three per drop. Alright, cactus. And let's use spark so we can get our mana back. Mana burn is annoying, but uh, Hex Mage will fix that soon, so... Next mage will be getting rid of that. Only problem with getting the rare materials needed for those special buildings. Yeah, the rare material rare materials are quite frustrating. Yeah. I think we have it down to where we'll clear out old Sirocco enough and go through the caves that we'll be fine. I did that with Liger last time and it seemed to work. So we'll be all right. Do we think I can pick this guy off? He is fighting the assassin bug. He already killed the other one, though. Oh, nope. He, uh... uh... He already killed one. That's not good. Hey, Say. What's up? I don't know how to say your name, unfortunately, but... What's up? <laughs> it's going good. It's going good. It's 
still be here, but mostly lurking. Okay, Zucio. Sounds good, mate. Sounds good. City Hall upgrade is intense uh, because you need six houses, which is basically building the whole city. Right. And there's going to be a lot to learn while we build that as well. I have not built the full city by myself yet, so. There'll be a little bit of a learning curve there. Don't think White Arcane Hood looks so sick. I don't care about damage bonuses in this case. Uh, I don't know. I like it. It's going to match really well with our Ash Armor we get later. Which Ash Armor, by the way, it's going to be really nice. Helps with the temperatures, actually. Don't worry. The way you're saying it is all right. Okay. All right, say. <laughs> I try. So that's another funny thing about streaming is I've noticed, like, I see a lot of different names in chat. And I'll be like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this is still down because we came back not too long ago. Simple tent. That's actually better than the tent we have, I think. I think all I have is a bedroll. No, I have a simple tent, so. Useless. All right. Another alchemy kit. That is the third one we've found in the last half hour. All right, open this up. I won't be able to get the ornate chest. Right. And there will be bandits, I think. Yeah, it does look great for the back. The beak is kind of weird. I, I agree. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Bleed went through both of them. They are both bleeding currently. I don't like that. Darn it. I hate when bandits dodge. I'd rather fight monsters because they don't dodge. Okay, he's going to bleed to death. Let's get a sniper shot off here. If I can. Oh, we don't want to run attack. I want to run attack. Darn it. Stupid bandit got in the way. Okay, okay. And he's dead. All right. Okay. Had to double. Had to be careful there. All right, and I already grabbed this. I could have gone here and grabbed that later. I don't know why I didn't do that. I could have just headed here after I went through uh, the rest of the quest line. Oh, well. First time for me watching you live. Love your vids, though. Reason why I started playing Outward again after three years. Oh, wow, Rosa. Awesome. I'm glad you like them. Have a lot of fun with them. Glad you were able to catch, uh, catch the life. That's goofy. Yeah, see, usually... No, the gate's still there. Probably just doesn't work. Oh, he's bowing me. He sucks at it. I'm better. Dude, if you're gonna, if you're gonna bow, do a good job. That's all I say. Take his eight silver. So this does open now. Yep. That's so goofy. How do they do that? How do they code that? Is this the region where you get the portable alchemy and cooking set? No, that is the Caldera region. Uh, the volcano. Volcano area. To be honest, I'm surprised how the bow is viable against enemies, even in closed area. Yes, it's very odd, say. Uh, it's mostly due to movement. And actually, I think that if you just went Master Trader Armor, you'd be fine. All right, check this guy's out. Th or check this out, guys. This is awesome, actually. I don't know if you'll be able to see it well, but there's actually a war going on, and you can kind of get a sneak peek. Like, our heroes versus Old Levant. One of the only times you get a legit army fight in the game. Cyrene absolutely just is a beast. She takes zero damage. Look, there's Pearl Scent. There he is, guys. Can you see him? He's got the white cloak on. That is the hero of Old Levant. Who wins this fight? I've never watched this. It lasts a long time. They're all very... Look at them just whack at each other. Yeah, Luke the Pearlson doesn't mess around, though. Look, he knocked Cyrene down. Oh, my word. What? That's crazy. 
Haha. <laughs> Fight's entertaining. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Got a guy coming after us here. I do not like missing sniper shot. Let's go back and see what happened. Is it anything happened yet? Has anyone died? Oh, one guy just died. Where is Kira? Uh... Oh, Sirene's there. Who's over there? Yep, that's the Yazan. Yazan's about to die. Yazan's getting killed. Intriguing. It's a very, very slow fight. <laughs> very slow fight. What's up, Pablo? Welcome to the stream. Dude. They always dodge that one. So annoying. Fights. Yeah, that that's a cool fight. That's one of the better uh, NPC type things they have in the game. Just playing out with myself after watching your video on Backpack. Just completed new Sirocco and going after bosses next. Nice. What's this guy want? He want blasted with probably sniper shot. Yes. He's not moving, guys. He is stupid. Oh, how dare you. Alright, he's gonna hit me. Oh, I have no arrows equipped. Ah! I can't do my dodge. Alright. There we go. I like hitting that. That's cool. Alright, yeah, stamina was an issue out here. Look how much burnt stamina I have already. Good thing I made like a billion of these spicy teas. Okay. Now, we're actually going to kill Zagus, I think. We get his stuff if we kill him. Wonder if anyone stayed there enough to see how the fight ends. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's done that. That'd be interesting. I wonder who wins. Okay. This all sells well, but guess what? It's also extremely heavy. So that is not happening. Literally all of the faction quest is like infinite iron. Bendable, faction quest, this. It's ridiculous, actually. Okay, we need to pop some healing because if I actually get hit during this fight, Zagus uh, doesn't play around. Didn't know you could hop our arrows? Yeah, I actually recommend it highly. It's very, very helpful. Okay, these guys are aggroed already. I'm just going to fight his buddies while he stands there. What a really good leader. Alright. Hence, I said I need health. <laughs> it's a good thing I did that. Zagus will die immediately, because I have Wind Sigil. I think. I don't know how much his resistance is. Okay. See, once again, I ran. I have to click after. Alright. You get a lot more of, like, seeing through walls and stuff with this playstyle because the bow skill that makes you, whatever this one is, makes you do a jump back. It kind of does that to you. Was it an invasion shot or evasion shot? Kind of odd. You ever done a hor hardcore run, live or otherwise? I did do a hardcore run. Um, I did one with Skuma on the channel, actually. I will. I need to organize the live streams properly so you guys can find them easier. I did do one. I died after one day Skuma couldn't get on, and it was just kind of like. It was me messing around, and I got stuck between two golems. Uh, that was disappointing. And then I tried it again and died again. So I was like... Because occasionally I die. And apparently the game hates me. And I just get my character deleted immediately. Alright. Zagus. You're the leader. Your people abandoned. This is a great uh, I can't remember how I fight him though. Okay. Defend yourself. <laughs> He actually has a cool set of armor. It's too bad you can't get his like a like a boots for him.
He also, uh, not resistant to lightning, no. no. What kind of loot is this? What bandit leader has a looter mask on it? Died to rabbit mole. The Vibers? Silvos, I'm watching you. No, I died to golems, and then I died to, uh, elemental the second time. In my hardcore run. Not on this run, I haven't died yet. Also, who puts a chest like this? Who is going up here to get this chest? Like, this is insanity. Bandages? Cool. Yeah, he's talking about the Weber, Jeremiah. The Weber. Those ugly, hideous rabbit things. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. How anticlimactic was that, guys? Yeah. You want a really easy build? Go Rune Sage and uh, Cabal Hermit. I don't care what you pick after that, but it makes the game so easy. Until boss fights. Obviously, boss fights are always challenging. Now the question. Okay, since I did that fast enough, I think we get something else, right? This is unacceptable. Hmm. Double your food. Yeah, we ask him a personal favor because of it. Double your food deliveries to Levant. That way that the slums survive longer. Oh, no. I don't remember what you get if you choose the other one, but that's the one I always choose. Good work. <laughs> You've earned this. Okay, let's see what you did for Levant. Here's a reward for your job well done. Okay, we're just going to go back to town with them, I think. Cannon pistol and gold ingot. You get a lot of guns through this questline. Hi, Sheen and Outward people. What's up, Kay? Welcome back to the stream. What's your favorite build type? Bruisers, mages. For uh, for example, I love tank builds. Say, my favorite build type is a mix between melee and magic. Um, I like to do a lot of physical damage and then use hexes as backup. It's one of my favorite ways to play the game. Queen clicks into Levant Palace. We'll have a task for you in three days. I think that one gives us our skill, right? Uh, let's summon that. Yeah, that one will give us our skill. So what we need to do now is go do Purifier. Yes, we need to go do Purifier. I can't remember what the third quest is, though. Does the third quest have me go over there, guys? Does anyone remember? Okay, I did not take Feather Dodge. We're not going to. I realize it's not actually necessary, so. We're going to go with Hex Mage instead. Believe it or not, I never used magic except for Fire Sigil. Oh, dang. Fire Sigil is strong. I feel like I have a lot of ingredients and I don't know how to make anything. But with that one lurker, I remember quest line by heart. Okay, the one lurker, then when do I go to Monsoon? Is it after the next quest? Can I do Purifier when I head over there, or should I do it now? Oh, yeah, he has blood mushrooms. Can I help you? He doesn't. No blood mushrooms. Wow. I'm heartbroken. So sad. Alright, which boons do I have and do I not have? I have the fire, decay, I need lightning and mist. Okay. Next quest line takes you to Monsoon. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that, as I did not want to waste a trip. How can I help you? Zagus saw. We're gonna keep this. Check that out, though. Inflicts pain. It does forty damage. It's very slow, though. You really need Wind Infused to use it. I would say that's required, honestly. Um, and gold, I guess. Cool, it's a cool sword, though. It really is. If it gives you the skill, thank you. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Zagus saw, store my arrows. Old Levant key. Oh, no, you know what we need to do is go to, uh... That's, I shouldn't have gone back here. Why'd I go with them? I need to go to Old Levant. We gotta do that real quick. Uh, why do I have a lantern in here, guys? 
Okay. Yeah, we'll go do that. 100% pain buildup, but slow... Yeah, yeah. I don't like slow weapons. I do not like slow weapons. If it's slow at all... If it's under 1, I don't use it most of the time. Even if it's a 1, I sometimes take Wind Infused to make it faster. But I... Any slow weapon can be used well if you use Wind Infused. That's for sure. To be honest, I wish that once you finish one faction, you could go to other regions and buy all the houses. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, once you finish one faction, you can go... You can! Yeah, once you're done with your faction quest, you can buy all the houses. That's when they all open up. Other than Caldera, because you don't have a house. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Marble Mace is S tier. With that achievement. Marble Mace is probably the best mace in the game. Okay, thank goodness. I don't have a way to block. So I do actually worry about these guys. Let me bring him right here. And we're good. We're good. Well, Marble Mace can be enchanted to be faster than that, too, though. Just live the dream. Slow weapon keeps me from spamming attack. It makes me play smarter. That is also true. Uh, I'm not saying slow weapons are bad. I just just how my playstyle is. Slow weapons are better. Actually, slow weapons are better for long swords. Because it requires you to play good. Requires you to play well and time your attacks. Probably the worst weapon in the game to actually be skilled at, like, to, for timing wise, is the sword. Because typically it's faster. So, like, what's the fastest sword? Gep's Blade requires very little timing. But also, Gep's Blade is weaker. I don't want to say it's weaker. The durability is weaker. But... Well, that's the shark I killed earlier. What's he doing? How do I get to Old Levant? Um, Can I go through... The slide? I feel like I can. I don't know. Stop using Gebs because it's a crutch. Gebs is so cool. I wonder how the longsword fares. I don't think the longsword is very useful. Compared to the one-handed sword, but I could be wrong. I truly don't know. Uh, I bet you the manticore is still alive, because I didn't kill him. Yep. Where's he at, though? I don't want to accidentally run into him. That'd be terrifying. Exit near... The... A uh, legacy chest? It's you near Old Levant. I thought so, but I thought I had to complete the quest for some reason. Oh, is he fighting? I heard fighting noises. No, he's pretty far. Ooh, we need to check this. Can we get arrows? That's a paracoil. I always take a paracoil. Even though I don't need it, I take it. Just feel that... Uh, I remember playing Old Outward, and I remember the difficulty it was to get power coils early on and so ever since then i just always grab them i can remember the pain from my younger days <laughs> uh charlie what's up i love too much of the halberd in this game every time i do a new run i'm like time to test new things ends up being the same way every time that's funny halberd is so strong moon swipe really uh just boosts it up to the top Dreamer, is it so fast, though? Hey, what's up, Luna? How's it going? Okay. Just need to leave here, I think. Halbert is queen, for sure. One-handed Gep's Blade plus the technique is so funny. I bet it is. That's kind of similar to how um, you would play a Hex Mage. Just alternate... 
just switch it up and go Gep's Blade, and then you don't use hexes, and you are a hex mage still. Like, I have 25 power coils? Wow. Yeah, they drop a lot more. No. Stream's finally working? No way. Yeah. Yeah. It's back up and running, thankfully. Oh, yes. This breaks down, doesn't it? Okay, check this out, guys. So this... Remember, I stood here. It looks like... Are they damaged? They are damaged. Luke the Pearlson got away with freaking no damage, dude. Did I just one-shot that guy? Did I miss? I think I hit him, though. Oh, shoot. I gotta kill the bandit before he gets here. Okay. Can he not come out? This may have been an oversight. Or a mistake, not an oversight. Can he come in here? Yes, he can. Okay. I was going to say, that'd be kind of silly if he couldn't. Holy crap. Whoa, the resistance on this guy. This is an actual challenge, guys. Ooh. Wow. Really going to dodge me like that? And I have no stamina buff, which is awesome. Really, really nice to have. Oh, you know what? I'll play around the corner. Woo! That was close. Alright, he's stuck. We'll get our stamina buff going. Hence why I brought stamina potions, too. I knew this would happen. Where's my healing items? I know I have them. Here they are. Halberds and Outward feel like Black Knight Halberd and Dark Souls. Yeah, I could see that. Why does he keep dodging everything I throw at him? Also, why is he not moving? Oh, well, that did nothing. Whoa, the damage this guy has is nuts. Okay. He doesn't take that much. I think he has high resistance to all elements, doesn't he? Hello, guys. Can we chill out, please? Chill. Chill, chill, chill. Okay. I did not expect him to be this difficult. But, he should die now. No? Now he's dead. I should have prepared better for that battle. I did not realize he was going to be so tough. Come here, come here, come here. Alright. Look, the Pearl Scent. I wish his armor was better, considering how difficult he is. Um, Really good resistance, though. It weighs 10. Never realized it weighed so much. He has some nice items. Let's check what the difference between our armor sets is going to be. I lose that pouch space, which is the problem. How did I get a cold? That's so stupid. So this has 15% damage. This has 15% damage. It has more resistance, though. I don't think we're actually going to use it. Durability is nice, too. But we are going to keep it for later. That's why I wanted to get it in case it was required. Nice durability. Yeah, yeah, nice durability. Really have to be specced into your element to make elemental bow work. It definitely take hex mage to be very tough. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm going to go get hex mage here soon. I have to. We realized that uh, as I was testing it. It's good, but it needs more. Like you were saying. Okay. I should have uh have this at least. Yeah. I don't have any teas for the cold right now though. Sucks. Oh well. Will they get some when we go back to town? Doesn't very tired stamina buff complicate a bow build significantly? Yes, it does. Unless we get a 
luxury tent to counteract the negative stamina. I can't remember how much the uh, added stamina cost is, but we should be fine if we have a luxury tent. So yeah, matches the arcane hood color. Oh, true. I guess we should... That actually kind of looks sick. Check that out. Does not look bad. It gets style points. It really does. I don't know why they made it so unique. I wonder if it has any enchantments. Does anyone know if this chest plate has anything cool? I know this one does. Uh, someone was saying that last time I was streaming that this uh, leather armor actually has really good enchants. At least one. Got our no mana right now. Jeez. Nothing special? Okay. I was just assuming just like Aegis. We could technically go get the spear right now. Let's do that. Do I have enough arrows for that? Um, we need a tree. Where can we find a tree? Having to look for a tree. That's a, such a desert problem. Huh. Sang Freud or Aegis would be good. Mm, which one's Sang Freud again? Aegis is very self-explanatory at this point in my gameplay, but I always forget that one. Good luck finding a tree. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I should have taken all that. I know there's a tree in the middle near the compass. Oh, fire resist to Sink Freud? Oh, from the Caldera enchantments? Yeah. Does this tree let you get wood from it? Ha ha! I found the one tree in the whole desert. Take that. You want to enchant early? Where do you get your quartz? Only way I found the cave with big quartz elemental drops five. Excuse me. Yeah, the elemental that drops five quartz in Caldera is the only one. That's the only one. It's the only guaranteed drop that is really significant. No one even knows about Yeah, I guarantee you people walk by this tree like a hundred times and never thought much of it. Me, I'm like, finally, the tree. We're going to need a butt-ton of arrows for this cave. Is that annoying anyone yet? The sound that that's making? My goal as a streamer is to annoy you as much as possible. <laughs> Just kidding. Found one tree in the desert, and you're cutting it. Hey, 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 hey. That tree was put there for my use and my use only, okay? I gave that tree purpose. Alright. <laughs> when you live in the desert, you know where to find the shade. Ha! Huh. Does that tree give shade? Is it shading the ants under it? How much room do I have? Don't have a ton. This negative 10 stamina on here is though not... It's nice. Seems nice at least. All right. You know who would be hard with a bow, though, is the the golem. The golems have been hard with a bow. His purpose was to die. Yes. What's this armor setup you have? Uh, Luna, this is the chest is goofy, but this is for lightning damage and stamina. Master Desert. I wanted the white mage hat like you made in your build, Luna, but the cooldown enticed me for this, as well as some resistance. So I'm going to switch to white mage later on. I'll, I'll switch it to a different from a different character to test it. See how good it would be. And then chest is going to be ash armor with spirit of monsoon. I don't expect this lightning damage to be as good as it I want it to be. But I expect it to be decent. Uh, yeah, the last armor piece I need is the ash armor. I have it enchanted and legacied already, which it doesn't gain anything by being legacied, so. 
Uh, but Ash Armor is really cool because it gives you extra defense to the weather. Which I was like, hey, that's going to be nice for Caldera. Since I'm going to be over there a lot, you know. And I don't have Hollow Marsh for the extra weather defense. So it's like, this is a good idea. Isn't there one potion you can apply to the bow assassin potion or something? Yes, I think. Uh, it gives the bow poison damage, though. So not really that good against uh, golems. I don't think. Bro, can I lock on? Jeez. See, it missed. I hate that. Has nice damage, though. I mean, lightning's really good for most things. Oh, it's really good with the Scourge. It's not overly good against golems, though. It has been a, a problem, trust me. Okay, is he bleeding? He should be bleeding. He used a lot of stamina kiting around. I need to be aware of that. Lightning damage bonuses apply to Palladium arrows. Yes. They should. That's another thing. Um, so the bow build actually gets better once I build that because of the lightning arrows. So the damage is going to fall off once we get to Caldera for about halfway through. Once we get that shop, it'll really... It'll improve a lot. Still won't be... I don't know how good the Palladium Arrows are going to be. We can actually test that here because I think we get some soon. From the enemy here. If I don't suck and die to him. Hmm. What are we thinking here? I, I don't know. Okay, so we need to do a couple different things here. We want the Whirlig Spear. In order to do that... We simply do this. Alright, where's the Golem at? Because he will attack me, and he will kill me. I'm not careful. Not around the corner. Well, do we think he's going to ambush me? Because wouldn't that be really funny if I just died all of a sudden? Where's he at? Okay. Okay. Watch this. Okay. Turn our light on. He knows where we are. Crap. I let him hit me one, one time. That wasn't good. Don't want to get pain on me. That's the problem. Ah, gosh darn it. Okay. We're fine, though. What we gotta do is get him into the circle, and then... That. He got paint on me. I thought I could kite around him. He's kind of hard to do that with, though. Okay. L3 gen. Get a little impact resist, just in case. I mean, I have these. You still using gold bow, or have you switched? No, I am still using gold bow. Um, bandage. You stupid. This area actually sucks. Um, because there's like a down and a up. It's like a puzzly cave. And so you can hear the stupid golems walking around the whole time. Annoying. Okay. Those aren't that helpful. Oh, shoot. Did he see me? 100% saw me. Yep. Okay. Is he gonna shoot me? He's gonna shoot me. Oh, I have to. I got that guy though. That's the important thing. Holy crap! This guy could be a problem. He is lightning. I'm using lightning arrows against him. This is where we just do a big old run move. Upstairs. We have advantage on the stairs. We do have advantage on stairs. Oh, I need arrows to actually activate arrow skills. That's very important, guys. This should kill him. This should kill him. No, it doesn't. Alright. Now for the hard one. I want to watch the trap. Good evening. Running electric clap? Yeah, we're going to get the Warleg Spear.
Yeah, <laughs> activate bleed on him, guys. Oh, yay. How much do you think lightning does to him? In sigil. Where's he at? Yeah, son of a gun. Get up the stairs. It actually does a lot. Forged arrows do 15 damage. This is your physical damage build right here. Forged arrows, I think. Wow. 10 lightning damage from Palladium. That's 20 lightning damage, actually. Without any bonuses. Might be already decent. Maybe. We'll see. T to get rid of cold. I don't have one, unfortunately. I have a lot of foods, though. I wish I knew what these foods all... I don't think I have any good foods, though. Alright, how many traps do I have? Uh, five tripwires? We're gonna need those. We do have to deal with a few more things. Where's the trap at? There it is. There it is. Okay, okay. And boots? Um... What about the boots? I mean, I have these boots right here. But I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Do I need to clear the rest of this cave? I'm guessing no. Okay, turn off light. Yeah. Let's just not do it. There's no reason to. Lux Lachette's Lache. Lache. I think it's Lache, right? Pretty good. Yeah. Stamina and large amount of health. And I do have a lot of mushroom bars, which we will take when we get up there. We have actually a lot of stuff. Why is my bag heavy? Or my pocket? Which way is it? It's left. Okay, here we turn off our light and we duck. I think they already saw us. No, just one of them saw us. This is the ideal... Okay, we actually do need a light for this cave. Okay, okay. Rebuff for stamina. Dude, stamina. Oh my word, it's killing me. Termip soup cure, cures cold? Okay. Yes, it does. Thank you, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know who said it. Is it getting attacked? Love that it does so much impact. It is fantastic. Uh, if you'll notice, we are having a problem with stamina right now because I don't have a, a buff for my tent. I had a buff for my house earlier. So. Love how he needs a coil battery, but he's like, go to the source for those. <laughs> uh, Bullion de Predator. I don't have that one. I need to make some. I had some predator bones I saved up earlier. Okay, where's this guy at? He's right here. Oh, no arrows. This... Ah, crap. I did it again! So sick of doing that. Actually, golems are gonna be nice for iron, though. I have to admit that. Ooh... That's actually some decent stuff in this cave, though. Alright, now we can head... Which way does it go? Yeah, we need to go up. Palladium Gravel Beetle. Nice. Nice. I didn't know Termip Soup cured cold. I don't think it says that it does, does it? We can check. I don't have it anymore. I didn't know that either. I forget a lot of the things about the foods, to be honest. Uh, how much further we got? What are you doing, Pearlbird? Calm down over there, right? Chill out. Durability on the gold bow has been one of my favorite things, though. Any bow would have been broken by now. If it wasn't this good. 
Dungeon's so OP. Unlocking all those free ornate chests. Well, you unlock free or ornate chests. You get a Sar Stone. You get Whirlig Spear. You know, it's actually one of the best in the game. Ray Inferno, what's up? Welcome to the stream. What helmet is that? Sorry, I didn't see that comment earlier. Um, This is the White Arcane Hood. So if you take an Arcane Hood and you Legacy Chest it, you get this guy. And it's pretty good, stat-wise. Cooldown, mana reduction. All kinds of good stuff. PS4 will get the DE. Uh, I don't think PS4 will get the DE. I'm pretty sure... Well, I, I don't just think that. I know that they won't get it. Okay. Let's just cast Sigil first, and then we'll use the potion. This could be... This could be iffy. Yes, you do get a Star Stone here. I'll show you. This is where we drop back back, because it's necessary. Oh, dodge! Okay. Got scared. Yeah, see, bows are very, very weak against golems. At least physical damage-wise, which is why I grabbed the lightning sigil, actually. So, power coil. Uh, we can get the broken golem rapiers and we can sell them. We may have to drop them, though, because we are already close to overweight. Why is that? Was there something on the fan wick or something? The Definitive Edition was not able to be transferred to the PS4. Or the Gen 1, or old Gen consoles, is what they said. Because they updated graphics and stuff. I actually don't see why. It doesn't look like there was enough change for them not to have ported it to the older consoles. But it wasn't my decision. So. There's the World X Spear. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to wait for Wind Sigil to come back. So we're going to buff. Uh, we're going to take this. Not only... We're taking this to gain some stamina back, but also it gives us a nice buff as well. So I'm not just using that for no reason. He's close. He's close. He's very close. I was going to say I heard him. Oh, crap. That was fast. The hexes would be very helpful for golems, actually. Dodge! Thank you. Oh, shoot. They're so fast. A lightning damage, though. What the heck? Uh, There's the golem rapier, I think. Was it crystal powder? Something else. What is it, guys? Palladium. Yeah. I knew I, I knew I knew what it was. I did that whole dungeon, got spear, unlocked a five or an eight chest. Didn't know about the star stone, though. No. I'll show you, Hafrin. I got you. Here's the whirl whirlig spear, guys. Why am I grabbing this? Well, let's take a look at it. It does 24 lightning damage. 1.1 attack speed, 30 impact. This is actually a very, very good weapon. One of the probably top three spears in the game. I think. I don't think I'm wrong in saying that. So here's what we're going to do. We're not going to use a bow against this guy. So I want to show off the power of this. Um, and we are going to... Grab one more Astral Potion. All right, sir, come here. Yes, you. I need you for my plan. How much can I block with this? Probably not a lot. Look at the damage already. Wow. Look at that damage. That's so nice. World X Spear is going to be for when I suck at a bow against a certain enemy. <laughs> but yeah, very, very good. And durability, again, 450. Nice durability. So. 
There we go. We have that. We'll be getting top five spears. Top five spears are coming next. They're the next one. Uh, was that you who asked for them, Koi? They are next. I think there is sound, Cone. I don't, I'm, I don't know what you're asking about. Because uh, there is, I think. Not sure why you're not getting it. Thank you for the info. I'm crushed knowing that I can't get it now. But at least I know. Yes, unfortunately, you do have to get a PS5 in order to get it. So, right here, Hafrin. This is where the Sarstone is. Let me show you. Yeah, Whirlig Spear is top spear, dude. Shriek is the best spear. Uh, but yeah. what? <laughs> Do it to him, Sheen? Yeah. I've been... I, I like the top fives. They've been a lot of fun. I had some people disagree with me on my... Top five swords, which is fair. Everybody's going to have strong opinions. So obviously you did this, right? This activates all of the ornate chests. Um, and then you come back out. My lantern's on. Convenient. I use old legion. Yeah, good spear as well. Long spear. We may actually find that here soon. Maybe. Sometimes they don't. Uh, it won't be as useful, though, because I'm going for the lightning damage. Okay. Right here, Hafrin. Sarstone. And that's where you get it. It, uh, one of the five, I think? Wolf shield sells well. We can't carry hardly anything right now, though. Darn. Darn. World Leg Spear was probably the strongest legendary weapon I picked up on my money run. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. It really is. It's, uh... It just... The high amount of lightning damage it has, plus physical, can really be made into something great. It really can't. Plus, spears have long range for melee attacks. So, when you have a fast attack speed like that, oh, it's just... It's fantastic. Love it. Gustavo, what's up? Hey, Sheen, how you doing, my man? Hope you're good. And this build, you enjoying? I love this build. This will be a definite build I make a video on. I will go over all the backups that we have. I will go over everything. It's fantastic. I love it. Alright. We can decraft this. No? Can't decraft that. That's something I did not know. Um, Wolf Shield actually is a lot of weight. So, we'll carry it for now. Look how cool the wolf shield looks. Wolf shield's in a future build of mine that I'll release. I was sleeping on spears so far, but it seems like I have to change that. Actually, I was doing the same thing, Mio. Uh, I have never used a spear. I never have. My brother enjoyed them. I never used them. I was like, why Why would I? Uh, but they're insane. After I used my trog run, that's when I was like, hey, I need to use a spear. They're actually good. So yeah, highly recommend spears. Spears are probably a really good starting weapon too. The range and everything. Like if you never played the game before. You tried modding. Eric, I still have yet to try modding. Uh, Probonia has a really nice mod he wanted me to try. He's in my Discord. I just, I haven't done it yet. There's been a lot that I've wanted to do with the game build-wise before I do mods, so I just haven't done it yet. 30 impact isn't something to bat an eye at. That's true. That is true. 30 impact. What's the... This is a sword. Two-handed sword. It has 39. So, yeah, I mean, it's up there. Bow only has 22. So... I like how the Forge Jaros have extra impact, though. Pretty neat. That word two spear throwing? That would be awesome. I thought I was opening a chest. I wasn't. I was staring into the bleak sand. Dang it, we didn't get the old Legion spear. How heavy am I? We're going back to town anyway, so. And there's like three more ornate chests. It's crazy. This is a full bow build. Yes, Ryan, this is a full bow build. However, you do actually have a backup. Uh 
You have Lightning Sigil, and you have the Whirling Spear. You don't ever have to use them. It's not required ever, but I have them. Because it's like... You never know when you might need some. But you don't need them, no. Also, welcome to the stream. Uh, hi, how are you? Love the stream and your playthroughs. Awesome, Ryan. Thank you. It's a really good two-handed sword. It's surprisingly better than people think it is. I don't like it. But look at the durability and the speed on it. 1.1. It's a very physical... Weapon. Wolf Great Hammer. Always a good option. I hadn't... I've never used it, though. But yeah. Let's grab this Iron Vein real quick. Impact values are a bit crazy sometimes. If the range of a spear wouldn't be enough to be viable. Yeah. <laughs> As if. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, range of spears is nuts. Uh, I obviously didn't play very well with that one earlier. Oh, there is a skill, though. I have it. Uh, Simeon's Gambit. Very good skill as well. We should test this out. Play around with this. You guys can see it. No one really uses spears that much, so. Not even me. I haven't used that skill ever. How would you rate the DLCs? So, okay. Let's count Definitive Edition as a DLC. Alright? Just wanted to say thank you for getting me into Outward and your videos always bring me back into playing. Okay, thank you, Ave. Now, let's get to your second question. I, I appreciate that. The DLCs. The best DLC ever was Sora Boreans. Okay, that was what added Harmattan and the Antique Plateau, Train Dungeon, all that. That's the best thing to ever come into this game. Okay, it was amazing. Were there problems with it? Yeah, yeah, of course. It was landlocked. That was a big, a huge problem. Um, but ultimately, it was fun. It had a lot of things to do. It was engaging. And they added a lot of unique items. Fist weapons, too. Yeah, they added fist weapons with that DLC, and fist weapons are really, really fun. Caldera was not done well, so I would rate Caldera the third on the list. The worst. There's a lot of good things about Caldera, and the difficulty and time you can spend over there is what the two things I say is the best about it. But there have a lot of issues help you? with the town building and the fact that it's just so time-consuming to do. Uh, Caldera is the worst. Not bad, but it's the worst. Definitive Edition would be number two. Definitive Edition was good. Problem with Definitive Edition is it's just kind of... It was not enough for what they promised. It sounded like we were going to get more. Um, but it's still good. Sora Boreans 100% though was the best. I absolutely love Sora Boreans. Caldera was really too much cool stuff there, but just so much more. Well, here's the thing about Caldera. There's so much good, and you can't really argue a lot about some of that stuff, because even some of it that people would argue, is, it's still good. Like, the town building sucks, but it still has purpose. What sucks about Caldera is the armor. All of the armor is ugly, and mostly useless. Uh, excluding, like, Slayer set, and... One or two others, but like everything, hail frost weapons are meh. I'd take brand over hail frost weapons any day. And yeah, it's just I don't know. The arrows and the grenades are really cool. Good, good addition to the game. But again, when you add so many armors into the game and you make them all hideous, it's like what the heck? <laughs> Some of those armors are terrible. They're terrible. Oh, by word, are they brutally bad. The Chalcedony? Who's wearing Chalcedony helmet? Like, that thing is the worst. We should repair. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should repair. I have a ton of potions right now. And food. Oh, we can store all our linen cloth that we have here. We're getting off pretty... We're doing pretty well in this build so far. We don't need a simple tent because we have the plant tents. Um, also, I do need my bow. We'll keep the Whirlig Spear in our inventory. Because why not? Unique enemies are cool in Definitive Edition, but I would love if they dropped unique weapons. Yeah, I can see that. 
All right, let's make some meat here. Um, and now we need to sleep, I think. We have, like, a day? No, two days to sleep. Okay. I need more astral potions. I should buy those from the alchemist. Would you ever do an armorless run? Uh, probably not, Ave. The problem with an armorless run is there's so many cool enchantments at this point in the game. I think I would want to try more of the enchantments first. I would do a Merton run before I do an armorless run. Which is the same thing, basically. Kind of. Okay, let's just sleep and then we'll repair the second day. Evan, what's up? How's it going? What are you doing? Uh, we are doing the Heroic Kingdom faction quest. Just finished the second part of it. I have to go do the third. So. Yeah. What about this other place, Haboob? Yeah. I don't know, but the name makes me think it's a fun place for sure. Yeah, I wish they would have added that. That would have been fun. That would have been a fun one. Mana Wall plus Sang Freud makes Caldera easy. Yeah, see, Mana Wall's a cool set. But it's ugly as heck, dude. Like, it's hideous. It's cool, though. I like it. It's very useful. It's just like, dude. You look like a total tool while we were it. Just got home from heading to school to pick up my books. Oh, nice, Evan. Nice. Good deal, good deal. Don't like needing to grind out Caldera nodes for before starting the quests. RNG can screw you over on the buildings and miss out on buildings isn't good. Yeah, I agree with that. I think the samples and the randomization that they did with Caldera is a bit weak. It's a bit weak. Definitely still needed some rounding out to make it good, but... I mean... Can't complain too much, I guess. 90% of my paycheck gone in the wind. Oh, my word. Yeah, school books are expensive. Cosmetic option like transmog and wow, where you can wear what you want over your actual gear would be cool. Yeah, that'd be very cool. I gotta go talk to them now. Okay. Yeah, that'd be neat. Make it more of an MMO type game. $700 for four books? Jeez. I, I feel your pain. There are transmog mods. Oh, Eric. Levant Coming in with the cool info. Disaster has struck this okay, this is the part fire. where I have to go. Mm. I actually have to go to the spiral, uh, spire of light, I think. Can you do anything to help me? Okay. Kerouac and Lane and Monsoon as soon as can. I think we can clear out spire of light first, right? We can just do that. We're going to try it anyway. Hit up R2 Modman. Loads of mods that are easy to use. Yeah, I need to try that out. Show them off, too. I'll do videos of mods eventually, I think. I think. We'll see if I end up getting to it. Um, Do we want to buy the Chimera Pistol now? I feel like no is the answer to that. All right, how many rations do I have, guys? I have 13. We're good to travel. Because this says go to Hollowed Marsh. Using a small boat in the northern docks. Yeah. Look up international editions of your books. Hmm, interesting. Random thought, but I feel like they should all allow you to main hand guns or daggers. I feel like dual wielding guns, bro. Like, come on, that'd be awesome. Can you use horror bow for lightmender? Probably. We will need something different for lightmender. I can actually go get astral, bro. For lightmender. I'm not gonna fight lightmender right now. We'll come back. I literally can't beat him with, with lightning damage. I don't know how that's gonna go, actually. Why is this sigil still here? What the heck? I've been away from this spot for a long time. Like a long time. Speedster build for Sheen's next live stream. Spears only. <laughs> Speedster.
spear. I dude, spears are fun. I have a uh, a fire spear build in the the working. And I got to tell you, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. You never know till you try it out though. Astro bow would be good with high lightning res You know, we could go get murmur too. Well, I can't get murmur, but I can get the pre version of it. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You're nobody. You're a bug. I'll step on you. I'm not going to fight them. There's no reason to fight them at all. Here's me. Had the same bug today. Oh, you're talking about the lightning sigil? That's weird. Yeah. I mean, I've seen that with runic trap because runic trap will stay for a long time. In certain weird things, but not never a sigil. Here's me hoping luck will allow you to get pearl bird mask. I think I have to go back all the way back to chairs and ease, though. I could farm them, but, like, farming is so lame for a live stream. Like, no one wants to see me farm freaking Pearl Bird Mask. You could get it from the Calgara, uh, Caldera Arena chest, actually. There's a second way to get it. We need to get a Luxury Tent, guys. That's another thing. Oh, we need to do Purifier. Crap, I need to make sure I don't forget that. Only place for Pearl Birds? Yeah. Yeah, you have rainbow pearl birds, which are in this area. You have the black pearl bird, which is in Cherish and East. There's only one. And then you have pearl birds, which are over there. Because the equivalent of a pearl bird in the Enmerker Forest is the coral horned deer, really. At least that's what I usually think of them as. Has this not been a really weird outward run, though? Like, I feel like I've had materials for everything. The whole time. It's been odd. Go to Chase and Ease and do Battery Turn to fix Water Purifier. Oh, I could get a Coil Lantern, can I? How many Coils do I have? None? Yeah, okay. I'll, <laughs> I could probably get them when I'm in Chase and Ease, though. Cool update they could have done. Was allow different creatures to be in different places. Yeah, I, it breaks a little bit of the immersion though, because you're you're talking about mixing up habitats though. Immaculate and Illuminator Horror and Dead Roots Tree were glowing backpack is. Yeah, I wonder if I could do even more damage to an Immaculate now. Hmm. Probably. Once I get my Ash Armor, guys... Guys, the Ash Armor has a 25% lightning damage bonus. Dude, it's gonna... It's gonna be so much better than it already is. The reason I don't do Purifier half the time is, like... It gives you a Tribal Favor. I don't really care for Tribal Favor. I will do it, though. I have no reason not to. Although, you know what? We're going to come out through Berg, which will leave me locked. Uh, and I have to go all the way to the beginning of the map to get Wind Sigil activated. That's going to suck. All right. Water? There's... Does this give me... Dude, Stringy Salad. What the heck? Useless. Save that for later. Just use a cactus. Doesn't this give me... Yeah, stamina. What... <coughs> Excuse me. What stamina, though? Should give me, like... Recovery 2? Not bad. I could actually probably go get hexes before I fight the... Gold Lich. I think that's going to be a requirement for that. I do need more mana, too. Be able to use them effectively. 
Okay, let's delete those and make more arrows. There should be ample trees in the swamp, I think. Yeah, there should be. Out of wood already. Dude, there is so many bandits here. I'm not even going to fight them. Gonna need to do a bit of ziggurat dwelling. Yeah, I need to go into the ziggurat. I'll probably fight the gargoyle. I think he's gonna be easy. The lightning damage should take care of him. Because the gargoyles are more resistant to physical damage than anything else. Pop into chairs and knees and then over to the swamp. Just rations. Yeah, but at the same time, that's a lot of walking. Bro, why did you stand in the way? I shot you in the face because of it. Could you be any dumber, please? Sir? Oh my word, one, one hit him. How crazy do you guys think that would be if I actually did more physical damage? I think it'd be nuts. I think it'd be nuts. Absolutely crazy. I regretted so much to do the purifier quest because the last battle with the holy mission was super easy. There was a lot of unwanted help. Yeah, it does make it pretty easy. That one did not go through him. Look how far I could just beat these guys up. It's crazy. Watch this. Oh, you bandit. You have no idea how much more powerful I am than you. You'll never know, because you're dead. You are dead. Guess I'll start playing Outward. Might as well, right, Evan? <laughs> All right. Ooh, here's some bows. Or arrows. I, why did I do that? I call arrow a bow's arrow. Um, let's see. There we go. We don't want to do face the ancients yet. Although, I don't think that would be too hard with the lightning damage we have already either. Where's the point at? Here it is. Alright, let's see how good this is in the Hollow Marsh. Could get ugly. You never know. Holy cow, where'd my food go? Alright, we got water. Um, Gabri We're gonna replace Gabri Tartines with Marshmallow because these are terrible. I can't wait to get blessed, too. That's going to help so much. Are there crossbows in DLCs? Unfortunately, no. Uh, no crossbows in Outward. That would have been cool. Someone should mod crossbows into the game. Ooh, he dodged. He's still dodging. What an impressive little guy we have here. All right. Whoa. If they hit you, they make you drop the arrow? Okay. More arrows? What the heck? They balance out bows pretty well in this game by giving you a ton of arrows. If they didn't give you this many arrows, bows would be too weak be too difficult to get arrows best soundtrack ever heck yeah soundtrack here is awesome play dancers the coolest mob in outward honestly though you're not wrong and the new lightning one they added looks super cool although you gotta make sure you don't do that right there
Okay, they don't bleed because they're golems. Look at the damage, though. They're very weak to lightning. Dude, I'm out of your range. <laughs> okay, I got hit, which hurt. Hey, look! The Jadeless Mace. It wouldn't be bad to carry around for the extra mana reduction. Oh, probably won't. Okay, healing. We need mana regeneration. Blade Dancer is gonna suck for Bow Slinger. Yeah, uh, it's not too bad, though. If they get in on you, yeah, it's bad. Skill cooldown would be nice. I do actually have some. I have negative 10. Which is why the skills are coming back as fast as they are. Speedster really makes bows way better. Because if you take the Speedster skill tree, that's 40%. Without anything else, that's already good. Already good. Okay, let me do one thing right here real quick. Um, uh, I got to call six because he's supposed to hop on here with me. We'll see if he gets on. What's up? Hey, what's up, six? Not much, guys. And gals, whoever's watching the stream. Alrighty, so we are getting into a little bit of co-op today, guys. What do you think is the worst magic skill tree? Like Cabal of Wind and Arcane and all that? Cabal of Wind is the best. The worst is... Phil I don't want to even say Philosopher is the worst. I don't know. The worst probably is Philosopher. Unless you're using a Chakram and then it's fine. Because the all the magic is pretty balanced in the game. Eat all of it so strong. Uh, are you in the game, Six? Uh, give me actually one second to do something, okay. and then I will be. Sounds good. Okay, we have a. Uh, were you picking your dagger characters that we went with? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can, I, I can do that. Oh, I already have that open. Um, you guys hear him good? I'm assuming yes, because I have it turned up right, but. Just want to make sure. Okay, cleared that. We will actually pop... No, we can't pop Lightning Sigil. Darn. Darn. Okay, turn off Lantern. Sneak. I think that fixed what I had going on. Let me Shoot. Check, Can he see me? Bruh. You can freaking see me. This dude is crazy. What, uh, what skill trees you got going on in that build? Um, let's see. I have Philosoph- or, uh, I have Cabal Hermit. Okay, okay. I have- I will be grabbing Hex Mage, and I have Warrior, uh, Hunter. Not Warrior Mage. I got, um, the Smoke Trainer. Right. And, huh? uh, Warrior Monk. Yeah, Warrior Monk. Nice. Yep. Uh, I'm in the game, by the way. Okay. Actually, Blade Dancer's not bad, guys. Blade Dancer's are not bad. Good? Okay, thank you, Caustic. Hate to say it because I love the playstyle, but the worst is Rune Mage. Honestly, I kind of agree in a way. Rune Mage is... But it's so good at the same time. It depends on how you use it. I think uh, Rune Mage should be used more for support than anything else. So, Alright, I'm going to open it. It's going to be Hot Dog. Uh, region US. But yeah, while Room Mage does have a lot of advantages, is it is technically weaker. It's definitely weaker than Hex Mage. I don't think Rune is as good as Hex Mage. Some people will argue the alternative. I don't. I don't know. Okay. All right. So, what are you doing? So the goal oh. of is we gotta complete purifier quest and this part of the faction quest. We're in Hollowed Marsh. Yeah, I, I see where you're at. I gotta head to the Spire of Light, and there's like three different things I need to do here. So, okay, Ooh, okay. There we go. Blood mushrooms finally. 
So we're just going to walk around the swamp and get stuff done. Basically. Yay. Right. My favorite area. Yeah. <laughs> a swamp. I will get you through it. Don't worry. It, if For anyone who's unaware, the swamp is actually... Um, I don't know how to put this in a polite way. The worst place in the planet. <laughs> yeah, the swamp can suck. It, it really can. Will you make a video about this build? Yes, I will. I will 100% be making a video on this. I don't know when, because I'll probably get further into the game before I do, but... You you are currently my only oh, light source. Oh, nice armor, dude. Yeah. Epic. Yeah. Oh, you got brigands? Yeah, I got brigands. I got... Well, let me run you do what I got. I got marble sword of weightless. Oh, nice. I got I got the red lady's dagger. Spicy. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I got the shadow kazite light helmet with assassin. The Very shadow nice. kazite light armor with assassin. And the shadow kazite boots with assassin. Very good. That's what I would have done too. I, I also have I also have this mask. Which one's that? Oh, you got the pearl, the black pearl bird. Nice. Yeah. Where's the phytosaur that's here? He's always here. Um, hey, I've been away from streams for a bit. What's your build so far? What bow and armor? What skill trees you took? So this is the. Let's go over it a little bit real quick. I have the gold bow enchanted with twang, which gives it ten lightning damage. I have White Arcane Hood, enchanted with Stabilizing Forces, which isn't needed, but more negative mana cost. Uh, that's for cooldown and mana cost. I have Scaled Leather Attire, which I will be getting the Ash set soon, enchanted with Spirit of Monsoon. And I have Master Desert Boots, enchanted with Flux, for lightning damage and extra speed, you know, as well as negative stamina cost. Then I have Skill Trees, which are Hunter, for extra... He extra health is what you get, but I wanted this skill right here, Piercing Shot. And then I also have Cabal Hermit. And I will be getting Hex Tree later. I don't have Hex yet. You don't have it yet. Okay. You got pr oh, you got Pressure Plates. Nice. Oh, yeah. I got I got the upgraded version of them, too. So if you can okay. just shoot that dinosaur in there. Oh, shoot. Wait a sec. Don't get in the water hey. yet. I have to depoison it. All right. He, he just ran around that corner, though. So I would, I would hold up until... Okay. Yeah, let me deep poison the water real quick. That's All something right. I wanted to do. Oh, do you have any fire bags on you by chance? Mm, I have two, actually. Oh, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, now this water should be good. Yes, it is. Rune Sage needs to be paired with uh, other mage class to be good, like Hex and Spellblade. Yes, I agree with that. Hex on its own doesn't need anything. It's that strong. That's why I'd say it's probably the one of the better ones. All right, fire rags you wanted. Yeah. There you go. I need to get me a soul that does fire damage at some point. I'll enchant it. Let's see if I can hit this guy. If not, I can just trap. Sprint in nope, there. I didn't hit the phytosaur. That's fine. It's it's ethereal trap, so it should do damage. Okay. Though. You use spear for close combat. Spears uh, just in case. How much damage am I doing? I'm not doing hardly any damage. It isn't co-op now, guys. We may see a damage fall off. Watch out. Alright, one down. Okay, I would fill... What do we want? Yeah, probably Ethereal if you have them. Yeah, I got... Just let me know so I can get out of Sierra's, though. Let you know what. Blade Dance... Yeah, what what did you want to know? Okay, he should he do less frozen? damage to us. No, I have a debuff on him that makes him do less damage. But why is he not moving? He's healing. He's probably oh. full health by now. Did that miss? Because he every time he does that, I can't lock on. That's interesting. Here he comes. Yeah, look. Every time he does that, I can't lock on. Oh, that's weird. This guy's freaking annoying. You're gonna have to get in for close. So I can. There we go. Oh my word. Now I'm locked on. Okay, I need arrows. Wow. Jeez, bro. The traps. Uh, wow. Uh, you mind if I take all this except for the arrows? Yeah, you can have all that. I don't need it. Okay. The Altered Gargoyle, ladies and gentlemen. 
Very difficult I to need, take out, actually. I need to pick up my, my pressure plates. Highly recommend you use the ethereal trap. Wow. I, yeah. Hey, bring your lantern back over here. Oh, I can't yeah, see. Oh, yeah, you can't see, can you? No. Not unless I use a fire bag. I'm there missing a pressure plate, I think. Those are down here in the water. No, it's right here. It's like inside oh. the dead body here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. This is one of the cooler, unique bosses they added. He's like an upgraded gargoyle. Yeah, yeah. Unique bosses. <laughs> Where are you guys? This is the ziggurat. Where you grab the statue and cure the water. Open the bridge. I, I love how I started with nine traps and ended with nine traps. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, where you get this statue, the whole ziggurat area. Oh, what's this? What's what do you put on those traps? The traps have a lot more damage than they used to. Oh, that looks cool. But that was an ethereal buff. Since the gargoyles are war uh, weak to ethereal, not a buff. It doesn't but... level up. doesn't level. Lever? Yeah, I already went up there. Lever. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that was. I got you. Mad guys <laughs> for anyone watching the stream. So, what are we doing? Is that, uh, is now we're just we... leaving. Oh. Now we're headed to... I thought we were going to try oh. to kill the boss, but... Oh, there's no boss in there. I, is the Jaden Lich not in there? No, he's in a different ziggurat. Huh. Well, it shows you how much I know about the swamp. I can show you on the map where we're at. There is two different ziggurats. The one we're at is on the bottom right side of the map. The oh. Lich is in the mid-left side of the map. Okay. Oh, I just got Discord. Who is messaging me on Discord? I don't care about these people. But yeah. Hey man, love the content. Just started the game. Awesome. I'm glad. Thank you for watching. I am glad you enjoyed the content. Yeah, so I'm, I'm loving making content for this game. It's been a lot oh, of fun. Oh, what we were in Ziggurat Passage? Yeah, the other one is the actual big Ziggurat. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize it was two. Where did you go? Oh, uh, just down the hill ramp there. Let's see, how many T's do I have left? I have plenty. Alright, we need to cross this bridge to our right. Which, there shouldn't be a Blade Dancer because I killed him. Yeah, I killed him. Oh, hey, you want some fire arrows? Oh, do you have some? Yeah. How many do I you have? six. Six? That's a nice amount. Yeah. I don't use bows, so there you go. Did you get them? Yeah, yep, you got him. Alright, second thing we need to do is purifier... Slash. Activate wind sigil. Slash. Spire of light. So we should do a spire of light next. Bloodlust is so OP too. Uh, yeah, bloodlust. Which one's bloodlust? That's hex, I believe. Yes, bloodlust. Yes, bloodlust is probably the the best passive in the game. Honestly, it really, it really is. But yeah. Alright, so we will do... And after we exit the spire, we'll have two parts of the thing done. So we'll have the book. We'll have my armor. And we'll have one other thing. What's the other thing we'll have? Oh, the backpack. We can get the backpack where... Poison arrows. Nice. Take all that. Backpack? What, what backpack are you talking about? I forgot to drink water. I'm an idiot. There's a light mender backpack we might get. Oh! These guys are oh. not weak to lightning. What are you fighting? Oh. Some dinos. Yeah, I'll let you do that. You have some attack. Alright, that one is dead. I gotta be able to make sure I hit the attacks. Oh yeah, I hit him. There we go. Easy. Lucky Tourmaline. Yeah, I always get I find Tourmaline quite often while I've been streaming. I found a whole bunch the other day. I need <laughs> I'm out of water. There you go. This is the only build I've ever, I've only ever carried two water skins on, and I regret, regret it immensely. Yeah, I always carry, carry three to three to five. Carry three people if you're new to the game. It is terrible to only carry two. Yeah, I used to when I first started too. I always carry three to five now. For sure. Well, are you getting rupture or blood sigil? I will be getting rupture cone because blood sigil is not useful. Actually, wait a minute. I have Conjure. I could grab Blood Sigil. No, because I won't have enough mana to use it regularly. I think I have like 10 mana right now when it's half burnt. 
Uh, well, what we'll do probably is we'll go rupture because in the last four different live streams I've done, I went blood sigil every time. Um, so I'll probably go rupture just to change things up. How's that sound? It's a really cool light dagger real close where you are, I think. Uh, Zorn's dagger is actually the opposite of where we're at. So we're near Light Spire. Zorn's dagger is up here. Try your lightning damage on those guys. Let's actually, see how well that right works. Here. Oh, it's not going to work very well. Let me, let me tell you that. Can I hit him from here? Yes, I can. I really should have put down a trap now that I think about it. They will do less damage to us, though, if I get the buff on them. Holy crap, it does nothing. Ah! <laughs> it does no damage. I need a different bow. Oh my goodness. Okay, at least I got one of them off of you. And they don't bleed. So this is this is fantastic. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to switch to the spear for these guys. Come on, kill yours. I think mine is slightly more difficult, but okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I do have backstab. Oh. Ooh, yeah, that'd be a good one to get. Nice. Yeah, this doesn't even do that much this. damage. Look. Because they're not weak to physical either. Dodge! Okay, nice. Dude, the backstab? <laughs> wow. Backstab, opportunity to stab, yeah. Oh, that's going to hit. Yeah, watch out. Oh, uh. Alright, he's on me. Okay, cool. I'm going to drop a heal potion real fast. Good idea. I don't need a healing potion, but I do need stamina. Holy cow. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I need a different bow for these guys. The twang enchantment is, is trash. Uh, he He's hasn't. Trash. Both of these guys have arrows on them, by the way. Oh, an, an arrow, I should say. Um, yeah, that Ooh. actually kind of sucked. <laughs> it does more physical damage than the spear, too. What did you just pick It up? just wasn't enough. I felt like I was wasting arrows, so I switched. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, do you want to go get a different bow? Uh, uh, Shane. Kind of need it. Let's, let's go. Uh, I don't know if there's any good bows in this area. We can go activate. No, because lightning sigil won't do anything anyway. We'll come back. Yeah, because I, I, I'm not going to try to carry you to that whole place. There's, I don't have the health useful. potions that yeah, snow is very useful on bows i agree I'm trying to think of a good bow i can get in this area quickly horror bow would be nice for this but i don't i might be able to know because my chest is not open oh. darn we oh god i was trying to make a one bow that was your future bow but... going to be i'm assuming the gold bow is just a place so gold bow is actually the final bow uh because of the lightning damage but eventually when we get to the hardest enemies we're going astral bow Oral horn bow from the giants? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out this Phytosaur. Let's fight him. You know, I almost guessed that that was going to hit me. Alright, these guys are fast. Come Watch out, you got three guys on you. Hexes would be useful for this as well. Oh, I didn't see these little guys. Should have grabbed hexes before I came to the swamp. I think I think they're actually locked on you. No, oh, no they're locked on the, on the phytosaur. Nice. Oh, jeez. That, that means we, we have to fight all, all three of them. Almost full health. I'm going to go for the one in the back. Yeah, the one is almost it. Yeah, it's a good idea. Jeez, I need stamina bad right now. Okay. Backstab oh, is so strong in co-op. And this bill is just kind of stupid, <laughs> physical damage-wise. Yeah, oh, nuts. hey, this guy has scale leather. I know you wanted that. Oh, my did. I don't think I need it now, though. Hey, th time. this guy has a uh, whatever horn, an arrow, and I'm going to take the clip nuts for myself. Okay. Because that, that's just how I... I don't need that arrow. Horn. 
Um, ah, I, I thought you wanted the bow. No, that one don't make the bow, I don't think. But it did. I thought you needed like two of those, a war bow, and like a palladium scup to make it. Uh, the coral horn? I already have the coral horn, but I don't have it with me. Oh! But yeah. Uh, ZapQ almost missed that you streaming. Good thing that Discord... Yeah, I did. I threw it in the Discord just in case people didn't see it. Okay. Nice. What? They heal. What? It's crazy. Yeah. Like, they heal for a lot, though. I mean, maybe if you want, like, such a bad shot, they wouldn't heal for so much. <laughs> Fair enough. You made him a unicorn. Oh, I thought I'd die. Okay, one more hit. He should have a debuff on him. No, maybe. I don't know. Uh, backstab. What are you doing right now? Uh, we are on the third part of our faction quest right now. Or my faction quest, sorry. We are just... I need to activate the lightning sigil. Um, uh, well, I mean, do you want to go get uh, the, the funnel and immaculate? No, he doesn't have anything useful in this area. Not for but... my build. Also, <laughs> we have to go to him later on for the backpack anyway. At least close to him. Mouse to feed? Yes, it is mouse to feed. <sighs> yeah, go ahead and draw him out and I will backstep him. Alright, he's bleeding. Okay. Nice. Oh, oh look at the arrow. It flew. Darn. Yeah, berries. Nice. All right, let me, let me get a quick water buff here. Also doing that? Oh, nice. Yeah, the problem is, when they send you to do it, there's like 20 billion things you need to do in the swamp. You know, purifier, light menders, tower, at least is what I need. All kinds of stuff. So I'm like very busy at the moment, but also can't do anything because my weapons do no damage other than lightning. Oh, that's funny. Buy coral horn bow and giants. I need to go to the giants then. Uh, your your weapon doesn't do anything, but my weapons do a lot. Yours does do a lot of lightning, but the problem is, then you're just doing everything. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I have torment. We may need to focus more on magic here. Okay. We're gonna head back there, six. I need to activate this first, and then we'll head back there. I thought I thought we were just just gonna be physical damage bros, but what's this magic I'm hearing? Hex won't do enough right now, but it'll do it'll do something. We'll be good. We'll be good. Wait, do you wanna go back to where we just came from? Yeah, I just need to activate that wind sigil. So we sprinted all the way over here. <laughs> yes. I tried to hurt your stamina bar as much as possible. Where did oh, this guy come did. from? Oh, he. You Which arrow is right the easiest him. to make? Iron. Well, I mean the basic arrow. Um, I don't know about the other arrows though. I've never got into them. So. I, and you I can't really... make them until you get to after Caldera anyway. So. What we'll the wait? Stegosaurus and Illuminator it. Horrors, the two most annoying mobs in Outward. Always two or more. They heal one another and buff one another. Yeah, they're a pain in the butt. Stekasaurs aren't as bad as Illuminators, because Illuminators trash the whole area around you. Like, dude. You have a bank account that you can hold one-time items or gems, gold, etc. Hold one-time item? Like, uh, like a character that I just put all my stuff into? I have a character that has a lot of the stuff that I've saved, yeah. I did make grenades earlier, guys. You can make oil bomb grenades. Yes, I do have a character like that. Um, for Definitive Edition, he doesn't have much. Because I haven't really transferred anything to him yet. But in my old Outward, I have like a, a t I have one character that has like everything in the game. Other than, again, Caldera. I haven't beat Caldera, so... Normal arrows can't make the others until you get into new Sirocco. Which, you need to beat one of the four main quest lines. Yes, very true. And I shouldn't say that. I did beat Sirocco with Liger. I just haven't done it myself. Okay, so we're going to need to switch. Is there a path that goes straight here? Yeah. 
Always got to be careful auto walking here because you can just walk off the cliff. Hey, Jinx. Nothing I have inflicts a hex. Bro. All right, we got Stegosaurus. Oh. I think I have one stunned. Yep, I have him stun locked. All right, one left. You can do it, Sheen. I believe in you. Wish my skills would come back. Jeez. My arrow land. Does that get rid of your arrow completely? Hmm. Probably. I am saving up predator bones, by the way. This is where I get my predator bay. De bouillon. De bouillon. Frag bombs with one sulfur, two scrap. I hate frag bombs, though. The oil bombs, I think, are better. They actually inflict a hex. I just dislike the frag bombs. But I also haven't used bombs too much, so I don't want to say they're terrible. Alright, now for the good... I really just want to clear this so we don't have to come back. Six. I mean, there's like three things we need from here, so... Yeah, your armor and everything for the quest. <laughs> yeah, armor, quest, and backpack. So it's like, I really need to get What's, this done. Isn't there like a secret weapon in the legacy chest up here? The legacy chest? Or whatever you legacy chest. No, no, isn't, isn't there like oh, a secret yeah. like, chamber? I forget your name's Yellow Thunder, and every time I see it, I just think it's so stupid. It's really funny. Uh, it's the giant great hammer. It's a no huh. pillar, pillar great hammer. I've Frag never bombs used do apply hammers. bleeding. Oh, do they? Interesting. If if it applied confusion, then we'd be talking. You guys want to see how much lightning sigil does these guys? I like to do fun things. This is one of them. Let's fight enemies with their element they're completely, nearly resistant to. Oh wait, I didn't, I took it off. Ah! I'm stupid. Alright, go with plan B. Oh! Can I get a hex oh. on him too? Both of the cold hexes immediately, that's pretty sucky. Okay. I don't have mana regen, though. Let's use our bow shot here. That doesn't do too bad damage against these guys. It's the big one I can't do damage to. Knocked down. Okay, nice. My magic plan didn't go well at all. I want to be honest with that. Didn't work. Yeah, I New about, DLC idea, Sarbo. There is actually a Sarbo, Jeremiah. Uh, if you take Sorborian's faction quest, you get a Sarbo at the end. But the problem is it's worse than Murmur. So, like, because Murmur gives you negative stamina, or he gives you stamina reduction, which is way better to have. Murmur's bay. All right, where you at? You're up there? Okay. Yeah, this this guy's locked on to one of us. I don't know who. All righty. Maybe he's not. Oh, he wasn't locked on. He was mana. just walking. I need to be tired. What the... Uh... I'm at 84. Darn it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, watch oh, out. No. He'll shoot you with lightning over there. All right. He's one more hit. Watch out. Nice. Good, I'm good, man. I I got them. Oh. I got them steps. This is the guy we need to worry about. He He's is on me. On you, so bad right now. There we go. Nope, he stole me. Keep shooting him. Ow. Okay, I got him on me. Knock him down He's now. Too. I can't. He's. I I did knock him down. That's what I meant. Sorry. Saving us stamina for lightning ball. Yes, we did. I'm just backstabbing him. That's all I'm doing. Okay. These guys are so much more difficult than their little guys.
Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed my back. Gosh side. darn it. Can he hit me from here? He's running. I'm back here. Yeah, he'll run. He's annoying. He'll hey, run. Yeah. He'll run for a long time. I don't know why, but he does that where he'll run down the stairs. What am I doing? I tried to click arrows. Hey, ah! hey, nice. That was close. <laughs> How much else you get? Me? Yeah. I'm nearly full. <laughs> Look at my health. Is it quite low? Yeah, you want to talk about close. I see you got close earlier, but my build held up the to the elite gargoyles and the elite crimson avatar so far. Off to beat up Granny next. Oh, awesome! Granny's probably the most fun boss fight in the game. I love the Granny. That one's awesome. Do you have Dreamer's root? No, I don't. I know where to get some, but I don't have it. I need it. I love how you just carrying on, even though I deal the most damage out of two of us. Yeah, I know. This is like this was the ultimate area I was worried about because I knew I couldn't do anything. Can I hit him. Well, you're here? welcome. I tagged along. Wait, 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 wait. I can do this. I will admit, though, backstab is absolutely destroying these guys. Did you go through the teleporter? Or did you go up? Uh, I went up. I opened up the teleporter. Coming. As fast as my little legs can carry me. Who are you shooting? <laughs> Ow. Oh. I don't think he has health regen. I'm wasting a lot of arrows, though. Do you just want me to go over there and kill him? Can't see through the pole. That's nice. I'm going to whittle him down a bit so he's easier for us to take out when we get over there. Do I have any ranged weapons on this character? No. No, I do not. I was hoping yeah. I would have, like, a simple bow or something. Look at him. He's trying to kill me, though. Hilarious. Can you, are you locked onto him, or are you just... Yeah, I can lock those? on, because I have the bow skill. Oh, you have Jinx. All right, that's as that's much as I can do. Well, I have Jinx, but that's not the one. It's the bow skill actually locks on. You do, like, nothing good. I hope you know. Oh, yeah. Can he burn? No, he can't burn, can he? I don't know. I don't know. I did a meme build focusing on impact, demanding everything to sit down. Yeah. Impact is probably the most broken thing in the game. If done oh, correctly. I have to say that. Have to. Hmm. Okay. Hey, there's an ash. <laughs> there is ash filter. Nice. Alright, okay, here's what we're doing. Potion. We're coming back here later, so just stay here. Huzzah, my good buddies. Oh, you're just, you're just sprinting for the... There's no reason to fight him. I can't do damage. We'll go get a horror bow later and come back. GG. Oh, I already asked that. Do, 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 do. Okay. There's a bunch of Dreamers root near the center of the marsh. Yeah, that's where there's a ton. It's actually the most Dreamers root I've ever seen in one area. But you have to have poison resistance, and I don't. Okay, here's the last one. This is what we needed. I think that goes... No, it doesn't. Okay. Ah, darn it. I like how that armor looks. That looks pretty, pretty snazzy. That one? Yeah, the Acolyte armor is pretty cool, yeah. honestly. Yeah, it's pretty snazzy looking. Very neat. If this game actually had charisma in it, I, I would enchant that with charisma. <laughs> charisma? Nice. Yeah. But it doesn't, so. Yeah. Are we leaving? Like, what was the plan here? Now we go Boss down man. to the left here. Need rage uh, for extra impact. I haven't even been doing rage. I didn't realize that. Do I have anything for rage? Let me see. Do I have the rage boot? Oh, God. I'm a failure at outward. I don't have a rage boot. Let me make a million more arrows. You'll need to enchant the horror bow to get the decay damage on it. Um, yeah, true. Look at that going. Let's get that going. All right, made as many arrows as I could. What are we about to fight? More of the guys we've been fighting. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. I thought it was like something. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Is it just one? No, no there's one. another one on the left. Careful. I'm just waiting for him to come over here to you so I can backstab him. There you go. Oh, oh you got him. Looked like you were going to miss on my screen. I and don't miss the with one. the Van Lady, okay? Alright. Nice. Okay. Good, <laughs> this good thing just... I had you hop in for the freaking Lightmaner's Tower. I would have just this, been running this through is, this. This is so stupid. Just backstab. The backstab is really funny in co-op. It's it's good in solo, but it really just shines in co-op play. What is the enchantment on the Horbo? Do we know what I need for it? Like material-wise? Oh, I can go. Oh, that hit me? Darn. Let me check the... Oh, wait. Are you just abandoning me with this guy? It was the plan, yes. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Overall, not a good plan, but... Okay, okay, okay. I can hit him with skill. There we go. Alright, I need to back up. We <laughs> turned around. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. <sighs> Jeez, oh, I have to sneeze in the middle of a battle. It's very inconvenient. Why is he locked on me still? There we go. Ooh, there we go. Nice. That that last part was a little. One risky. question: Why marble sword? Also, comment for the horror. Big decay one. Okay, thank you. Uh, marble sword, just because I like the look of it. That's that's literally the only reason. Fair enough. Fair it, enough. I mean, it does 37 damage, 27 impact, and with weightless as a 1.1 attack speed. So so far, it's the highest damage, highest highest physical damage weapon I found. For whoever asked. That weightless question. isn't too hard to get as an enchantment either. No, no, it was it was very easy. Okay, this is where I may need some. What did you go? What, Gene? I'm over here. I'm gonna go back through the portal. Oh, you went back through the yeah, portal? Yeah, yeah. Bless you. Thank you, Alvaro. I, dude, I was like, I hate that in the middle of a fight, you have to sneeze, and you're like, dude, I can't, like, deal with it properly. Oh, okay. I don't like when you walk away from me, because you're literally my only source of light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm I feel like there's something to... standing right beside me. There is, indeed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah! Okay, run up the stairs. Oh, here we go. I'll grab this, by the way. Ash armor! Shane. I'm on Shane. my way. Shane. Shane. Now I look cool. He's been... He's, he was literally oh, right beside you. Shoot, why do I keep casting this? I don't have a freaking thing for it. I'm just gonna stand behind his chest. Why is Jinx only applying the cool boon? Or not cool boon, but the cool hex. Okay, I think I got him off you. Nope. No. I, really? I, I got this legacy chest to, to, to keep him between me and him. This guy does insane damage. Look at this. Who are you fighting? Come to come over the here elemental. Me. I'm playing Gringo Rana Rosie with a thing that's probably gonna kill me if it hits me. Oh, it definitely will. Dude, I freaking hate elementals so much. Are you downed? Do I need to no, but I hate them so much. They're so annoying. With certain builds, they're so hard to defeat without getting hit. I wish your stream could see what I was doing right now. Alright, where's my health potions? Here they are. Alright, alright. Fashion is very understandable reason. Yeah. Why is he at full health? I hit him earlier. 
This is literally what I've been doing this entire time, was just leading him around this legacy chest. There we go. There you go. He's on me. I thought He's that still was on me. down. There you go. Come on, oh, lock on geez, to Sheen again, the bow so does can... nothing. Here we go. We're gonna get some I impact wanna... in this. Oh, it knocked me backwards. All right, now. Oh, watch out! The guy's hitting it from uh, away. I'm good. I I'm good. Don't don't worry about me. I hit the wrong button. You appear to be dead. Dodge, Ow. dodge, dodge. Don't stand still. Dodge. I stood oh, still. You can. Are you dead? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. This came like that. Trying to get more impact on him. It didn't work. Bow machine? Yeah. The but it's This is not an area to use a lightning build. It really isn't. I mean, look at this. I'm doing no damage. See, that freaking guy is annoying. I'm getting hit because he's doing... Bring him down here. We can't stay up there because that guy is shooting us from up there. Where'd my backpack go? All right, this I guess we can dead. do that, too. That guy right there, look, he's shooting me in the face. This guy has six arrows on He shouldn't even be able to, but he is. Okay, the Pillar Great Hammer is right here, six. Yeah, I saw it. Now run! I don't okay. know how that dude wasn't locked onto me, but he was locked onto you. Did you get your backpack? Well, the backpack isn't actually here. We just get the quest after we leave this area. No, I mean, like, your, your, your backpack backpack. Yeah, 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 I did. Keep summoning the sigil without using... I know, No, it's because I... He's trying no, to use lightning It's because I took Spark off to use Jinx, but I don't have enough mana to use Jinx yet. You silly, silly Random man. hex each cast based on the hexes that are already applied with some weird... The, yeah, but I've the, been getting... The weird thing, though, is I've had cold every single time. I've done it, like, five times. Do you have the cold times. boon on? No. no. Doesn't hex and multiplayer always have a visual bug where it always shows one color of hex despite applying different hexes? It shouldn't. I didn't even know who was putting hex on, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't see anything. It didn't... It did originally have those issues, but I don't think it does anymore. Okay, strange what? apparitions. Oh, do we gotta go play hide and go seek in the marsh? Kind of. Ugh. Uh, but we will do that when we come back from the quest. We need to get the quest done before I run out of time. What do you mean run out of time? For purifier. Oh, is this a time quest? Yes, sir. Oh, how many days you got left? We need to go back to the beginning. Let's go right. Um, which means all the way over here. Make up your mind, Shane. We have plenty Make of time, but I need to just get on it so I get it done. An obsidian bow wouldn't be bad either for some of these guys. I may need to grab that as well. Okay, what else can I put in my pocket? Anyway, it's guys, I wanted to show you the ash armor. I chose ash armor because it has a plus 25% damage bonus to lighting, but also has pretty good decay resistance, which you could never go wrong with. And, uh, than you. weather defenses, so. Also, I like the, the look of this build. Can you, oh, I was about to say, can you not get up the hill, Sheen? Looks kind of, I don't know, it looks odd, but it looks good at the same time. I love how our build's, like, basically the polar opposite. I know, right? Like, you, you look, like, kind of holy, and, like, with the white hood and everything, like, you're, you're a priest, and then I look like a little demon. <laughs> Very true. I look like the sleep prowls demon who's like, hello there. Oh, I wonder how well backstab works on this dude. Oh, that's it. It should be an insta kill. Oh, nope, I missed. That was a tablet. Ah, I'm here, dude. If I get my boon. Yeah, your shield ain't that good, my guy. I was doing so much more damage in solo. Not even funny. Goodbye. At, at this point with my sword, I just beat through the, the um, <laughs> this block. Okay, I need since to it has such high impact. Right. 
I got so much bent health right now, it's not even funny. Why Ash Armor over Silver Armor? Because Silver Armor has negative stamina cost. In other words, additional stamina cost. Like, it makes your stamina worse. And that's... You literally can't wear that when doing a bow build. Unless you get Murmur, then they equal out. Yeah, I, I, Murmur... Yeah, you could do it with Murmur, but... Where's my T's at here there? What is in front of us? What is... Oh, that's a bandit. Okay. A bandit, Captain. Sigil Spark, though, 85 lightning damage. Conjure, do 165. Yeah, but Conjure's so slow. Oh, hey, another bow. And shoot. You hit me. Okay, I'm gonna need to cancel that shot. Oh, he has the curf bow. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not very useful. Uh, it's useful for me. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Because I have no ranged options on this. Actually, do I even have magic for ranged? Uh, no. No, I don't even have oh, fire no? sigil. Oh, no? Dang. No, I, I don't have fire sigil on this build. The conjure, you don't actually need to be in the circle just nearby. I need to test that. Someone told me, I think you told me that last time, Caustic, and I've never tried that. I need to get Conjure, though. That's the one skill I didn't get from the Cabal Hermit, if I remember correctly. Oh, and people in the stream, if uh, if y'all have any options on what I need to uh, do for my third and final breakthrough point, um, I would love to know. What do you have so far? I have Rogue Trainer, um, Warrior Monk, and I believe that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Go Cabal Hermit for NT's Wind or Hex Mage. What I do. Oh, do, do. Did I get a third? How do I check my passives? That is what I would do. Okay, now we take healing items. There we go. Rupture oh, or shoot. Blood Sigil. Yeah, I was going to take. I th We did talked about that earlier, Shrek. Um, I think I'm going to have to take Rupture because Blood Sigil, is, I've used it too much on the stream. Could do, uh, I could do the, Either uh, option Primal Ritualist. Fine. You could. It'd actually be really good. Primal Go Ritualist is good in yeah, fill a bit every, all options. I love how you just ran away from me, and now you're about to die. Mm, yeah. Check out the mage, I got this guy. How'd I miss that? Oh, I missed the kill. I was going to try to steal it. Blue mage hat. Or bl wide blue hat. Why'd I call it a mage hat? Negative hey, 20 mana cost. Hours. Wow. The negative mana cost on those are awesome. This, this dude gets Rune Sage for seal, shield and traps. Well, you can't use Rune Sage very well when you're doing a dagger build, though. Yeah. And not unless I want to get internal lexicon, and that's just bad. Yeah, I recommend against internalized lexicon most of the time. I might, I might do primal ritualist and uh, go with that. That was pretty fun. Yeah, get get a little bit of range rolling. Well, plus with that option, you get more defense. Yeah, that's true. I have no barrier on this build, so that should be a really good option, I think. Yeah, that just means uh, I have to go split into Cadilla at some point. Then, where are we going? What are we doing? Who kill? We are now going to. The middle of the map. Uh, but we gotta go. I'll probably go to the Giants first and sell. I have that Great Hammer, which is heavy. I need to sell some stuff, too. Why am I faster than you? I am heavy. Oh, you're overweight? Yeah. I, I, I'm just gonna hold my mouth, because um, I don't want to say on your stream what I want to say. <laughs> I, know, I know you frown upon that stuff, so... <laughs> Coward. Coward? Yeah. But I understand. So there's not really any, like, chests over here, I don't think. I was hoping for a supply cache, but... Why, do you need arrows? No, I mean, I always check them for arrows. I don't need them, I but... I was about to say, you should have, like, 36 billion with how many iron scabs yeah. you've made. I always double check. Ugh. I don't... I don't like... Oh, do you like my little pet? The hippo. I love the hippo. I got the pro I didn't bird. realize 
when he runs, he just gets fat. You know who he would be able to take out pretty easily is the... What is uh Jade Lich. You think so? Yeah, lightning damage destroys him. Oh. What about fire damage? Because that's like the it's only good too. damage I do. Fire damage also, is pretty good. Uh, people in his stream and she this question's obviously for you also. Um, should I go with a virgin sword with um with like a fire a fire AoE? Or should I go with a obsidian sword of fire? Obsidian sword's pretty good. Why can't I talk to this guy? I'm talking to him right now. Oh, can we only talk to one person at a time? Yeah. I'm gonna keep the palladium. Jeez, eight predator or predator bones? Wow. Gold lich mechanisms we don't need. Boy, where is your chin? I think I'm pretty much just as heavy as I was. Fantastic. That's great. And you have 110 can capacity. I have 70. Yeah, I really need to. I could technically buy those, but I'm not going to. I need to buy more traps. Well, not okay. more traps, more, more ammo. You know what happens when you put Pearl Bird egg in Legacy Chest? Yeah, you get a black Hello, Pearl Bird for a pet. Pretty awesome, actually. What else do we need here? Let's spend some money and you, buy you a, recipes. You need a power coil? No, nah, I have plenty. You need a hexastone? Mm, no. You do, though. For totem. I do? Oh. Yeah, I would keep that for totem. There we go. Oh, that's that, oh my god, that pillar of great hammer you just I sold? I did him? see the tent. I may buy it. Yeah, we'll buy it. 2,500 for that pillar pill of totem you oh, just Oh, I know. Sold you, get a, you get a lot for the uh, great hammer. That blue whatever armor looks pretty dope, actually. Alright, let's take a quick, uh, quick rest. How much health do you have? Uh, I'm about a little over a quarter of the way bent. Um, okay. Does anyone here sell traps? For like, uh... Pressure play traps? Yeah. Hello, my I don't think so. Who, who's the other merchant? This guy? This yeah, guy? he doesn't sell them. Is there another one in here? No. Just the two. No. Alright, you got a tent? Uh, Do I have a tent? I, have I need Udo to get this negative tent. 20 stamina book. I think objectively, the obsidian sword might be better for burning. That's what I was thinking as well. Plant tents as OP as they used to be in base outward? What do you mean by that? I would say yes, they haven't changed. Um, they're still very good. Does he have a fire varnish? This is a cool looking build. I, I, the, really, the white mage hat would be better, but the look of this hood went more... Because the white mage hat has that stupid collar and it ruins the look of the ash armor. Yeah. Hello, my friend. Yes, the giants have the best lines. Plant tent. Nice. I have like five. So I would just camp outside and have infinite hotel. Yeah, I mean, it resets still, but yeah. Alright, we'll do... Yeah, we'll do... Um, right about here. I can't go full because I... And we'll be thirsty. My character can't survive. I'm not in a plant tent like you, my friend. Ha! <laughs> Coward. But yeah. Okay, so we need to go to the middle of the swamp to start Purifier. I think we can just go to the tree after that. So I got four antidotes. Should I get more? No, that's plenty. Okay. Give me some water here. What's uh, Six's build? He went for a dagger build. I, I can walk through it if y'all, if whoever asked me wants to. I can just t rattle off what I got. So, um, currently, I'm using the Marble Sword of Weightless. Um, got the Veil Lady's Dagger for a little bit of fire damage and pretty high impact. Uh, I got the Shadow Kazite Light Helmet with Assassin. Uh, same 
enchantment, but on the chest piece, and same enchantment on the boots for the full set. Hello, and then I have friend. the brigand's backpack. And this is a, this build's going for very high physical damage. And really, you can't go wrong with any option. You could go for, with most swords, and it'd be fine. For skills, I'm running um, Bogue Engineer, Warrior Monk, and probably Primal Rituals. But I don't have the third skill yet. Alrighty, we're good to go. Got a little beat up at the tower. The spire. But yeah, six could go hex with saber. Sword and dagger with DOTs and debuffs. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I I actually gotta go eat real fast, Sheen. So okay. I'll leave you a game, and then I will be back later. Sounds good, man. I'll okay. see you in a bit. Yeah, don't, don't do anything crazy now, you <laughs> hear? Hey, you know me. I won't be able to help you. All right, I'll be back. my water. All right, see you in a bit, Six. Okay, so we need to head uh, for Purifier. This should be fine. I don't think we'll have any trouble with Purifier. At all. Um, the Luxury Tent. Oh, my word, though. Look at the negative stamina. Ah, negative 23. Love that. Also, check that out, guys. I got stupid bugs on me. Um, 40 hot weather defense. Wow. From the boots and the ash armor. Plus the skills, the passives that I have. That's kind of awesome, actually. Okay. You know what's funny? Look at this. This is ready. No, no, no. This is ready. This is not ready. Ready? Not ready. Ready? Not... <laughs> like, the bow barely moves. That's funny. Alright, let's kill this mage here. No! Ah, I couldn't get out of the way. Anyone annoyed by the stupid fly? The... Fireflies? Yeah, me too. Me too, guys. Don't worry. And one last skill here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to go through... Monsoon before I do Purifier, right? I think that's how that works. There's the giant. We should kill him later. Okay. Now that we're in a straight path, let's delete some of this iron here. Stupid slow. I hate that. Corners are tight in the tree. You might fall off the edges when you lock on. That is true. Um, We should be okay if we move the Immaculate to his room and fight in there, maybe. That might not be a bad idea. Okay, what do we got here? Which one's more damaged? Definitely not the Tonosaur. We have no arrows equipped. That's going to be important to have. Oh, this guy's getting his butt handed to him. Okay. Okay. Drop back. That's nice damage to the Tonosaur. I mean, that's a good way to deal with Tonosaurs. I think you guys know I suck with Tonosaurs, so... Go spear for this fight? Heck no, Hafrin. <laughs> you trying to get me killed? Die to a freaking Tonosaur. I would do it too. I would. I'd probably die by a Tonosaur. Knowing my luck, that would happen. Oh, did you guys know there's a unique enemy in there? One of the only unique enemies I haven't fought. Ah, screw it. Now I gotta go show you. <laughs> More entertaining, not better. <laughs> I gotta show you guys. I can't. I can't bring it up and then not do it. You know. 
the reptilian lair. I'm pretty sure this is the entrance. There's a unique stekasaur. Have you finished the quest? No, I haven't. Ha! <laughs> I haven't. Thanks for your content. You brought me back to Outward with my friends. We really like you. Cheers from France. Thank you. Hello from America. Cool. We got some people from France. I like that. That's pretty neat. Oh my freaking word. What the heck is that? Whoa. Talk about the big. He's going to go around the rock so I can't fight him. It's fine. Oh, crap. I about fell off the cliff. Can he heal? Oh, he's fast. Look at this. I missed all my shots. He's fast. But he can be cheesed, it appears. Because he can't get up here. He's mean looking. What in the world? Yeah, I get that you're tough, dude, but like... You're real stupid, dude. I hate to tell you that. Ooh, that did nice damage. Can he get me now? Oh, I got scared. I thought he was going to come and get me. Yeah, I saw that coming. My friend, you look mean, though. I want to see what he gives us. That's what I want to see. Wow. Is he right next to me? No, he's not. Okay. Yeah, get out of here, dude. Alright, one more Stekasaur left. There is a timer, 20 to 35 days. If you don't finish the quest during the time, you won't get alchemical experiment. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I think we've only spent one day, though. We should be fine. Uh, there's more... I gave it more time because I gave the food. You have less time if you don't have the Sora Boring Caravan or get more food. So, I think we have plenty of time. Alright, what is the Razor Horn Stekasaur? He drops energizing potions? You're welcome to uh, drink nice wine and eat fine food in south of France whenever you want. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Energizing potions. That's cool. That will be useful for the bow build, actually. I need to learn how to craft those. I probably won't craft them very often, because that's how my brain works, but... That is how I work, but... Oh, I'll drop some of this linen cloth. Cool enemy. Very mean looking. He's fast. That might be one of the faster, unique ones they put in the game. What's over there? Crimp nuts? Oh, that leads to the other part of the cave. We don't want to go in that. That is death. That is Tonosaur territory. Yeah. Recommend six to use... Oh, I already read that one from ZapQ. Where are you from? Shrek, if you're talking to me, I'm from uh, the Midwest. U.S. The land of forever changing seasons. Is it hot? Is it cold? You have to walk outside to find out. I'm from Italy. Oh, nice, Shrek. Nice. Italian. I want a pizza, man. Send me a pizza. <laughs> I want one of them classic Italian pizzas. It sounds delicious right now. When does pizza not sound delicious, though? It's a valid question. Alright, we just don't want to run into a Tonosaur right now. I could deal with one, but I don't really feel like it. Pizza Mar... Oh, what can I say? Of course, Pizza Margaretti Pomodoro Mozzarella. Okay. Is it, you Feel free to make fun of me for saying that wrong, though. Feel free. And Firefly Bladder. I would. I need. I need to go to Italy sometime. If I was to travel to Italy, where should I go, Shrek? 
where you're gluten intolerant. Mar Margaretti, Margaretti. Ooh, look at these guys. Yeah, dude, I just killed your buddy right in front of you. Stupid. Oh, he hit me because I called him stupid. I'm sorry, bandit. You're not stupid. You're just really bad at your job. I love how the arrows stick out of the enemies that you shoot them at. It's quite amusing. Hey, look, ash armor. Mmm. Gluten-free pizza tastes like a PVC pipe. Hey, you're not wrong, though. Like, I went gluten-free for a year or two. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Dude, can I pick up this freaking spear? Thank you. I gotta go get Mofat anyway, because he has my boon that I want. Now, why am I so heavy? I need to delete this. That's why. Go to Milan, Rome, or Serdet. Oh man, this is I'm showing my American side because I can't speak any words other than American. Sardegna. Sardegna? Interesting. Why? What's special about those places? Was anyone else that disappointed by the pizza chakra? Yeah. It's too weak. For such a special quest, they should have made it better than the obsidian chakra. It's supposed to be a joke, though. So. Mix Italian fresh jam with French baked bread. Unreal good. Mm. Oh, they're English-like? That makes sense. I would not survive in a non-English-speaking environment. Can't do it. I would not be able to do it. I almost went to Spain when I was in high school. as like a learn how to speak Spanish thing. Part of the, I was like in Spanish 2 or whatever, and they're like, you could go on a trip. I'm so glad I didn't, because I don't know how I would have managed with all that. That would have been cool to see Spain, though. Would have been pretty cool. Tonosaurs are actually easier with the bow. Way easier, because they're difficult. Because they're aggressive at close range. They're not that aggressive at range. They just kind of run at you. Get wrecked, dude. Dude. Don't come to France. <laughs> the, uh... Hey, Nine Dots is in France, though. That made outward. That's kind of cool. Pizza Chakram is a meme. No, it really is. It's a joke. It's a joke. Had some nice gluten-free cakes, but it's super hard to find the good ones. Yeah, like, there's gluten-free noodles and stuff, too, but they're all... There's, like, one kind of every gluten-free food that's okay. All the rest of it tastes like, uh, cardboard or extremely stale. Extremely stale. Sardegna is good for two reasons, but I live there, and second, there are beautiful beaches. Oh, beautiful beaches. Nice. That's always good when you go on vacation, right? Nine Dots in Quebec. Oh, maybe it's not in France. I think it is in Quebec. It's like, they're French-speaking. They're not actually from France, though. Yep, you're right. That's my mistake. Yep. They're from Quebec, not France. They speak French. That is on me, ladies and gentlemen. Misspoke. Yeah, Canada. Watch yourself out in the marsh. Listen to me. All right, there is my blessed boon I've been waiting for. Watch your. I don't know why. I can. Don't I get purifier? It's done. Did I not do it in time? It gave me the quest and immediately said it's investigate hideout. French Canadians, not French. Well, I don't know. They said on their thing, they said you have to speak French. Does that mean it's failed? I'm guessing it's failed, right?
I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's failed. But I don't know why. I thought you had to do it before your third faction quest. Step. Oh, well, who cares about Purifier, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Third quest? No, I'm on the third quest. It's not done yet. This happened to me last time. Purifier... So you need to do Purifier before the third quest. Because this is the second time that's happened to me. I thought I had more time, and I don't. Yeah. Round second quest. Okay. That's my mistake. Is there something you need? Wait, what? Can you help? Five us? marshmallows, one fight of horn. What the heck? Oh, do I have a fight of horn? No. Convenient? I think yes. I know where marshmallows are, though. Is there something before you, you start third? I almost did that, you know? I almost went and did that. Okay, so yeah, next time I need to wait. Or not wait, I need to do it before third. I so That's what I thought, and then someone... No, and I corrected myself, I guess. I don't know. Uh, We need to cook food. We have a lot of predator bones. And they weigh a lot. So let's go to the cook first before we go get all this stuff. To Google, I shall be back with knowledge. <laughs> I feel I feel that I do the same thing. Happened to me as well. Think you have to finish it before third. Okay. Hey, we we know now. As collectively as a group, we all know do it before you. third faction quest. So that is good. And I can also buy the skills from the faction people here as well, or the. Skill tree people here. If we get rid of some of my money. Alright. And which ones do we need? The fire sigil is not necessary, but mana ward might be. Mana ward's never bad to have. Alright. We'll buy this one first. Hey there. That's so odd. I really thought I had more time. I thought I was like doing perfect. Guess not. Greetings, friend. Okay. Um. Have all those. Now I need to make a campfire. Where's my campfire at? Here it is. Okay. Now we can make some really, really nice stamina foods instead of what we've been having. Which are mediocre at best. Greetings, friend. What's up, Linzo Green? How's it going? Oh, uh, that's not what I want to make. I want to make the tartines. There we go. Now we're talking. One of the best stamina foods in the game. Just made toast. Why? I don't have an alchemy kit either, or I made uh, something else. Oh, Predator de Bouillon is something else I wanted to make. Alright, I made five of those. Keep the cooking pot, don't need it. <laughs> Look at the stamina, though. That's insane. We just made 24 marshmallow tartines, and we made... Oh, where are they at? Come on. 15 bouillon de predator. Saying that wrong, probably, but... I think I found out why. It stays this. Additionally, this quest will also be failed if you've not completed it by the time you reach your third faction quest. Mmm. See, I, when I read that, I read it as do it... You could do it during your third faction quest. Okay. I should have done it. That's annoying, though, because then you have to go over to the swamp, head back to the desert, just to head back to the swamp. That's goofy. Do purifier before you finish the second quest. No, you can do it after the second. You just don't want to wait the three days. The three days timer won't reset until after you come back, I don't think. Maybe? 
Maybe you do have to do it before the second, then. That's weird. You have a Discord server? Yes, I do, Shrek. Uh, in the bottom right of my YouTube channel banner, you can actually find the link to my Discord. Bro, what you doing? Is this, uh... What, what is this? There. Thank you. And thank you. Only... There should be three marshmallows, which gives me four. And there's one outside of town. So then I just need a Phytosaur horn, which is usually a Phytosaur to the left. French food sucks other than French toast. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just notice that all the food is named in French, so cool. Our cooking still dominates even in Howard. Hey, hey I, I can't argue with that. I, I think French cookie's pretty good. Having done more research, you need to finish Pure Fire before you finish the second quest. Or at least start the quest before the third. Gotcha. That's still annoying. Did you die? Uh, no, I'm not dead. Welcome back, Six. Thank you, thank you. I missed the Pure Fire quest, though. How did you miss it? Uh, you have to do it before... During your second uh, part of the faction quest. And so, I so, waited till the third because that made sense to me. And it's too late. So, so what does that mean for your quest line? Nothing. Nothing? It doesn't affect the quest line. It just means I don't get the tribal favor for like an extra merchant or something. Oh. Cage Manic Gaming, what's up? Hope you are... Uh, you and Chad are having a awesome day. I am, actually. I like that. Yeah, have a pretty good day. Just logging through the faction quest right now. This is the longest part is this hollowed marsh area. Um, same password? Uh, yeah, let me open it for you. Right. If you hear something crunching, I'm eating a lifesaver right now. Gotcha. Lock the new spell. Monster Levitation. <laughs> Alvaro. What if we had that, though? What if we had Levitation? Imagine if there was just flying in this game. You could just fly? Hmm. That, like doesn't, that doesn't break fly. any part of the game. Or like enemies could fly. That would make the game so much harder if enemies could fly. It really would. Give me a Phytosaur horn. Give me a Phytosaur horn. Yes. Why do you need Phytosaur horns? For this part of the quest, I needed a Phytosaur horn and five marshmallows. I didn't have any of it, so. We killed, ah. we killed like eight of those Phytosaur, and you didn't pick up a single one of the horns. No, I don't know why. I truly didn't. Kid and you can gaming, pick you up decide what three skill trees you're going for? Yeah, I'm going for. Uh, Hex is the only one I don't have. I went Hunter, Cabal Hermit, and I'm going Hex, lastly. I'm loading in, by the way. Gotcha. For the extra elemental damage. As well as activating hexes with the astral bow later on. I do like the bow so far. The aiming feels quite strange to get used to. I, I did not like the aiming at first. Um, I like it now. It's very, very fun now, actually. That I've gotten used to it. Pretty cool. What you doing, Shane? Alright, we gotta head back to town here. Oh! Convenient, I know. Can you imagine doing trio specialized build setup? Yeah. Yeah, like, you could go... One of your players would have to be Mega mega Hex, I think. You'd be the activator. You activate the Hexes and Rupture. Another person would probably go Blood Sigil with a Dagger build, and then the third one could be a... Just pure tank. Yeah, you could go pure tank, or you could go a chakram build that inflicts hexes. What is the... No, you couldn't use a chakram because it doesn't inflict hexes well. Probably an astral weapon. Yeah, two of you would need to use different astral weapons, and then the third person would activate the hexes. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty I think neat. our build setup is pretty, pretty solid. Is there something you need? Okay, I've got the ingredients. You for your aid. Hmm? I'm back in 12 hours. Okay. 
Is there something? Can I talk to him now, or do I have to wait for the twelve hours? Greetings, what did he say? friend. I'd like to talk. Okay. Farewell, my friend. He says he doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. What's the um, um, alchemist too? That is the alchemist. Oh, that is the alchemist. Is yeah. Who sells traps? Blacksmiths. Um, blacksmiths. usually do. Or the person next to a blacksmith. The lock on aiming is quite better than the right click one. Yeah, this one is kind of meh, but it's still good. What the heck are you doing? Whoa. Sir? Sir. Sir. Of course, this but, guy doesn't yeah. spell. But I won't. <sighs> what are these guys doing? I like how you can push NPCs around. It's kind of funny. But yeah, I, li I mean, I like this. It's a good feature, being able to do this right here. What are you doing? The scope in on the bow. Ah. I'm still iffy about the, the twang enchantment. I, I think this is going to fall off. I think it is. But the other thing, though, is this could be a way to buff Lightning Sigil really, really high. If we get the Astro Bow, we get an extra 10% of Lightning damage. So this, this is kind of weird. But I don't know. I like it. What can I do for you? How many arrows do I have? I think I had plenty, right? Yeah, I had plenty. All right, we need to sleep uh, 12 hours. I need to sleep in my tent. I have eight piece pacemaker elixir and don't know what to do with them. Why do you have eight of them? Holy cow. Different element focusing on each and ramping up damages of each other than different gear. Oh, uh, I could see that, Zapku, yeah. Yeah, I, I could see that. Are you ready, Six? Where are you at? Nah, I'm shopping. Ah, gotcha. I say shopping. Where's my I cooking pot? I can't find anything that I need. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh. Whew. Never have too many teas. Really thought I would be able to do purifier. I don't know. I can't believe I messed I that could up. Just, I could just steal your tent. Yeah, technically, you could. You got a tent? I plant tents. Alrighty. We need to take a quick... Re I need to get that stamina buff too, which you'll need. The Trog Squad scheme I sent you once. Yeah, yeah, I could see that working. That be that one was cool, though, because Trogs... It, it, that idea just seems interesting to me. All right, 14 hour. No, I did. Yeah, right there. The repair two hour. This way, we will be able to continue on. And it not be nighttime, because that's terrible. Yeah, yeah. I wish enemies slept sleep uh, slept in this game, so traveling at night would actually have some type of benefit. Right. Thought they stacked the elixirs. Yeah, they don't. You can only use them one time. I'm pretty sure. You can either pick up your tin or I take it. Yeah, I uh, spent 200 silver on that. I think I need it. Oh my god! Didn't you have like 53 silver bars the other day? Well, gold bars, I have, silver bars. I have plenty of gold bars, yeah. I'm I'm stupid. Don't mind me, guys. Okay, return to the alchemist in half a day. Uh, Is there uh, something you need? Excellent. Yes. It worked, and do you have an idea how heavy those are? Can you help with this? Five plant tents? Wow. I underestimated the uh, rewards from this. Antidote and elemental resistance potion. Greetings, friend. Okay. I need you to talk about ending the famine. Yes, I... <laughs> what? That was a weird laugh. Yes, Remember he has this. quite an odd one. Uh, we agree this is insane. I had a... Can you lend me a hand? Ancient peace treaty that was written on a stone tablet. Luckily, oh, I already that grabbed stone, that. If you know the catch is that the tablet I want you to fetch is in risk no problem. the fury of an immortal lich. It... Greetings, friend. Uh, Good job. Can you lend there we go. Me a hand? Holy cow, I have to give him 300 silver? Um, it's not that much. Thanks a bunch. Alright, Mao's Defeat has been updated. Return to Queen Alexa in the Palace of Levant. Now, how much money do I have on me? Seven gold bars. Let's... I got, I got 800 gold, uh, silver. Let's travel to... Harmaddon, and then see where they take us. 
Greetings. You ever tried any mod sheen or yes. chat? Uh, so people have asked me about that quite a few times. I haven't. I haven't tried them yet. I want to get into them soon, but I haven't tried them yet. Some of the mods are very interesting. I would actually. Have you done the train quest yet? Train, train, train quest? No, I won't. I won't start that till later. Don't go near there. Oh wait, no, it starts automatically. Never mind. Yeah. It won't matter. We have. We're almost done with the uh, faction quest, so it'll reset them oh. anyway. Yeah, we're at the end of the third quest, and then there's one quest after that. It's Which is like the whole one. fighting thing. The fighting thing. Prince gets killed and all that jazz. Oh no, our Madden's in trouble. Ah, we have a hundred days, bro. Okay. I need to sell the gold. I think the alchemist has enough. I need to get bloodlust, guys. That's why I came here. Me and a buddy installed some quality of life bods, and man, it's nice having unlimited stacking and numerical values. I gotta say, that one seems nice to have. There have been a few people that have mentioned that to me. That seems really cool. Is there something you need? Um, let's see. We need gold bars. I could buy a virgin weapon from the blacksmith. Okay. Put them up. I'll train ya. All right, I have these two. This one we don't want. This we do. So now I need <laughs> 300 more. Never mind. I'm not buying that weapon. For rupture. 300 more for Lockwell's. How much damage do I get right now if I put on the boon? 16. That's pretty good damage for a bow. For lightning damage? It's not bad, guys. Already have the stamina passive? Yes, I do. I made sure to grab that immediately. Um, I feel like... No, we're not gonna go... We need to make sure we carry around foods that make us more tired, though. I'm gonna need those. Alright, I'm really sick of this. One arrow. Bro. How much damage on the spear now? Ooh, that's a good question. Starts with 24. 40 damage? Are you kidding me? How much does the lightning sigil do? Spark would... I mean, Spark would be massive. That's really good, though. 40 damage from a spear for lightning. That's pretty nice. 900 more silver to get both those skills. Can I do it? Probably not. We need to see where he's going first. I don't really need them right now. I needed Bloodlust, though. Greetings, friend. Gives me my stamina burn back. Okay, he's going to Berg. We want to go there, actually. Greetings, okay. friend. Now, is this time? Yeah. Don't forget, uh, Astral don't have Twang Enchant. Yeah, I know. It won't have lightning damage. I don't think I have travel rations. I need to get some of those attack yours. I think it'll just take mine. So, we have to come back here as soon as this quest is done. Friend. Yes. Yeah, so cool. I'm not no worried about... Can you buy the house and get your money here? No, you have to complete the faction quest first. Before you can buy the house. Unfortunately. So why, why do we have to come back here after the third, third and final quest? Well, after the fourth one. Um, oh, fourth one. To just It's the next part of the game, really. Will you do oh. outward giveaway? Don't want to spend uh, money that much for a game. <laughs> I I thought about doing a special like outward um what's it called contest where we do a fashion contest and I do something with that but I I don't know I never did it I don't really give away outward though 
Outwood gives away you. <laughs> I've been try I tried to put it together a fashion contest, but in order to do it, I would have to actually set up a special thing in my Discord, and I, I don't know. Didn't end up happening, ultimately. Another luxury tent. Nice. But yeah. Um, let's see. That that bloodlust is going to help with stamina, though. I mean, look, I'm never going to have burnt stamina. Well, I will sometimes, but... You got the one sigil here activated? Yes, I do. The only one I don't have activated now is Caldera, I believe. That one's pretty easy to get to, also. Yeah, I mean, you have to go to the Primal Ritualist anyway. Oh, it's like right there. Alright, do you have rations? You're gonna need four. No, oh, probably 180 real fast. Okay. Let me grab wood and make some more arrows. I have 30 iron in my inventory. Very nice, indeed. Sora Baran had an obsidian shard. How do I make the obsidian bow? Does anyone know? Because I'd like to make that, too. Add some extra in things in Discord so people will share builds. But yeah, yeah. There, it's just stuff I need to set up if I want to do that, ZapQ. And I never end up doing it. I've been busy with other videos and stuff, so I didn't do it. This worries me. It would be cool to do, though. Be something interesting. Don't uh, listen to him. He's just charge. making excuses. <laughs> simple bow and obsidian shard as well. It's just a simple bow? That's it? Oh, no, you're saying you know that for sure. I'm guessing crystal powder. Oh, it's two obsidian and palladium. I had the palladium. We can just go kill those burning men. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go down, then. Out this door. Uh, the... No, you know what we'll do? Could do the face of the ancients. Let's go this way. We'll do face of the ancients. The Wait. obsidian elemental should drop it. Hold up. This, there's literally fire elementals in there. Hey there. And I'll buy a simple bow. Does no one have a simple bow? I'll kill a bandit and I'll get a simple bow. I I need fire charges, but I can't find any. Yeah, I, the recipe for them is thick oil, salt. I think that's it, maybe? Oh, screw it. You need an alchemy kit, though. Oh, you need an alchemy set? Yeah. I, try, I bet, I bet I have that recipe. Yeah, I have it. It's iron, it's, uh, iron scraps also. That's what it is, okay. Charge palladium scrap with a simple bow. Okay, let's go make that real quick just for some... I mean, look how cool this, this build is. I really like the ash armor. I think it's a very aesthetically pleasing chest plate. As well as the arcane hood. The, the white arcane hood is one of my favorite um, armor pieces in the game. Even though the beak on it is bleh. The hood really adds a lot to it. Really does. Simple bow. I think, I think my in. favorite is probably the elite plate set. The elite plate does look awesome. Yes, it does. I never it use does. it though. Me either. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> my favorite faction. The problem is I have a lot of different opinions on factions. I like all kinds of them uh, for different reasons. The Hall oh, of Marsh. Some... I love the Hall of Marsh for uh, the rewards. So the say, yeah, Heroic yeah. Kingdom. I like the the gameplay. I think they introduce you to a lot of nice fights and stuff. Sora Borean is definitely the best lore-wise. And then Berg is just the classic. Oh. That's... So, honestly, I'd have to go with Sorobor. I think my answer changes every time someone asks me that. Sorobor's cool, though. Oh, look. Health back already. I like it.
Let me shoot him in the back while he's sitting there. Don't okay. try to switch to your bow. Did he did he have a bow? I need to pick that up. Yeah, he got some bow Sweet. and arrows. That's what I'm talking about. What kind of fool switches to a bow when there's a dude beating him down with a sword? Well, um, you see, he's not really the most intelligent lad. There's more bandits up here. Gene, as you loving halberds, you should try to do a build around the Sanguine Cleaver with Crumbling Anger Enchant. I really do need to. Well, what's this? Oh, that's the, uh, that's if you put a Cleaver Halberd in the, um... What's in the legacy chest, right? I believe so, yeah. Wait, don't run away from me. Oh, I need more arrows. I got them, don't worry. Alright, so we will need to pop boons before I go in there. Because that is an extra... I don't even know. I don't like math. I'm not doing it in my head right now. Sorry, guys. It's a little bit more damage. Oh, hi. I honestly, to God, hate this place. This one? Yeah, it's yes. one of the harder caves. For sure. Do you have any more build ideas? Oh, I have a million build ideas, Shino. A million. Will they all work? Probably not. Sometimes they don't work. <laughs> but I have a million more ideas. What? What you... Do you, do you have one that you're looking forward to more than others? Uh, one that I want to make a video on that I will not live stream is a spear build. Okay. Um, I talked to I talked to ZapQ in the chat. I talked to you about that. Um, it, it uses blaze and fire. I'm excited to do that. Ten percent equals one lightning on your bow. Yes, that's right. So thirty percent would be extra three. Okay. It's simple math, but it's like, uh, math. Does this give me discipline? I don't think so. It gives me... Physical attack up. Okay. And make sure you have water on you. Yeah, I got water. I got ice bags. I got... Okay. I need to activate some boons. Uh... Ah, I don't have the warm boon. So my... Do okay. I have another dagger? I don't have another dagger. Base is definitely well, one of the harder dungeons in the game for the unprepared. Probably my favorite. Yeah, the unprepared, this is the cave where you're like, this looks cool. And then you immediately get wrecked. But it is a really cool cave. Oh, there's one down. Piece of cake. Wait, are those arrows? No, I can't grab them because they're in his body. Come on. All right, should be one more over here. Two. Sir, I can knock you back. Oh, yeah. That extra lightning damage, you can definitely tell. You can definitely tell. What about any videos on some of the hidden armor sets you can get? Um, what do you mean by hidden armor sets? Uh, there are definitely some harder to get armor sets. I'm just wondering what specifically you're talking about. Like boss ones? I do need to make a video on all the boss weapons and armors that you can make. That'd be cool. Maybe the stuff from the blacksmiths needs to be... I can make a video on all the armors people make in the blacksmiths. Although that wouldn't be... I mean, people, most of the people can just check that, I think. Smoke weapons with fire infuse is easy. Blaze plus the option to shoot with discharge. Yeah. Smoke weapons are... Eh, they're iffy, but they're good. If used correctly. We're definitely taking this guy out first. What, the elemental? Yeah. I'm gonna let him hit me. Because I'm just gonna kill him. How did that not... I got barrier now, so I guess that's cool. 
Thank you. Ooh, that actually is a not bad. A barrier is not bad for this character. Or lay wilt. It's not really good, but it's not bad. Already my stamina has been better. Oh, shoot. You okay? Ah, it's that bot in the chat. I look over for one second and I'm like, what in the world? This next section has those fire horses, right? Hey, purifying quartz. What the heck? That's awesome. Yeah, I left all that for you. All right, bring the fire horse out here if you can. Or if you want me to, I'll do it. Uh, I'm going to set my traps up right here, so if you just want to wait. By the way, guys, notice it's hot in here, and I am not affected. This armor set is awesome for this. I'm flattered, but I'm married. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Shane, stop. Stop, 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 stop. You're putting more down? Yeah, I got three. Okay. Let me get Trust a good me, this, this makes it. This makes it just trivial to kill these guys. Oh, I agree. I agree. Put the ice in there, I'm guessing. No, I don't have ice. So I'm just doing ethereal. That's all I got. All right, I'm good. Bond. Okay. It's literally just a straight line back behind you. All right, run to me. Can't leave burn. I'm down. Okay, okay. Well, they're both confused though, so. We gotta get uh, rid of their fire ability. Get put back and try to get me. I'm going to. The shit of uh, let me put some ice in there. That would have done more damage. I didn't know you had stuff I, for ice. I think I do. What the heck, dude? Ah! Okay, we can bring them up here, and then they're easier to fight. I'm about to go down again because I'm on fire. I see it. I got a horse chasing me. I'm about behind you. I shame. Thank you. Oh, okay. Can I hit him from here? Yes, I can. Oh. Uh, do you got anything to do with burnt health? Uh, not at the moment. It's in my backpack. I have a couple mushrooms. It's the two of them. I usually try and uh, only fight one at a time. But... Wow. I'm down again. He just instantly hit me with a spell that was going for you. That's why I put the water in my bag. <laughs> I, 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 I don't I don't have the, the health to put to Yeah, no, you have to okay. Can I hit him from here? Yes, I can This it, the reason is is it's close quarters. This is not a, the best way to fight a horse Um, I'm just going chill while, while you take care of that Yeah, come here, you stupid horse. It's just being really annoying in this cave. It is this cave sucks. This cave really does suck. There's no like if for a bow, like I can't. There's no good area to fight. I have a health potion I need to take if I can find my backpack. It's back over here. Oh, you're still, you're still alive, okay. You gotta be kidding me, horse. And he constantly flings those stupid fireballs in this cave. I love how they- More they, than they any of them else do. Oh, good. Like, go around corners. But he just constantly does it. It's so annoying. Do they bleed? I feel like they should. I, ice elementals coming in. That shouldn't be able to hit me. I think he's actually going after the fire horse. He was earlier. And then he gets trapped, but he won't... Like, there's no good way to hit him still. Because of where he's at. Like, he won't stop moving. Yeah, this is extremely annoying. Okay. 
I can't use melee. I mean, I could. I could switch, but... Melee's way easier for these guys. It's nearly impossible. Like, can't get the shot off. It's every single... Yeah, because range on an Obsidian Elemental is stupid. Um, because they constantly try to do the fireball thing. And they'll kill you fast with the fireball thing. Yes, I they will. No, I can't. Where are you at? Uh, I'm down by your bag. Okay. Okay. I was trying to pick something up. Out of your bag to heal. Did you kill them? Are they dead? I got them. Uh, Ice Elemental still alive. Sorry. That game just froze when I try to open your bag. Where is your big old health bar? Uh, dry mushroom bars. Oh, mushroom bars? Do it. Yeah, they'll get rid of some. No, oh, yeah, that's so much. Yeah, it's not very much, but it's something. Yeah. There we go. A terrible, terrible cave. Or the bow. I do I, not like these small, uh... I need those mushroom bows that you just stole. I say stole. Where are they at here? That was probably not the best way to handle that fight. Honestly. Uh, we did get the shard, though. You want to go ahead and kill the Fest Cannibal? Might as well, yeah. Mystic Knight could have jolly strolled through there. Hey, what's up, Yagram? You did make it nice, nice. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, whenever Six dies, it gives me health because of Bloodlust. Isn't that funny? Oh, does it really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, I was doing something useful then. You were technically helping me. Yes. Okay, so All right, we can craft the bow now. Simple, two obsidian, and a palladium scrap. We have uh, fire arrows, too. Where is it at? There are only five fire damage? Wow. Scorch text is what it does, though. Alright. Do, um... I'm about to overheat here. That's not good. Okay. Let's see. Once again, hey, my pocket's heavy. In three seconds. Why are you light over here? Looking for your thing? Yeah, I do. I, did I, do I have all three of my inventory? No, I got one. That occasionally will happen, and they will disappear. Oh, that's sad. It's stupid, is what it is. There is a child right there. What was that? A, that looks like a child playing there. Yeah, a uh, very messed up child. You you got a you got a weather defense potion on you? I do not. Oh, what is very hot do to me? Okay, where is the door? A negative right sixty stamina and cost to actions on plus fifty. Jeez. Copal is a totally different story. Pilgrim armor is made from the end game bosses. High physical. Pilgrim armor has some cool uh, pouch bonus too. Okay, I popped the wrong boon. What are you doing? Alright, I'm gonna kill the oh, first Oh, wait, why camera. am I freaking out? There's literally a, uh, a cold part of the cave right down here that I can cool off. And... Yeah, just come in here. You want to be really hot, actually, right now. Uh, let's see. Follow me. Let, let me let me pop some pop some stuff. Nice. Alrighty, I'm definitely gonna look up where this stuff is at since I've been collecting every set of weapons and armor for my character. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool boss weapons and things that you should definitely look into. That is definitely a ghost. What we don't want to happen is for a enemy to come up behind me. Hence, a wendigo. Yeah, I love how you just left me up here, and now I'm currently fighting a ghost. 
Oh, are you? Yeah. I am too, actually. I heard your bow! <laughs> Woo! Sneeze in the middle of a fight again. It's terribly inconvenient. Hello. Yeah. I see. Kill that dude. When, I, when I'm doing stuff. I know one of these guys with a rage boom. Which one was it? Bad idea, bad idea. Yep, it was a bad idea. Oh, I pulled it off. I helped. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's refill stamina. I have eight antidotes? What the heck? It sucks that I'm missing my three pressure plate traps. Yes, it does. I, I don't know if it's a co-op glitch, because it happened when I was using pressure plates as well. Um, in co-op, so I'm not sure. But Sheen, mineral tea restores burnt health. Do I have mineral tea? Uh, I do. I oh, don't. here, take this. Oh, that, that'd be good. Especially since we've had a fight a one to go. I didn't think about that. Thank you. Been antidote hoarding again, Sheen? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I ended up with so many. Let's see. Oh, where is he at? Oh, he's up there. Are you gonna bring him back down here? Yes, sir. Do, uh... Head into this cave right here. Oh, head into the cave? Yeah, there's a... Um... What, what cave are you Fire for about? you. Oh, back here. Oh, should I do lightning or ethereal to him? Um, I got ethereal, so fire would be best, but but I, I didn't have fire. So okay, I can get fire on my weapon, so oh, I don't like he activated it. All right, I got him burnt. Watch out, don't get hit by that. He's on me. He's on you. Okay, okay. There we go. Nice. Easy. Woo, good fight. Good fight. That, uh, obsidian bow definitely helped. Oh, my last pressure plate's gone. Did it really do it again? Yep, it's gone. I, this has to be a co-op glitch. It's gotta be. And Very I don't know attack. how that's not fixed yet. Emmerker Forest, place with no poison enemies, but enemies that make you poison yourself. Interesting. Interesting. Marble sword. Crazy, I already have one. Mm -hmm. You can take whatever you want. I'm kind of full right now. Alright, I need to grab the statue so I can get the dagger. I am loving the fact that this build makes me very, very resistant to weather. Without trying much. Cold is definitely the nemesis that I have to deal with, but it's not bad. I mean, my helmet helps with cold, so... Helmet has... Uh, three... <laughs> it helps three, okay. <laughs> it's not much. I don't know why there's seven linen cloth lying right here. Oh, shoot. I need to do the dagger thing. Since yeah. I'm never coming down here. Guys, look though. Look how be much better my stamina is. I did not... For some reason, I didn't think Hex was going to be as good for the stamina as it is. It's insane. And we get the Red Lady's Dagger. What? We can be twinsies. <laughs> Jean cool Potion is literally a gravel beetle in water. No, but cool uh, doesn't help in cold. Uh, the the warm boon would. Oh. 
And I'm immune to heat. Basically. I I am not, so... I can show you. Uh, where's my stats at? 30 hot weather defense with no boon. Pretty good. Pretty good. They ever fixed the Krebe suicide pill, or will it still kill you? Yes, it still kills you. It's supposed to kill you. In fact, now you need it to stop the hive. The hive, uh, give you hive infestation. The only way to cure it is to poison yourself. So you just eat a Krebe seed or cyanide pill and they get rid of it. Pretty cool. Are there any hidden bosses other than the Royal Manticore in Enmerker Forest? Now, I wouldn't call the Royal Manticore hidden. Um, no, although, no, technically, sometimes it is she is hidden. Because her actual lair is in the very back of that area. It's kind of funny. Um, there's the Hive Lord, which is... I would call that one hidden. Yeah, the Hive Lord, you got the Late Burning Man. Um... The first cannibal is similar to the Royal Manticore as well. Yeah. But actually, uh, hey, once you're done with your faction quest, if you head back to Sierzo and go to the dock, at the end of the dock, there's a rowboat. Enter the rowboat, and it will take you back to the island you spawned on in the original area of the game. The Sar Knight is an enemy there that you can fight. No, you got his name wrong. It's question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> yeah, he technically yeah. doesn't have a name. He's like uh, Concealed Knight, Sar Warrior... He has multiple names. It's it's very funny. Um, ready to whack your face in with a sword. There's a bandit right there. Oh, there's a mage right there. <laughs> I do have the wrong bow on, and you can definitely see the damage decrease. That was funny. That when you shot that the bandit. Captain, the lieutenant, the ice mage ran over to where he was at, ran right past me, and let me get a backstab. Oh, nice. What you doing? What's up? Grabbing some wood here. Oh. DLC with ships would be very cool. Yeah, for the, um... What is it called? It starts with the O. It's like Aroshi or something. Is the Kazite town, and they have a literal island built out of boats, because they're, like... Old home was destroyed or something like that? Hiroshi? Yeah. That would be cool to add. That would be very I would, cool. I would pay for it. 100%. 100%. Oh, I have a shield. I need to get rid of that. The Concealed Diet might be a reference to the Ebony Warrior from Skyrim. I always thought so, too, because it's a very similar thing. Shield and sword. Black armor. And also, like, the ultimate. He's the same as you. He's just done being alive, basically. He wants to be defeated by someone better than him. You thought you could outrun a machine. Where's this boat that takes you back to the beginning? Once you complete your faction quest, you have to do that first. It spawns on the end of the dock in Sierzo. And Sierzo has to still be alive, right? Uh, no. I believe oh? it can still be... It can be wrecked and it'll be fine. Oh, I thought it had to be alive. Uh, because you can actually get through if it's destroyed. You can still get in through the back. So I think you can still go there. I I'm not helping you kill that thing. Not without it getting locked onto you first. Don't worry, I have a plan. I have a plan. Oh, he is locked on to someone else. Oh, nice. I love how you just kind of like Michael Myers stab them. <laughs> End game name is question, question, with question mark. But due to yes. that being an invalid page for the fan wiki fandom, it's called Concealed Mind. Right. I like to call him the Sar Warrior as well. Is that for DE only or just base game? That was always in the game, I believe. Uh, I know it's in the base game, but I think it was always in the game. It may have been added with... No. But yeah, it's, it's in base game. What is Haboob? Haboob. 
Haboob what? is the... It's the one town that doesn't have anything going on, I think. But I can't can remember. You get there? No, you cannot, unfortunately. Okay, I didn't think you could. Haboob is similar to... It looks like Swamp Area-ish. No. No, that looks like a... That it's looks a, like a cool... trading hub, I think. So, what's the point of it being on the map if you can't go there? Well, they kind of teased it, but that didn't end I would, up happening. Yeah, I would like to be able to go there if it's on the map. I'm not fighting a fire horse. You sure? I just want you to know that I... You, you can fight him all you, you sure? want. <laughs> um, if he gets aggroed on you, I may help you. That's very kind of you. Uh -huh. Depends if I can backstab him. Abuva is actually a violent and oppressive wind blowing in summer. Especially in Sedan, bringing sand from the desert. So, like, the real place, you're saying? No, I don't think Abuva is a giant city. All of the towns are actual towns. Giant, um... Giant cultures are not named as towns. I don't think. I don't think. I would have to double check on that, but I'm I'm nearly positive. I guess we're fine. He looked at me wrong. These got to be one yeah. of the most hilarious things to fight. Knock them on their belly and then just. Eh. Eh. <laughs> hilarious i've got to say guys i mean i love the look and feel of this build whether or not the lightning is that good at the moment it's gonna be know. good against uh it's fun the scourge yes it is very good against the scourge uh what do i need for the horror bow do i need chitin uh probably let's go kill this shell horror over here then <sighs> he won't be too hard he's in the open I, I think I have Chitin, yeah. but I I have a Colt Remains, too. What do I need? Probably an Iron... No, there's no Iron Bow. It's a War Lady Bow. Strap. The War Bow. I'm nearly certain on that. I'm coming very slowly, but I'm, I'm going to make it. I need to be making more mana potions. I haven't made a ton of those in this playthrough, and I actually need them. Horakitan. Yeah, it's Horakitan, but also a war bow, too, I think. I'm like, I'm pretty certain on that. Oh, uh, mana regen. We do have a fire particle now, thank goodness. Nothing for mana regen, it all rotted, so that sucks. Yeah, look at the damage to them. Very nice. Thank you for dying. Alright, now we got the Shell Horror. Warbo, uh, Kite, Nicole, and Palladium. Okay, thank you, Shoda. Oh, Elite Desert Tuna. Wow, that's a good find. Oh, hey, guess what I just found? What's that? Incinerate charge for push plates. Oh, nice. A little too late, though. Oh. Oh, I did knock him down. <laughs> Should have expected that. Easy. Easy peasy. Alright, I need the kite in from him. I'll take the ghost eyes. Yeah, you can take the rest of it. They always heal. Look at how annoying that is. Nice. I love bloodlust. Yes! Give me more! That's Actually, a whole map of Ara, yet we get... Got only Chesneys and Merkur Marsh, Abrasar, Harmat, and Caldera, which are only half the you world. You just passed a yeah. Palladium Scrap if you want it. Greetings, Yeah, friend. I do need to grab that. I don't really need it, but... Hey, this guy sell the frozen chocolate. Oh, nice. 
for me, 2,000 silver. I'm gonna buy all of his potions. Hmm. Let's see, water should fix... Yeah, it did. Rock Mantis. I'm trying to fight more stuff over here. Correction, it is trying to fight me. Oh, God, it ran away from me. Nice. I think, I uh, my original opinion of bows was that they were harder to use in co-op. I, I don't know. I'm not finding that. You got beetles on you. Yeah, I'm just going to burn them. They're dumb. Maybe we'll get the other half of the world in outward two. If they don't make an outward two, that's such a waste. There's so much left to interpretation. You need two chitin and one echo remains plus one more Hmm. Kind of makes sense. It's a unique. It's an interesting. It's more unique than a uh, regular horror weapons. So I guess that makes sense. I think I have chitin saved. If not, ooh, we just have to kill more stuff. I guess. Oh, ain't that a shame? Who is this? Darn. Just a fire. Uh... No, it's well, a corpse. Well, just a probably someone who got burnt up in the sun. Honestly. Probably me if we don't make it to town soon, because I'm very hot. Are you roasting over there? Oh, yeah. I'm unaffected. Yeah, I have no weather defense potions. Okay, let's think of this. So, I get... Let's see, can I activate a boon yet? My bow deals 16 damage. If I get lightning arrows, that is an additional... That's 10 damage, so it'd be 20 times 0.3 plus whatever my armor has. So that'd be a lot more, actually. Probably close to what the spear does, closer to 40. Probably 38-ish. Bows are the perfect co-op weapon. Yeah, I always thought they weren't. I always had a hard time using them when I first started, but it was because I sucked at bows. Now that I've gotten used to playing with it, they are actually very, very good in co-op. A, uh, a bow slash chakram build would be insane. You've done a chakram build. No, I mean, like, one person goes chakram, one person goes bow. Oh. Because chakram has infinite knockback, basically. That's what it's for, is knockback. And then the bow could just plink away, add all the hexes, and <laughs> detonate. I've been, I've been wanting to do a chakram build, I just haven't done it yet. You could actually do a chakram build with the armor you're wearing right now. Yeah, but that Max would cooldown. Require, require me to do a breakthrough point. On this character, anyone who's my last breakthrough point, I don't like Oh, that. no, I mean, like, just the armor itself, not uh. that build. I wouldn't do it with that build. Anytime you choose Rogue Engineer, you should never go Chakram. Yeah. I want to use a... I've done elemental Chakram builds, but I need to do a heavy physical Chakram build. That'd be kind of fun. So, so weapons. You got a house here? Yes. Can we please sleep? Yeah, let me talk to the queen first Can to I get rid you? of the... Then we have to sleep three days anyway. How are my tartines doing? Okay. Oh, wait, we'll I keep these. What did I need money for, guys? I said I needed money for... Oh, chitin. I need to see if I have another piece. Yeah, and a war bow. That's what I need money for. I think she sells one. Listen. Yeah. But it is uh, very expensive. It's a thousand. It ain't cheap. No, it is not. Let's go get the rest of my gold that I have. I think I have a bunch. Holy Rage Arrows are plus five damage and only blaze. Hmm. Dang, I really need to get those arrows then. Those are so good. What's so good about the in Entuma armor? Insane um, stamina reduction and hot weather defense with good lightning and uh, decay resistance. 
Is that a helmet for it? Yes, you can buy it from the tailor. Ooh, yeah! Uh, I don't like how the tailor, they, they, they don't have a... They don't have yeah. any the Helmet. They have the rest of the armor. Sword. <laughs> oh, this guy just talks to you. I've never done that before. You're a miracle. We have a... This is you. You deserve... Always... All right, happening? alchemical experiment. 15% more damage. Many thanks. And the ornate pistol. So, there's that. Love that blue mace. Oh, yeah, dude. This this right here is the weapon that got me into Outward. This is why I play Outward. I'm not even joking you. This weapon right here was the best thing in original Outward for me. I loved it. This and this together in a dagger build was so much fun. Oh, it's just awesome. It's not technically the best anymore. Based on, you know, minimizing and maxing your build out. What can I do for but, you? Uh, quit quit fangirling cool. over there, Sheen. <laughs> uh, so what's my damage now with the lightning boon on? Can't tell, but... 18 damage with no lightning... Oh, no, that is with the lightning boon. So that's 18 damage. Um, But also more physical damage from the bow. Okay. Need to make a bunch of these. I need to buy more mana potions. What? Uh, Chemist Broken Flask. Yeah, that's for a brand. Oh. Holy Arrows will still go with the Enkindled Astral as it'll burn. Okay. One. This guy says a lot of chocolates. He says the ornate chakram and the dawn chakram. Mm, I do have a piece of chitin, guys. Yeah, that guy. So uh, that used to be the person to go to in original outward for chakrams, because uh, that was the only place you could really get a bunch of them. Well, the one thing he, I wanted from him, he doesn't have so. But I just loaded down on potions. I pay 400. I need one more. Okay. That is for the war bow. Yes. Alright. War bow plus two chitin. And palladium? A coal remains. There you are. Yes, the horror bow. Which does 40 physical damage. Bow made from shell horror chitin, which inflicts poison on enemies. What chakram did Six look for? Uh he found the frozen one earlier. Yeah, I was just I was just looking at different chakrams. I'm not using them on this build. Alright, so that I need a decay particle for later. We'll go do uh some enchanting when we get to Harmat and when we can do the puzzle. We haven't been. We haven't had any good luck with getting the. You know, there's a chest like right forward. behind your house, right? Yes, I do. Okay, I need to make more predator food. Is there an alchemy station in here? There yes, is. to the right over there. Get rid of all of my thousands of potions that I have in my inventory for absolutely no reason. <laughs> There's a single bullet sitting there. Do I need old Levant's key? I don't think so. I'm going to be kicking myself if I need that later. Everything else is teas and blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, you want some... Uh, I got some elemental particles if you need them for anything. I don't need him right now. We'll wait till later. Just keep him in there. I don't want to do any enchanting yet. You look like some sort of combination between Michael, Sarah, and Adam Scott. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'm not really sure the boots go with this armor the best. Um, but the rest of it I really like. 
It's a pretty cool looking setup. All right, we need to sleep for three days. Three days. Which will probably make my food rot, which sucks, but oh well. Oh well. Frozen only at the traveling merchant, though. Yeah. We found it earlier. Does anyone else think it sucks that when you travel, you don't come out the other end of it with, like, no health or stamina regen? Yeah, like you're just sitting there dying the whole time. 99% burnt health, stamina, and mana walking out. <laughs> Alright. I feel really good about this build now that we have that 15%. What sword is your friend using? Uh, Six is using the marble sword because it's a very heavy hitting sword. Yep. And it's Heaviest fast if you out. enchant it with... Weightless. Weightless, yes. Thank you. I'm also using the Venelite's dagger right now, if anyone was curious. All right. Da, 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 da. Now that I have Hex, and now that... Once we're done with the faction quest, my mana will be better as well from the extra 20 mana we get. That'll fix that issue as well. I think I've thought of everything for this build. Traveling takes like three to four days, right? So you should get some regen. I, I would think so. You would think so. None of my food rotted. Okay, good. So that still works. I thought it did, but... Okay, I need to check the alchemist for mana potions first. So I don't forget. How can I help you? Alright, the alchemist has one mana potion. Oh my word, that's so amazing. Not... Also still ended up with a bunch of stuff in my inventory that I don't need. Horror Sword uh, hits even harder and does extreme poison. Horror Sword would be a good idea to grab, actually. Yeah, I don't like the look of it. No, you don't like the look of it? Fair enough. No. Fair enough. It, it does not go with the aesthetic of this build. That is a fair enough statement. <laughs> I mean, the marble weapon doesn't really go with the aesthetic of this build also, but... <laughs> kind of hard to find a good assassin-looking sword. Get the assassin sword, but it's kind of bright. Yeah, I have it. Do you? Well, yeah, we, I've used it with you before. I got you. That other live stream you... Oh, that fail of a live stream we did. Yeah, you know. Urgent news has arrived. Urgent news has arrived. Chambers armies have oh no. Too strong. This what is the best these hope we have of getting a fair deal. Trust me. Something has okay. me on edge, though. Here's where as we can do something Yuzan interesting. We can either get Yazan on our side, or we can fight him. And it's going to be whether or not I choose the correct dialogue. War. <sighs> you have given us every reason to. Excellent. All right. Meet me where the boats. Until the situation. I already know where they're at. So. We will have to shut down all access to the palace. Uh, this is where they shut down the palace, actually. She just said it, but in case you guys didn't hear. Um, there's no reason to ask around town, because I already know. But they actually shut down the whole town... ...due to... ...this revolt that happens. Damascene is an option. Oh, you could go with the Masterpiece Sword. You can't, because it didn't Legacy it, but... The Damascene Sword's really good. No, the what? Damascene, or da Damas... However you say it, I don't know. It's from Caldera. It increases your uh, skill damage. It's pretty useful. Huh. Shane, how's it going? What's up, Bayu? How's it going? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm having a blast. I'm lo I've this might be my favorite build I I played. The bow build has been amazing. I, I think you've had a lot of help from me though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I have had help from uh, from six. That's for sure. That's for sure. The build is just—it's really fun, though. I think you would have absolutely got stomped in the lightning spire. Oh, there I would have. I wouldn't have fought anything there if it wasn't if it was just me. I would have ran through. 
Um, we need to go right. We can hit the one H chest. For numerous reasons, I like this build, but one of the biggest ones is, dude, weather means nothing to me. And that's, that's important. Some of the builds that I've played, the, the Ghost of Enmerker build was amazing stamina-wise. It has infinite stamina, basically. But it doesn't have really any hot weather defense. It has cold, but not hot. That, that's the problem with this build, is it gets cold, but not hot. And Caldera roasts you, so. Also has Sirocco enchant for elemental vulnerability. Oh, does it really? Damascene weapons have that? I don't ever look into the Caldera enchantments. That's probably why I didn't notice. What weapon that do you have to learn the chest for that? The Damascene? Yeah. You don't need to, actually. The If you put a Damascene weapon into a Legacy Chest, you get the Masterpiece Sword, which increases the skill damage even more. But the Damascene is just over in Caldera. I'm probably saying that word wrong, and I'm saying it a lot, but... <laughs> well, probably, it's probably, um... Deme uh, how, what is it? Demes Wolf Des Plate Des Armor. That's a good find. If I didn't already have my build. Yeah. Okay. We can literally just go across this bridge and then go around the mountain and we're good. And we've got it. Finally got the Series X update and they fixed so much stuff. The game looks so much more amazing and in every way. Maxed out, lightning bugs fixed, etc. Loving every minute of it. Awesome. Awesome. They fixed it finally, huh? Yes, and I told everybody I'd make an announcement when they did. Unfortunately, there's nothing to make an announcement on because they haven't released any official statement, so. I have no idea what they fixed in console. I know that they tried to do everything they did with PC, but they were also working on other things. So I really have no clue what got fixed. Uh, it is quite the conundrum. People Would have been Google. nice to have been told by the company what was messed up, but hey. Hey, is, no worries. It is what it is, right? That's for sure. Ha! <laughs> Manticore is fighting those two bugs again. It's hilarious. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, uh, and Six, you probably don't know this either, there is a quest for this called the Treasure Hunt quest. You have to go to Captain Madbones and Cherisonese and fight him, and then you start the quest. The end of the quest leads you here for another Sarstone. Yeah, we've talked about this before. But we can't get the Sarstone. Because so. I didn't do it. I yeah, remember we talked about this on my Rune Mage. Oh, build. yeah, because we were in Levant, weren't we? Yep. We, I forget what we, what, we, I forget what we were talking about. We were doing something. Uh, we here. we actually did the Electric Lab, I'm pretty sure. Where they weren't That's in chests. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Master Greatsword is the longest in reach. That I did not know, Zap. That I did not know. I kind of want to do a, the uh, the Sanguine Halberd with the Crumbling Angular enchantment on it. The, I'm, that sounds cool, honestly. That I need to try cool. it, too. Yeah. I need to try that it, That or um, uh, the Sinner's Claymore with uh, with Redemption on it. Dude, that, w that weapon looks so mean. Oh, it does. Pair that with, like, Saw. All right. Let's see if I can do well, this. No. Why are you All right. hesitating? You think that people who founded the, the Heroic Kingdom have forgotten what it's what about? Stand for. Uh, maybe they're just they just aren't blinded by rage like you and Cyrene. You've both been in the front lines too much to see the bigger picture. They could have done more if they weren't forced to pour so many resources and people into losing this war. I think option three is correct, and I'm gonna go off a of memory. I I know that's right. Okay, that was correct. Why are you, arguing to you left Sierra because of how they forced Roland's problems on you. You're doing that same exact thing to Levant right now. Don't pretend to be so self-righteous. You just still hold a grudge against the Blue Chamber Collective for what happened with Roland. So regicide, betrayal, and brutal crackdowns on the poor citizens are the true ideals of Levant. I'm guessing option one. I that was correct as well. The Blue 
chamber is committed so you become as bad as Sagard in order to take revenge on him that's wrong I know that you want to keep throwing our people into a war we can't win until we have no one left Yazan Levant is barely barely surviving one more crisis will kill us all if this is this war more important than our survival and I'm pretty sure option three yes no but even if I did turn against this coup, okay Simeon and Calixa don't know you're a traitor. That's why we aren't fighting each other right now. I'm already a traitor. You could just play it like you were a double agent. You're good at that. That's a, that is not the option. That's a terrible option. Some things are worth are worth risking dying for. That's why you joined Levant, right? I feel like it's option one, but also not at the same time. We're gonna Hold go with options. one. You're asking me to put my life on the lat. And I got it right. You're right. We have to stop. How do I do it, guys? It's too late. Listen. So we don't. We have to fight these two. Oh my word! You instantly blew them up. Ah! <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh. Damn. What a mess. When you're talking, you I was time. busy. <laughs> Six is like, I'm ready. I'm ready. These guys are this going whole, down, bro. This whole place is a minefield. Did you loot the bodies? Oh, the bodies are gone. The bodies have dissipated. All right, I am going to pause, and I have to use the restroom. I'll be right back, guys. Six, I will be back here just a second. Okay, I'll be right back, also. All right, give me one second to go to the back restroom, everyone, and I will be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. Had to use the restroom real quick. All right, we're going to go ahead and kick him out so we can just walk back um, whenever he gets back. Ah. All righty, almost done with the faction quest. Pretty excited, pretty excited. Okay, what is the next step, though? Go to Levant Palace. Okay, this should take us to Levant, fight 
Cyrene, and then we just go back to Hall of Marsh, I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure. Now, uh, I could technically hit all the ornate chests. I don't know if I need to, though. Did this really have the Pyrite Greyhammer? <laughs> That's kind of funny. How much room do I have? I don't really have a ton of room to be grabbing loot. But... I also don't think I can sell for a while. Yeah, let's just head back to town. There's no reason to get the ornate chest. Even though... A Pyrite's gonna sell okay, though. I don't have a problem getting a Pyrite. Alrighty. Yeah, this hot barring arrows is really weird. I know I've said it's really helpful, but also it gives you, like, the lowest amount of arrows possible sometimes. Which can be frustrating. Now, I don't know if anyone in chat knows for sure, but do you guys recommend I take... I was gonna build the arena once I get to Caldera, for sure. But should I get the Weapon Master or the Specialist? I mean, the Specialist has decent skills, like the dodging one. But the Weapon Master would have the bow skill that has very, very strong. Hey, Sheen, if you played Elden Ring, I would recommend you play Bloodborne. You know, I ha I have played Elden Ring. Uh, I beat Elden Ring several times. I know there's stuff I missed in the game. <laughs> I, I know there is. There's no way I did everything. Um, I have not played Blood Bloodborne, though. I played almost all of Dark Souls 3. I got past Abyss Watchers, and I beat the next area after that. I can't remember where I actually ended. I almost beat Dark Souls 3. Still haven't quite beaten it yet, though. Um, I want to go back and play Dark Souls 1 for sure. That game looks amazing. As well as... Uh, Demon Souls. But... Isn't it only on, like, PS5? I have a PS4, but I don't have a PS5. Because Demon Souls looked really fun. Dark Souls 2, I don't really have, like, any desire to play. But, I mean, I might as well play it eventually anyway. I don't know. I definitely want to play Bloodborne, though. That looked really cool. I watched somebody play it the other day. For a little while. But yeah. About to do the final quest in Blue Chamber Collective. I was reading the walkthrough and it says it's a good idea to put traps out since there are a ton of enemies. In the Blue Chamber Collective? You're talking about in Monsoon? There are a ton of enemies, but you don't have to fight them all at once. You know? Uh, so it's not a bad idea. You don't have to, though. Both skill from the arena is pretty good, but it does use up five shots each time. Yeah, I know. It'd be really good, though. I might do that instead of specialist. Specialist would also hurt my stamina a bit, too. For being Sonic, go passives, DPS skills. Mm, I don't know. That's such a hard choice. We have a long time before I have to decide, too, though. Any tips on the parts of the town where I should put all the traps? Oh, you want to know where you should put the traps? Um, at the bottom of the stairs of the hollow, the giant lotus flower, the big area, the main capital E building. At the very bottom of that, they have some enemies there. Put some traps over by where the Soroborian merchant spawns, like right in front of there. Yeah, they won't actually let me in. I have to go around. And put some traps near where uh, the lightning Mofat guy is. Those are the only three locations enemies spawn. So. Yeah. If I can recommend a hard, artistic, loreful game, Hollow Knight. Uh, best, fantastic game, quite unreal. It even exists. You know, I've heard a lot about Hollow Knight, actually. My brother played Hollow Knight. Or Hollow Knight, it's not hollowed. He enjoyed it. Um, it looks fun. It does look entertaining, and I like the gameplay. I just haven't hopped into it yet. 
I know it is challenging, that's for sure. No, for sure it's challenging. There's a lot of Dark Soul isk, uh, RPG isk games like that that I want to play. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do as a, because like it's hard to play games and stream at the same time and make videos. So someone mentioned earlier today, like they were asking me in the comments, "Do you stream on Twitch?" And I was like, "No, I don't." I was wondering if maybe I should start streaming on Twitch for like weekends and just stream like uh, a random game. Just the game that I'm trying to play through. Not, like, related to Outward or the channel or anything. But I could technically do that on the channel as well. I don't know. It'd be fun to check out some other games. That I've been on my wish list and stuff. That I need to get to. Is this boarded up? No way, it's boarded up? That's cool. I have never seen that boarded up. Huh. Do I have to go through the slums? I bet I do. Thanks, Sheen. Yeah, no problem. Not a fan of Dark Souls 3? I, I like Dark Souls 3. It just... I don't know. I didn't have any desire to finish it after I got to... Pass the Abyss Watchers. The Abyss Watchers felt so satisfying to finally beat. I whooped this guy's butt earlier, so he lets me in. It's kind of funny. I'll eventually finish it. I just... It wasn't particularly... Uh, appealing to me. It's so dark. Again, those games are like that, but it... They, it was the area I was in. The area I was in was so dark, it just kind of... Put me off. The beginning of Dark Souls 3 was absolutely amazing, though. I loved it. Really need to finish it. Okay, I think I can get out through the... Yeah, they just kind of let me in. It's weird. <laughs> like, why? Yeah. I get it. Souls are like fantasy. They're always one of your more in love with. Yeah, no, I, I love the games. I just haven't had a chance to do it. You know? Love all the games in the Dark Souls series, but I just love the lore and atmosphere of Bloodborne. I've heard that a lot, actually. Bloodborne has a good story. Did they change this? Because this used to be a lady. Sheen, are you there? Yes, I'm there. I kicked you so I could walk back to town. <laughs> uh, dude, I've been here. <laughs> My mic's been muted. Oh, have you? Yeah. I thought I went to the slum. Oh, no, I need to talk to Pigeon Eye. Gosh darn it. Dark Souls world and narration is so special that if you're not getting into it, you can't force it. Yeah, no, I got into it. It was just... It was... Wherever I quit, it was just hard to go back. You know what I mean? Uh, same password? Yeah, I'm opening it up right now. Yeah. What, what's going on? What about Dark Souls? Oh, we're just talking about... I am uh, a Dark Soul connoisseur, so... What faction quests are you doing this run? Uh, this is the Heroic Kingdom. Which, if anyone's curious, if me and Shin do you should, I think it get you into the to live stream right? together, that's the reputation. faction I'll be doing no also. Bill. I need tripwire and traps to give to him. Why? Why? Why is it battle music? I don't like this. It's the the slums thing they do. How do I make trap or tripwire? Tripwire. Uh, do I have that recipe? It's wood and linen. Two iron and wood. No, I gotta need. I need like linen cloth, don't I? I should have all the materials, right? Um, I don't actually have that recipe. Gosh darn it, dude. How many do you need? Wood and cloth. Yeah, I need cloth. I think oh, I just cloth. need a little bit. There's a tighter hood over here that I got in my inventory. And I got two linen cloth. Not one piece of cloth in this stupid chest. Are you kidding me? Dude, I have, I have three pieces of cloth. Alrighty. What else did you need? I think I need to make iron spikes, but I have that. I got an A iron spike. Ooh, arrows. Two yeah. scrap wood cloth. Thank you. Hey, Sheen, if you like to try a second Souls-like game, I would recommend Salt and Sanctuary and also Salt and Sacrifice. What are those? I never heard of those. I heard they're pretty good. I have never heard of those. That sounds interesting. 
All right, iron, linen, and wood. Yes. Two trip wires and a spike. Where the heck are we? I need to go back here. Hollow Knight is also a second Souls game. It's really hard. I know Hollow Knight can be really hard. It can also be really easy if exploited properly, though. Cuphead. Where's this stupid guy at? He's over here. Cuphead does not appeal to me in any way. No, it does not. I, I absolutely I hate the remember. look of Cuphead. You're no villain. I'm great. Okay. Um. Now what? Should be able to go through the Undercity. Yes, which is over here. Why? Why are we going to the Undercity? Uh, we have to sneak back into the castle. Witcher 3 has best quest DLC storyline I have ever played. Heart of Stone Witcher is amazing. Witcher 3 is fantastic. If you have not played it, you should. I still have not beat it, but it's great. I love it. Yeah, I, I haven't actually played that one yet. I need to. I don't know who said it in your chat, but I vibe with that person. Twitch eats my phone battery so bad. Does it, Heffron? Kind of makes sense. Yeah, it's pretty intensive. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I, th I thought about maybe doing like a once a week stream on Twitch uh, just for a fun game or something. I don't know yet. Do we have to kill people down here? Where is everyone? Mm, I think we have to go over here. Yeah, over here. It'd be uh, fun, I but I also don't know if I have the time. So. Salt Sanctuary is a really good game. Good recommendation. Hmm. My mining pick broken? It is. Mine's Intriguing. Not. Okay. So oh, why, this lady. Why, so why are we sneaking back in? Uh, it's on martial lockdown because Cyrene took over the town. Let me let me show you how a real real weapon does it. Do I, uh, and this lady can be... actually be pacified. Um, you don't have to kill her if you do something in particular. I can't remember what you have to do though. Have to talk to her beforehand. I've not finished Witcher 3, but every time I play it, I get lost in their narration, the OST, the ambiance, the world. What a game. It, it, it is really good. I would hype. What was this attack speed? Books are awesome, too. Yeah. Movie's pretty good. I have heard what very, very high things about Witcher 3, so. Yes, I would. Okay, I would this is, that. I think, nothing, because that's part of the. No, you can do something over here. I question everything. So, who took over? Cyrene. Who's Cyrene? She is the... lady in charge of the war efforts in the uh, this area. I, I thought we killed Cyrene. I thought she was with, uh, what, who you call it? Yazan? Yeah. No, we got Yazan to turn to our side, and we killed the bandits that were over there. Oh. Um, we did not kill Cyrene, though, because Cyrene... Is was here, so we couldn't kill her. Uh, I think what you mean to say is, yeah, pigeon I eye the trap. The yes, I did, Caustic. I did. <laughs> I killed the bandits. For a long time, I was this guy thinking it's too hyped to be that good, but it is. Huh? Yeah, some games are like that. They're too hyped, and then they turn out meh. But other games, I mean, Elden Ring was hyped, and it was good too. So you can't really say not all of so, them are hyped like that. Do, do you get to talk to her first before we fight her? Yes. Oh, hey, this is you, Zan. All right, well, don't do anything. Don't talk. Don't don't stop conversation. We are going to use ah uh, a mana potion. All right, I think I have to talk to you, Zan, first. Zan, how could you turn on us? I thought you understood. All right. Sorry. Stop this now. Never. As the new. This will not stand. And she makes herself queen, basically. Oh. It should be enough. Now I wanted a buff. Come on, Yazan, lead him. Now she did. All right, grab your traps, because we can't, uh, we're going to leave this town immediately. It's going to teleport us. 
So overhyped. No, Elden Ring was was hyped. Uh, I don't know if it was overhyped. I want to say it's underhyped. It was fun. It was a fun game. They're pretty good. Yeah, I, I enjoy them. Gah! Oh, push a uh, push escape. Am I really so vulnerable? There you go. Gah! That voice in my. I'll organize a convoy. Okay, I will come with you on the come convoy. Come as swiftly as possible. There we go. That'd be funny if you just. People do not realize it. how many very bad games are released every day. Well, especially with a lot of indie games. Like a lot of indie games are excellent, top notch. But occasionally you get some that are just blech. Try X spot. Yeah, Hellpoint's really good. Hellpoint is uh. It definitely has its downsides. Like the combat's not perfect, but it's it has a special touch to it. It's a lot of fun. Best game, Geometry Dash. <laughs> the replay value is unparalleled. Oh man. How many arrows can I make? I should have stacked more of those explosives right up on top of before Simi was standing. Yeah. Just kaboom. Yeah, No Man's it's Sky is pretty fun now. I play that so. See, I never got into No Man's Sky because the original you release was a arrows. mess. A mess. But. You need arrows? No, I'm good. You sure? You Happy. can drop me what you have. But... And I got a one piece of iron. The, the war. What about we record? And we skip this because mm. it is no boring. This After you've is... already heard it. I know my. Who? <sighs> Very well. Then. I. And I. I don't. Then. Oh, this dude has what? dual And we did it correctly, so I get the SAR stone. Good luck. That's so like cool. Alright, let me take my elixir here. Well, what are we doing? What's going on? Yes! I feel... Look at this bow build. I have 175 health. Wow. Oh, I get extra on? stamina, too. Alright, now we go fight stuff. You ready? No, hold up. Let me, let me Lots get... of stuff. I get beefy. What is it? Scourge? Oh, uh, Scourge. Scourge. Yeah. Lightning you ever played Divinity Original Sin? I haven't played that either. Well, that missed. Oh, I thought you were fighting. Uh, I got, I got hit. I'm, good, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, we have a lot of help too. All right, I'm gonna take this guy down. He just destroyed our buddies over here. Okay, now leave everything. We'll come back and loot later. But potions, because I actually need to drink one of these potions. Okay, I think I should drop. Yes, I need to. Coming. All right, destabilized him. He should be able to take care of him now. Oh my word! A lot of my arrows seem to be in my backpack right now. Look at this. The ultimate battle against one immaculate. Yeah, he's gonna die. I'm gonna say, do I need to help finish him off? No, he was just blocking all the physical attacks. Alright, now we attack the last crit. Oh my word, they killed Sagard again. What Who? the heck? Who's, oh, they killed God. Battleborn. They killed everybody. Hang it. I know I couldn't dodge that. Oh, there's three things to fight? What the heck? Okay, we need to back up here a little bit. Uh, we, need, yeah, we need to get our buddies to help us here. All right, bring it over to me. Okay, we need to kill the butcher 
Definitely. You want to kill the butcher first or the other guy first? Probably the butcher. All right, butcher's dead. Bring it back to me. I can use lightning sigil again. Very nice damage we're getting here. Run him over to me. I got him. I okay, remember now he does hit for a lot. There we go. We have a shell horror to deal with. Oh, let me let me heal, please. That's freaking stupid. He did not even show any sign of doing that attack, and all of a sudden he did it. Nice. Alright, don't talk to them, and we can go loot. I actually took significant damage in that fight. Those immaculates are fast. Fast. You fail purifier, there's more enemies and less guards. Uh, there's not more enemies, but there are less guards. Oh, wait, no, there are more enemies. The, uh, the... The Illuminator Horrors are actually not here if you... There aren't as many of them. Yes, that is true. Also, I think they add Immaculates, too. Oh, what's, what's this Butcher Amethyst? What does that do? Yeah, there's an extra Immaculate because he comes from the, uh... There's two Immaculates, I think. The Butcher amethyst, amethyst can be legacy chested for the Butcher's Cleaver. What's that? Is it any good? The one-handed axe. It's pretty pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so there's two Immaculates in the Dead Roots Cave. So if you don't complete Purifier, there are two extra Immaculates in the... Right here, Kafaiji, which is actually really neat, I think. Because um, if you do Purifier, there's two less Immaculates. I'm like 90% on that. Look, they're still alive. Who do I talk to? I need to talk to this guy here. <laughs> it's strange to have. I, you just. I name you. We got the Zagus helmet, Zagus armor. The world is yours. I cannot move. So this is 10% extra damage, um, decent protection, and resistance. Or uh, damage. 15% damage bonus. Hot weather defense 20. The Zagus chestplate actually coming in with a decent amount of stats here. And it looks sick. I mean, you can't get much better than the Zagus set. Let me see. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool looking. I have to admit. What's the debuffs on it? Uh, you extra 10 stamina cost and negative 10 movement speed. Yeah, that's what it's I think. pretty severe, but you're pretty strong. I think it'd be cool if you rolled into people. Order the wiki it says failing the quest increases enemies. Yeah, again, it's the all of the enemies that are in the Dead Roots Cave that are the scourge this actually get added into beauty. the town near the end. Um, from playing it enough times, I've noticed that whenever I fail it or pass it, there's the enemy balances. What could I do for you? Hopefully that makes sense. Sometimes words, you know. Uh, da, 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 da. We need money. Yeah. So, so is that it? Are we are we done? We're done with the faction quest. Yes. Oh, and the pyrite too. I need to sell the pyrite. Okay. A fun fight. That was actually harder than I thought for the bow build, considering I'm a lightning build, but... Oh, well. That was actually Probably not noticeable because it's like two or three of them. Yeah, it's only two. It's the Immaculate. So if you notice when we came up here, the reason Sager died, actually, and all these guys died, is because there was one extra Immaculate. Um, usually there's only... I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And there's only one Immaculate over there if you do it right. Something on how can I help? Alright, All right, nice. we have the house here now. Cool. Just bought that. Yeah, the Zagus armor is pretty awesome. It's too bad that he's like the villain of the game. 
and they make you kill them all. Well, actually, you don't have to kill them. I take that back. But... Then you don't get his cool armor. So it's like... I don't know. Alright, we have a total of three Sar Stones. Very cool, very cool. Um, we need to go to Caldera. We do. For some fun stuff. Uh, we need to go to Caldera to get some of the samples. Honestly. Beforehand. Otherwise, when we go over after, we're not gonna have enough time. What's the house up? Um, it's in the... over by Mofat. Mm. You know who that is? Yeah. Okay. We need to make sure... Do you have a fishing pole on you? Or a fishing harpoon, sorry. Yes. Okay, yes, keep that on you. I'm going to keep a mining pick. We have to have that for the samples. I just hate that there's no uh, boots for Zagus. I know, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't really use them anyway. Because it's so heavy. But the fact that you can't get that fashion is pretty sad, honestly. It feels like I got shortchanged... But the plate boots are what he uses, I think. What type of, uh, what type of incense do you get? I have none. None? Okay. Yeah, I've been very bare bones in the enchantments. I'll throw we can actually go grab purifying quartz while we're over there, though, if we want. What do I need for the astral bow? Isn't it like waning tentacle, uh, astral handle? I think I... We could technically get those. I don't know if we'll be able to see, though. You're supposed to get his come. sword, too, if you do the quest a certain way. Zagas sword? Yeah, I have it. Uh, da, 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 da. Right here. Zagas sword. You have to kill him. To get it. Looks poison on enemies. What if we do the bow swap? What's the buildup on that? I don't know. Um, let's see. We have greasy ferns. We're gonna need a lot of health potions. That is my assumption. <laughs> with the Tenebrous boots, with speed and efficiency work well with Zagus armor set? Kind of, yeah. Uh, those boots are always good. They're very strong. You're gonna... It really, anything goes with the Zagus set because it doesn't have anything. Uh, but... That would work, yeah. Noble boots aren't bad either. I wear I wore those for something else. It's pretty good. Is it is it water blood mushroom beetle for health potions? Uh yes. Gravel beetle, yeah. I've had these Gabri Tartines for like so long. Okay, we don't need that many much oil. We don't need any gold. Alright. I will make more teas, though, if I can. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. I need to... Oh, I'm tainted. That's not good. I need to buy rations. We need a total of four, five, six, seven... Probably, like, 12 rations is a good one to go with. There is Zagat's boost, rations. but only through debug. Oh, that's sad. Why did they not add that? That's stupid. Greetings, friend. What? What's the matter? The Sorborn Caravaner is selling four adventurer armors. Hmm. Does anyone want adventurer armor? He's handing them out for free. Well, they're not free, but he's handing them out. Wow. I need fire. I don't need that. Wow. Unfinished piece? Probably. Still sad, though. Is there something you need? Mana potions? And I somehow became corrupted. Oh no, it's fighting the Scourge. Duh. Alright, let's sleep for... Probably an hour, I think. Why do, why do you want to sleep for an hour? For the stamina buff. Also, my health is half. Ah. Uh. And then we'll just leave and go to Caldera. Which we gotta I'm go to shocked. Berg. 
I'm just trying to get my inventory cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, I get you. Has stats and all. Really? I wonder if they did that for balancing. Helmet and chest are great already. Yeah, no, the chest plate uh, is definitely top notch for heavy, a heavy physical build. I mean, you can go light rogue, but you can go heavy rogue too. That's kind of what uh, Pentagram did in his last build video. Okay, I think I'm set. I got we my bag have... down below 50. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll sleep through nighttime. Oh, wait, I need to repair my pickaxe. Can't have that breaking on me over there. Alright. Yeah. We're good now. Actually. Usually buy all the marshmallow jelly and bread from Shopkeeper. I should do that too. I was going to do that actually. That's why I was over there. Six and six. Sounds good to me. I was going to do that. I don't know why I didn't. I got a bit distracted. All right. Caldera. Man. Should I grab Brigands? I shouldn't grab Brigands because the way I'm playing right now. Should grab the Cali Gray tent. Although I can't use the tent because I need the stamina. It's a conundrum. Alright, have... now I put this. Put the bag. Now we'll go buy those sartines and then we'll leave. I forgot to buy them. Forgot to buy them. Um, no Pearl Bird mask yet, unfortunately. I haven't been back to Cherry's Can I help though. you? What are you doing? I'm buying travel rations. Ah, good idea. I need to do that too. I have exactly 12 now. Can I help you? Okay. Now, did my cooking pot stay, or has it been seven days? Yeah, it's been seven days. Okay. Alright, I'll meet you by the door. I gotta go cook these real quick, and then I'll be back. Oh, go ahead. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. In here. Now I have a butt-ton of those. I think the Light Mender's backpack has a small lightning damage buff. Yeah, 10%. Would be good to have. But, unfortunately, since we're going to get samples, it's useless because Mafino's has just too much. Uh, we will grab that later, though. So thank you for reminding me. Alright, here, take these. For stamina. That's only a little less than half of what I have, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I should have plenty of water, plenty of that. So. Did this water stack with this? Yes. Ooh, that's nice. That will make you basically infinite running. Enchant a lamp so you won't bother with it. Ah, true. I could get a the lightning lamp. I need a elemental white particle. I think I have one. Oh, do you really? Mm-hmm. I think that's what it needs. Back in my chest. All right. So, what is my total damage with the bow with my buff on? That is 18 damage. Okay, we, we knew that. Negative 23 stamina cost with the bed. Negative 15 mana cost. 40 heat. 25 full. Yeah. Alright, we just wanted to make a massive left. North close, east close. Hail, beauty instance. Okay, thank you. 
The coil lamp lasts for a very long time, too. No, the coil lamp lasts for, like, ever, basically. <laughs> It has 500 durability. It doesn't last forever, but it might as well. Oh, you're fighting stuff. Need you to calm down, Sonny. You know what would be cool, too? Is if you could find... Instead of there being no bandits in Caldera... There was nobles that were the bandits. Be neat. That would be interesting. Coil lamp lasts so long. Yeah, no, coil lantern just lasts an insane amount of time. Look at that stamina. This is a beauty. I love it. I love it a lot. It's very nice. Alright, samples weigh six pounds. Um Enchanted ones do recharge by self. Soul lamp is infinite. Yeah. Greetings, friend. Hey, Master Trader Boots. Hey, I'm gonna jump for me, but I'll be back here in a bit. Okay. I wonder what these... I could probably buy that. Nah, I'm not going to. I don't really have the money for that. It would be beneficial to get, though. Especially with an abundance of power coils, too, from the supply chest. Yeah, I mean, I have a ton of those, so... Never turned mine off. Swapped battery once so far? Really? Oh, that's... You know... Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, I have no arrows. Nyom. Really? Are you kidding me? That didn't kill him. I literally hate ice witches so much. Don't pay attention for th four seconds and you get ice blasted in the face. And slow down for how long? 60 seconds. Just earned the soul lamp from the faction quest. Officially retired by Coil Lantern. Nice. Very nice. Let's take some food for uh, a little bit of health regen. I also would like to swap the... Probably this bow with the obsidian, so I can switch when I need to. Yeah, that's a good idea. There's guaranteed boots in the trunk in the Tonosaurus cave. Oh, I didn't know they were guaranteed. I thought they were a chance. Cool. Okay, that did not apply the hex. Why did that not apply the hex? Oh, it's four shots? Okay, I apparently have to switch bows. Calm down, guys, okay? Calm down. I will deal with you momentarily. I gotta stop using sniper shot, like, directly next to the enemy. It is not a good idea. It is definitely not a good idea. Arrows. Jeez. Nice. Okay, let's drop that stupid bow we just picked up. Um, We need to start using bandages more often, because they will heal us, and I keep forgetting to do that. Okay. One arrow. I'm freaking shooting this arrow. Look at this. So sick of that. Have you thought about doing a code Sonic speedrun of a faction of your choice just to see how fast you can do it? 
<laughs> I mean, like, w how would you do that, though? Would you get guarantee... Would you want to get all the rewards, or just do it as fast as you could? Because you could rush through it and make a ton of bad options. And, uh, just kind of be done. That'd be interesting. I wonder how fast I could do it. Which one's faster? I think the blue chamber is the fastest. No. Honestly, Levant's might be the fastest. Just because you can get the tablet as soon as you enter uh, Hall of Marsh. Maybe. That'd be interesting, Grilled Ribeye. It'd be... I'd never thought of doing it, but it's like... It would be interesting. I do wonder how fast you could do it. Indeed. Um, I'll grab the Ghost of Apparitions over here, because I know he's here. Would have been amazing if they just let Fire Breathing Spell with the Soul Lamp have all the attributes of Elemental Resistance. Yeah, yeah it applying the Hex, the Ethereal Hex is kind of... Blech. It's not that good. Also doesn't do a lot of fire. Next is that Primal Hex Rune Sage. Yeah. The thing is, Father Otaku, I put together a build like that, and it was so basic. I It didn't feel good to me at all, so I didn't release it. Uh, I had one put together when I told you I was going to put it together, but it just didn't feel right. Oh, shoot. Ooh, that was cool that I actually avoided that attack. But yeah, I did put one together. It was just so blech. Felt very mediocre. I mean, it had high damage resistance, but... Thank you, Blade Dancer. <laughs> Excuse me. Ethereal Hex with Torment is amazing. Yeah, no, it is. It is. Any of the hexes with torment, though, is pretty good. Once I get that astro bow, I'm telling you. What is the recipe for the astro bow? Does anyone know? Know what I need to kill to get it? Because that's going to be the big thing. Go acrobatics, and you become legit uh, Sonic in the game. Yeah, isn't acrobatics. I don't remember what that is. I haven't actually checked that skill tree out much. Yeah, the problem with Primal, Rune, Sage, and Hex is like... Runes really doesn't fit. You know? Weapon we're using? I was using a Virgin Sword Enchanted to do Ethereal damage. I didn't choose Geps because it makes you so weak. Um, and it was good, again. But. Did not stand out to me, in any way. Two short handles and winning tentacle. Yeah. Notice my disdain for these bandits as I run past them. Don't care about you guys, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Like, Rune... I don't think Rune fits with Primal very well. Like, in theory, it can, but when I played with it, it didn't... It just felt so... off. It just felt like something was just not clicking right. Gotta put the other runes away. You only need Trap and Lightning. Precast the rest from Menu. Well, I get that. It's just... Like, trap... A trap is good. And with it. Of course. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I need to... I need to honestly try it. Some more. I have the build still. I haven't deleted it. Or gotten rid of it or anything. So yeah, I still have it built. I just need to mess around with it. 
clean evasion shot. I love evasion shot when you actually get it right. It's perfect. Now, occasionally you'll evasion shot and then the enemy will attack you. That makes you feel quite defeated. It does not feel good to do that. All right, what is my stamina buff I'm getting currently from this? Stamina recovery four. Jeez. What is with the bandits, guys? Should I torture this guy? Watch this. I'm just going to torture him. I'm not going to kill him. I set him and his buddy on bleeding, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to run away. Gonna run away. You're not worth my time. I want you to die by yourselves. No regrets. <laughs> the free divine light on runic blade and finding a way to add fire on it. On an enemy from holy blaze with the chimes. Yeah, that's cool. They do pair well with each other. I really, I'm telling you, I really just need to play well, uh, play around with it more, because it was so... The way I set it up wasn't great. I am back. Oh, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Sheen Wait, called to the next stream so I can show off my abominous primal hex cabal with grind. Oh, yeah, yeah! Zap sent me a, uh, a screenshot of a build using grind that is basically... It's basically bard build. It's basically bard build. Um, that's kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> it looks so funny. I'm in Enmerker Forest. It's still open for whenever you want to happen. Actually, you know what I need to do? Is I need to... I need to hotbar the other bow. And use this bow first. That way, inflict the the fire. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to inflict the fire, and then I want to switch to the lightning bow. Yeah, that build looked really, really funny. Zap you. Funny, but also good. You know, it didn't look bad either. Be interesting to try a single breakthrough point run. I mean, the best way to do that would be take a uh, rogue engineer and just trash everything. Rogue engineer is the strongest. You, you, my build, my pirate build, you could take that build and only take rogue engineer and you could beat the game with it. Rogue engineer is so stupid. It's just, it's just broken. It's nuts. But uh, rune sage would also be a decent one to have. Did anyone know if the oh. recent update for consoles fixed the new Sirocco bug? Just so reluctant to start the quest if it's still... I think it did. Uh, if I remember correctly, because that was one of the biggest problems was zoning in and out of places. But again, they haven't released anything saying what they fixed, so I don't know for sure. Oh, God, Shane. What's up? I don't know what your mic just did, but you just destroyed my eardrums. I don't know, because I didn't change anything. It, it went, um, like you, you were talking normally, and then it just suddenly spiked, echoed, and then spiked again, and echoed, and then went back to normal. That's weird. Just, I mean, you completely shredded my eardrums. <laughs> they are, I mean, it was so loud, my ears are ringing. Dang. I don't know why I did that. I don't know either. Now, but do you either. actually want to get Primal Rituals while we're here? Ah, uh, I can get some of the perks. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, though. We can get you money. Change. Change. We can get you money. I think I have, like, 400 silver. We can go get... We basically just have to clear out caves. And walk around. Because we have... Oh, my word. What? I am not hot. I am hot. Ha! <laughs> I have broken Caldera. <laughs> Wait, this is awesome. Th does anyone know? Is isn't there a recipe you can use to change your, this armor to make it what's hot weather defense instead of cold weather defense? If someone in chat can help, I me out with that. don't think that is a thing. I 
if anyone chat knows, but I'm pretty sure that that's not that set of armor, I don't think. Caldera music is always bumping, dude. You know what it reminds me of? You, you know what it reminds me of, Shane? What's that? Oh, Pirates, oh. Pirates of the Wait, Caribbean. Uh, I thought the ship was in the right place. It's not. Oh, yeah, it kind of does sound like Pirates of the Caribbean. The ship needs to move one more time, and it's in the correct spot. Oh, there was an enemy behind us, by the way. I think. Yeah, those are the stupid Medis. I'm not fighting. Are not yet. Medis, the, the one that were, that were locked up. The Medis? No, those are the ancient dwellers. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, where do we want to head next? Uh, I don't know. I've, I've literally only been here once, and that was to pick up Mama on my bow build. Let's go kill this Mimator. And we'll start there. Are you sure we you... got the damage output oh, for we this? Got, we got the damage output for this. Don't I mean, worry, I, you, bro. You may have the damage output for this. I have not done my, uh, my faction quest. We'll be all right. Don't you worry, buddy. All right, let me snipe him real quick. We need some distance. Uh, do you want me to put down some chaps before you do anything? You can if you want to. Uh, I think it's too late for that. I'll walk behind him, just casually. Just casually. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, no, that's not the button. I wanted the... Ooh, I almost got hit there. I did get hit there, because uh, I really hate well. sniper shot. Yeah, you gotta be Ow. careful with that one. I didn't know that was an AoE. He this was lightning does a lot of damage to a Mimer Tour. God, he is extremely tanky. Nice. I kicked him. Stamina is still an issue. Do you want, Still do you want an his issue. Loot? Um, no. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Hey man, I thought I should just offer. That's terrible. How do you rank the bow build on a tier with your builds in past? Uh, a tier, well, one hundred percent. It's hard to rank it for sure because it's gonna be better. I, the lightning really isn't as good as I was hoping. Um, it's still good, though. This would be a B-tier damage build. Um, an A-tier survivability build. Like, the survivability is insane. Uh, as far as damage goes, I would say B. Just because the lightning really doesn't stack as much as you want it to. Now, will it be better when I get the Astral Bow? Yes. Okay, I know. Are these alive? No, wait, don't shoot, don't shoot. Don't do it, don't do it, shoot. That one is. I was just checking. I can get the X on him still. He's not moving. No, I wanted to put down a trap. I don't know if I have time. Can he not be flamed? What do you think? Nope. Ethereal yeah. or fire? Ethereal. He's very weak to ethereal. Oh, well, behind... Well, don't walk towards him, man. See, this is doing no damage at all. And for some reason, it untargets. I don't understand this. Whenever I'm fighting a gargoyle, it just untargets. Like, that's very weak for a bow. Like, that, it destroys the whole point of a bow build. He should have had fire on him early. He keeps getting rid of the fire. Ah, was it just that? Look, he did it again. It just keeps taking the target lock off of. Every time. Yeah, that one is I hard to dodge. No, it's just when I get near him. 
Hey, look, no damage at all. And he keeps taking the fire hex off of him every time I do that. Look, he did it again. He took the freaking hex off. This guy's annoying. Oh, he's on you? He's on, he's on you? Yeah. Shoot. Get out of range there. On you? Yep, I see it. Okay, he's uh, getting rid of... Nope, okay. Uh, I think you need the Gargoyle Urn Shard, maybe. No, I don't think you do. I took it anyway. Jeez, I don't know. Gargoyles are so tanky for the bow. What debuff did he put on me, I wonder? I don't know why he... Does that heal thing get rid of it? I didn't think it got rid of the, the buffs and stuff. I got minor petrification. How do I get rid of that? Uh, you need a panacea, I think. Which no, we can hex. buy from the Primal Ritualist, I think. Okay. I was saying if the Hex Conner would do it, it does not... What is this? So you? gargoyles are going to be a pain. Oh, yes. Mm. The sleep, he becomes... Uh, regen's health. Oh, crap. Mm. I almost forgot. His heal spell may be cleansing the hexes. That's what I'm thinking it's doing, Caustic. We need to test this on a snail. There we go. Oh, uh, do I have mana regen? Okay. Who are you fighting now? Uh, snail. A grotesque. I, I don't have anything to hit him with. Alright, didn't activate. That's beautiful. That's clearly in range. There we go. Get over there? Yeah, I'm good. Is he weak? He's not... He's like immune to lightning. Taking no damage. I'm burning. I don't know. This immediately fell off as soon as we got to Caldera. None of these enemies are taking damage. This is what I was worried about. I mean, they take damage. That's not true. But it's just... No, I think I think what it is, is I need to get used to the fact they're going to take more arrows. Sniper shot might be bugged on Gargoyle. Well, I think it's just because he backs up. I can't... I don't think it's usable on a Gargoyle. You know what's going to be really good is for the Medes, because their uh, weakness is lightning. Oh... We really need more mana regen foods. I don't have any. Okay. Hey, Sheen, moving right along, I see. Caldera already? Yeah, we beat the faction quest. We're not doing Caldera. We're just going to get some samples and then head over to the Antique Plateau. Um, but we are also testing the build. And maybe getting an Astral Bow if I can. Is that element their weakness? Uh, No, they're actually strong to that. The Lightning is the Medi's weakness. Which I might be able to aggro MEDs properly. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Look at that. Alright, we found the strength of this bow bill. It is MEDs. <laughs> oh, turn around. Big time. Look at that. Okay, finally I feel good about this build over here. <laughs> Watch out. Okay. He's gonna do a... Wow. This is great for Medes. Whining tentacle crystal powder. Wow. I like that. Oh, they had a waning tentacle? Yeah. Do you hit, need me, it? hit me up. I need that. Why do you need it? What that kind of is for my astral bow. There you go. Sweet. 
All right, now we stab this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot! Almost got nailed. These guys suck. I don't know. I just don't know. We also have to take the fact that we're in co-op. That does matter as well. I don't know. What do we think? What do we think in the chat right now? Like... I don't know. Why'd I drop that? Why'd I do that? Why am I doing these things? Waiting tentacle. Okay. Alright. Sheen Stanks. What's up, Sheen? How long is this series? This is the second episode. Uh, the last one is like... Eight hours long, though. So... Um... I don't know. What are we thinking the chat, guys? What are, what are we thinking? Hey, Tim. How's it going, by the way? I just now saw your, your uh, comment. I don't have the patience for a bow build. I felt like I spent half my carrying capacity just making sure I had ammo. Yeah, I feel like a Mephinos is carrying me right now. Partly because of that. Co-op has a lot to do with it. I'm thinking partly, yeah. So I don't think you can directly buff arrow damage. No, that's what it is, Father. I need the other arrows to be sure. I think the build would perform decently solo, but with co-op health buff is not performing nearly as well. Okay. Palladium arrows. I like the feedback. We need to try palladium arrows to be sure. Um, to be sure. Now, up until Caldera, excellent. This build was very, very good. Oh, yeah. It was pretty solid up until Caldera. It is starting to fall off a little bit, which I knew might happen. Um, I can listen to me. Uh, oh, oh, Again, this does have partly to do with co-op, so we don't we don't want to discredit the build entirely. I'm not trying to say that. Want to buy something? He does have panacea, but it's very expensive. I can train you if you want. Ooh, yes. Mm. Should I just get both of the the totems? That's what I would do. Yeah. Maybe about seven. Alright, I'm gonna drop a potion for you. This should help. Well, what potion you got? Want to buy some a panacea. Bow might oh, be oh, yeah. falling off at this point. Yeah, well yeah, that's what I was thinking is this deal. Again, it's a it's a gold bow, you know. This is a very beginner isk bow. Have you tried the Daemon scene or masterwork bow? Will increase skill damage significantly. Not yet. I haven't gotten one. We will we will do that. Uh, there's plenty to, to do with something. this build. Uh, but the one thing I really, really wanted was for the lightning damage to stack high enough. So far, it's not doing it. You got any palladium scraps on you? I just... Uh, no, I do. I have them. Yeah. You got two? Yep. Cool. Can I have them? Yeah, take them out of my bag. That way they don't disappear. Sometimes it will disappear. Um, they are good for Medis. I like them on the Medis. The blue Medis, I think, have more defense, though. I can train you if you want. So should I... Oh, God. Um, also, we're gonna need to sleep for an hour, so I get my buff. Yeah. Could hunt down a Militia Bow, make it into the Chow Sedney Bow to try it out later. Might not be a bad idea, too. Should, should I get reverberation or nurturing, or nurturing echo? Nurturing echo. Nurturing echo. You will not like reverberation. I can almost guarantee it. Okay. I don't have the money for any of that yet. Yeah. Maybe what switch to a more so holy good. blaze focus build with meteoric. Yeah, true. I don't have a meteoric bow. 
Uh, but I could always, like, transfer one. Alright, you ready? Uh, I'm just selling a couple little things I don't need. Chanting the meteoric bow with Inferno. Oh, what does that do? That sounds pretty dope, actually. You yeah, I mean, goggle... I can always switch over and stuff, but it's like, you know. You want this goggle one shot? No. <sighs> Got the waning tentacle. That's important. I feel like physical damage is way better for bows. Um, I know that would be strong. Uh, it would just need more testing, guys. That's true. Inferno does blaze build up. Okay. Interesting. That would work. Ah, uh, it's a seal box. Okay. That would work. I would suggest Enkindle instead. Yeah, that's all going to come down to a lot of when we build Caldera, too. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on with that. Enkindle Enchant better for causing burn. One more arrow after trigger the Holy Blaze. Hmm. Alright, let's sleep until daytime so that it's not dark out. Can't seem to find anything online for the patch notes. Yes, just live the dream. I apologize, I forgot to answer your previous question. There are no patch notes. That's the problem. They never released any patch notes for it. So we no one knows what they did. That I know of. Which, again, is why I haven't released a video on it, because I would have, but I have no clue where the patch notes are. If there so are I have, some, I don't know where they're at. I can use Haunting Beat to cast the Ghost Drum. Haunting Beat? To yes. To place the Ghost yeah. Drum. Yeah. Okay. And then what, do I just whack it with my sword? Yes. Okay. Oh, I need to actually grab water. How much, how much money do you have on you? None, I just bought that Panacea for you. Oh, okay. That was, like, all the money I had left. Technically, I have nine silver, but... Right, we need to be on the lookout for more iron. I'm running out. Driving me crazy? Yeah. Are the patch notes released for PC? Yeah, I made a note... Uh, I made a video on the patch notes for PC. They're also on Steam. But console does not have patch notes. There's a there's an easy uh one and chest that we can get to. Right here. Let's try let's try fighting these guys. Hey, hold up, let me put my ghost jump ghost jump down before you okay. do anything. There was an update around the July uh, the nineteenth of July for PS5. Okay, go. Shoot them. So they have to be in the vein for this to hit them, right? Yes. Well, these guys suck, because they're just dodging everything I do. So hard to aim while moving. Ooh, Aether Bomb inflicted pretty fast. Aether Bomb was getting close to being there. That was cool. Yeah, the totem <laughs> is going to be nice since I have Torment. Yeah. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. Let's do the tower so I can get Murmur. Yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's a chest back over there also. By the dock? Oh, did you activate... Uh... On top, yeah, on top of the island thing. Did you activate the, um, wind, wind thing, Bob? I'm doing it right now. Oh, okay. Alright, now I can use wind sigil. Oh, nice. You have a... Oh, I think I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, you have the pickaxe. I have the, uh... Oh, hey, back here. Oh, iron? iron? Yeah. Nice. Yep, iron. Can you use the totems to wall up from projectiles? Yeah. That's what that, I mean. That's what I was just doing. 
They're, uh, they're really good. They're useless for bows because, you know, can't activate them with bows, but really nice to have for your co-op partner. Oh, this way, bud. Uh, I think there's a supply cache over here. Okay. Uh, four poison arrows. Alchemy and recipe for poison arrows. You want that? No. You don't want uh, that? Uh, yes, actually. Yeah. I was about to say. Where did you go? Alright, we gotta grotesque down here. Now, does that... This does not inflict very fast. Yeah, so that ability that they do there seems to get rid of it. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the island. Whoops. Oh, look at that damage, though. Look at that damage. What in the world? It's definitely enemy-dependent. It's going to depend on the enemy. Wait for him to do another ability. Yeah. I mean, that's good damage for a grotesque. These things aren't easy to take down. I don't think that you can deal damage. Yeah, I can. Also remember, we don't have our last hex ability giving us more damage, elemental-wise. Uh, so we could be doing more damage as well. Oh, wait, hold up. Before you run off, come here. Very nice. Um, I really do need to be carrying... Uh, it, the problem is I'm not making enough astral potions. Usually, I never have a problem with this, but... Thanks since we streamlined the faction quest, I... Hey, oh, we hey. were in the desert, too. What? Come back up. There's a gift for you on the ground. Oh, yeah, four? Nice. Is there a ethereal damage bow? Uh, yeah, I think Caustic is right. I don't think there is. There's none over there. Oh, okay. I thought there might be. It does Scorched and Shield, I think, while boosting Lightning and Decay damage. If I'm not mistaken. Astro Bow it's does Scorched and the Decay one. I it, think. I think it boot. I think Astro Weapons boost your Lightning damage, though. Boosts all damage, damage by 10%. Yeah. Oh, does it boost all damage? All elemental damage, yeah. If I remember correctly, yeah. I wanna go. Tell me how I nailed that guy. Duke it out with this guy. He almost dead. Yeah, he's almost dead. Well, this blood face dodged my attack. So did he again. Doing nice damage to a ghost. This is a very weak ghost, though. Oh, yeah. And one of my arrows got returned. That's nice. That's nice. But the one's on the steps out here. Mm hmm. Like scorched and cursed. That's what it is. 33% build up. Hey, Militia Claymore. Oh, nice. That Ice sells tea. well if you want to grab it. I can't grab it because I got to carry these samples. Oh, this is yours. It's a fishing harpoon. Okay, give me one second. I gotta... Okay, what is in this? And nothing. Okay. Uh, mole pig specimen. Alright. You want it? I just have you carry it, unless you're too heavy. 
That bags if a white but it's no big deal. Okay, go ahead and drop it then. I have room. Nah. Let's let's take this guy out real fast. Bring him over to me. I think he's already locked onto you, honestly. The lightning damage we're getting with Sigil is amazing. Also helps that I backstab him, so. Blue sand. I'll sell that. Oh, that I can't again. argue with. Okay, is he gonna come around the corner? Yeah, he is, but I'm locked onto another character. That's awesome. Ooh. All right, does he come down the stairs? I feel like he should. Hey, who are you fighting? Bring him over to me. Bring him backwards. Hit him with the sigil. There's a ghost up there. He didn't come down, though. Hit him with a backstab. Where is he at? I know he was just up here. Ah, ah, here he is. Oh, I just jumped off the cliff using that. That was awesome. I'm running out of arrows so fast in this area. This guy's being so stupid. Like, he will not get off of the stairs. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Oh, he died. He died from fall damage. That's nuts. Bull pig side will add five flat ethereal damage to a bow. Astral weapons are weird though, as each of the different types do different types of elemental damage while boosting another non-related element. I don't know how uh, you get back into this cave, but they're all dead back here. Yeah, this is a tower up here. Oh, you go to the tower. Yeah. Yeah, the astral weapons are very unique. They are made to use. They're definitely a weapon type that focuses more on uh, mana and melee characters. So characters that do both at the same time. Alright. Let me get ahead this way. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to heal up a little bit. Alright, I think... I need more wood. Yeah, 24 iron. I need wood to make arrows. And I actually have very few arrows. I already checked up there. Oh, listen, the corpse. Oh, I think I grabbed everything, maybe? I don't remember. Uh, you get minus boots, greasy tea, and good some type of fish. Astral actually gives 10% boost to all of Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Okay, so really what we need to do is go get the rest of my hex skills um, before I can really determine what's going on. Because another thing is, is when I'm tired, I'm going to have mana regen. I don't have mana regen right now, meaning I can't use hexes properly. Um, and there's not really an efficient way for me to get tired. At least not right now. Okay, where's the button at? Here it is. Alright. That is down. We've got Cali Grays. Don't have a lot of arrows, but I should be able to get some hexes on them. Give me placed on my, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, might be a good idea. These guys are always what? annoying because they, uh, are so far away. Okay, he's in the way. I literally can't do anything. I need to drop the bag, I think. Come 
on, hit me! Yeah, I need I need something. I need a DOT instead of instant damage. I think. Very nice. Oh my word! They're just Caligrays just suck the fight. All right. He's bleeding. Oh, he's on you now. Careful. The other one's on me, though? What the heck? Alright, bro. Let's do this. Oh, I have no... Nice. Saved me. Where's my spear at? He's dead. Woo! Some long, prolonged battles, but guys, I'm not taking any damage. Oh, heck, Caligui staff. I'll be carrying that and bolt on a ship. So while I feel that the damage dropped off, it, the survivability, again, is still there. At least for right now. Um, and we can go back through here. Hold up, back behind this blower. Very nice. Well, the Astro Bow gives the 10% to all elements, but it deals pure physical. Has Scorched and Cursed Debo. I feel like the physical... Oh, hey, the Barrier Helm. Yeah, I just noticed that. Nice. I should take that for a different character. Unless you want it. Nah, I'm good. I'll take the money. Okay. I mean, oh, we shit. fought up three Cali Grays pretty well. Again, the totem helped a lot. Totem and that backstab on the Elder. Was Man, fantastic. backstab's crazy. Backstab's crazy. It's so good and um, co op. It's just an excellent skill, man. It's so good. Okay, so the elevator doesn't work. And this literally just gets us back to where we were. Yeah, and I already killed those two ghosts on this, so. But this is also where you fight the granny. Oh, okay. This little altar right here. I don't know where you're at. Oh. What, do you want to fight her? No, well, we can't right now. Oh. I don't think we have what we need. We need blue sand to fight her. One of those unique I've... arenas. Yeah, I remember watching your stream while you did it. Oh, yeah? That you was a fun one. Loosely watched your stream while you did it. Okay, I need to figure out a way to carry some more foods that get me tired. I'm gonna have to, after the stream's done, I have to look up the correct things I need. Rodolfo, what's up, man? How's it going? Eight blue sands? Yeah, it's a lot, actually. A lot of blue sand. Okay. We got two samples so far. is isn't a lot, but... I mean, we've literally only been to, like, two areas. Yeah, no, the the bow build really does determine uh, largely on the arrow types. Which, again, is why I'm very frustrated they landlocked those. Not really landlocked, but they locked them up in the caldera. Alright, we mean, can fight a Tor Crab and see how good we do against him. Well, okay. I don't think there's any samples over here. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's not. Uh, Tor Crab is running away. Never mind, not fighting him. I do not fight enemies that are on stupid terrain. I don't do it. It's some of the terrain in Caldera will actually get you killed more than the enemy. It's absurd over here. Absolutely absurd. Good got home. A very tiring day. Gotcha. 
Glad you joined in. Um, let's see. Yeah. I don't know. Because, um... The reason uh, gargoyles are so hard is you don't have aether bomb arrows, which literally is so strong for gargoyles. Alright, we got Cali Grays up here. Uh, I'm trying to make a walk. 43 lightning damage. I'll take it. I like that attack. I like that attack. Aren't these guys, like, very resistant to lightning, too? It's a very interesting attack. It makes you go backwards. Haha, <laughs> backstab. So nuts. Did, did you see what we did to him? <laughs> I well, saw it. It was crazy. No, when when we knocked him, we bounced him in between us, and it wouldn't let him hit the ground to reset. Oh, really? Yeah, so he, he stayed knocked for Playing longer. ping pong with a... With a fucking monkey. <laughs> with a Cali Yeah, there's a tool crab over Pretty there. Pretty sure they are resistant to lighting? Yeah, that's what I thought. I wish to be able to loot arrow crafting kits from supply chests. That would be way better, yeah. You, All right, you ready you to fight him? Play? We need a ice rag. I don't have an ice rag, so. Do I have ice? I don't. I got poison and lightning. We got this. And fire. Should I do? I, I'll do lightning. Whoa, that's a lot of knockback. Got us both. <laughs> Of course. Got me again. I hate Tor Crabs. This is my least favorite enemy in the game to fight. Literally, I absolutely hate Tor Crabs. Their stupid they fast so attacks cool. are so annoying to fight. He didn't have anything too good on him. I would rather fight a Scarlet Emissary than a Tor Crab. I'm being honest right now. The timing of their attacks just angers me beyond belief. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, I'm getting my stamina buffs up. Oh. I've actually gone and made a personal mod to make both the arrowhead and grenade kits craftable. That's a good idea. Ooh, we have another sample. Let me grab the murmur first. Well, not the murmur, but ceremonial bow. Uh, pickaxe. Which isn't bad for a beginning bow. But you really need that pearl bird hat first. Helmet, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's fishing harpoon. Hmm? Yeah, it's a mole pig. Oh, it told me to mine it. Nice. Yep, Alright, drop that one to pigs. me. I'll pick it up. It's two mole pigs. Can't even really say that this is... This is a pretty decent bow build, though, because you don't have to use the bow. Like, if you get into a sticky situation or the damage falls off uh, and you want to wait till the arrows, you could just kind of switch over to spear for a bit. The weak to decay? Okay, that's what I thought. Because uh, they're more human. They're more like humans than any other beast. I have the recipe what output. Is... Three per craft, too. Really common items. God, I wish I'd packed my pearl bed mask, my black one. Oh, did you throw that in the chest? Yeah, I did to make more room in my inventory so I can carry stuff for you. Yeah, it makes sense. Even though this build's not made for carrying stuff. What's the first uh, enemy you have to fight in this thing? We could try that. It's hard, but. L listen, my, my guy. Hey, I catch you later, Zach. You. I I have to go back to the primal ritual set. Like. What do you need from there? I, I need to to sell some stuff. I, my gotcha. bags have weight. Drop me that other mole pig, then. I can carry That's it. That's not the only thing. I got a militia shield, animals, militia claymore, caligate staff, and a whole bunch of other stuff. True, but if you drop that for now, I can. It'll it'll weigh you down a little bit less. I have like I 
specifically brought the Mofinos because I know that samples are so heavy. Uh, hey, look. Uh, Doofus is back. First fight is a crab and a frost bug. Oh, the frost bug's not bad. We could probably take it, but it's like, eh. Alright, let's beat the crap out of this thing. You have fun with that. Did it grab but you? I hate that attack. I literally hate their neck attack. I think it's the dumbest attack in the whole game. I 100% agree on it. Okay. Okay, it just, it just... He angers me. Look at him. He's smug. He's a smug tour crab. He switches aggro every three seconds, too. Oh, crouch on his head. Stupid Some tour crab. Matt Shane. <laughs> Stupid crab. Hey, crab. Oh, I also need to sleep. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Because I have, like, almost half button stamina. I got you. Oh, shoot. Pigs. These guys have high knockback. Bow build has turned into spear. <laughs> no arrows. He has the tusk. I shall sell it. Where can I get the? I guess we could go to. No, we can't go to Old Cadillac because I have to go to the end first. Yeah, the Astro Bow literally has to wait till end game. It really does. Oh my word, these stupid Caligrays. You want to try to fight them or just run past them? Well, there's three of them, but we can do it. All right, come here, you stupid ape. Dodge those attacks. Three of them is a sizable number, though. We gotta be careful. All right, one down. Uh, I'm going back up so I can heal. Never mind. That did not work how I wanted it to. Okay. Wish I had Conjure right now. We really need to go get the rest of the skills. I'm probably dead. Yep, I'm down. Got him. Jeez, Caligrades are so annoying. There's two more! What the heck? The spawns. Let's fight them. You wanna fight him? Alright. Yeah, I got center on one just locked onto me. Just one though. We can take okay. him. Let me... Nope, never mind. The second one's coming up. I got this. I uh, grabbed a fire rag, so we'll be okay. I love this. Oh my freaking word. Come on. There's no way. Alright, I took care of him. Once again, no way. Freaking Cali Grays. Taking me off right now. Ugh. Looking for the short handles. Scarlet emissaries have a rare chance to drop them. Nah. Ornate chests are the easier way. There's no way we're taking a Scarlet Emissary right now. You have to have a high damage output to kill them. I'm picking up all the loot that I can. Cool design for these guys, though. I have to give them credit for that. A lot of the enemies look really badass. Alrighty. So let's see, I have the gold bow, which is meh right now. City and bow has low elemental damage. Hmm. Bows are really more centered around physical damage. It's kind of odd. This arrow set to the elemental damage. 
I think if I used a palladium arrow, it would, uh, it would trash. That's what I think. Probably. That is my opinion. Meteoric bow gets 24.5 fire damage. Hmm. We'll sell. Buy something. That one sounds better. Want to buy something? All right, I have three samples, which isn't great, but it's a decent amount until we actually come over here and start farming them out. I think I got the extra status build up from him. I did. Um, this spear though is super cool. I like it. I really do. It's a fun spear. Gladiator Arena's chest only has a. Well, 1.5 chance to give you, give them to you. Yeah, the Gladiator's Arena Chest has, like, some really, really low percentages, but it has a chance to drop nearly everything in the game that's rarer. Want to buy something. Which is cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I can train you. Alright, I need that waning tentacle. Ow. Save that That's for later. Weird. Um, That's enough money. How many rations do I have? Three? Can, can you get Battle Rhythm and mm. Harmony and Melody, or just one? You can get both. Oh, okay. Only one you can't get both of is Reverberation and Nature's uh, Echo. Cool, cool. I got... Nurturing Echo. Mm. Oh, do I have to activate that ability? Echo. That is, after you hit all your totems, you can activate that and it'll heal you and give you mana back and all that jazz. Okay. Pretty cool, I actually. Sacred Fumes, my barriers increased by seven. Can, oh, I need Peach Seed and Palladium Scraps. Hmm. I'm gonna sleep over here. Okay. Refuse to walk in Caldera during the nighttime. Cannot see anything. Although technically it's better for the heat. But nah. Not, Not for your build. Yeah, my build my build's like heat? What? What's that? Okay, we can actually go grab sulfuric mushrooms though. That'd be kinda interesting. And then we'll just I head need... back to Berg, and we can go to Harmattan. That'll be better. Unless you want your peach seed. I'd probably find a peach seed. No. How many palladium scraps do you need? Two. Ah, I only have one. Can't, can't you make the the stuff in the other regions also? Uh, yeah, yeah. And they take items from that region, right? Yeah, so we actually don't really need to get them. Yeah. I forget about that. This game is sexy. What's up, Kevin? Yeah, it is. I can't argue. Oh my god. Three... Is it... No, okay, that's the bonus. Luckily, that they're dead. Like... <laughs> yeah, that was like two... You make a video pieces. of the most fun builds. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could look into that. I appreciate your... Suggestion there. There are... A lot of builds... That's the problem. It does make it a, a little bit difficult, but uh, I really I probably like this could. Dagger, this dagger build's pretty fun. Dagger builds are always a blast. I could probably make the top five build types. That could be an interesting top five. I really, I want to do a, a pistol build and also a um, like either great hammer or great axe build. Pistol builds are fun. The only reason I don't know if I'll do it on stream is because they are so cheesy. They literally one-shot half the enemies in the game. <laughs> With cold icy shot, so it's like... I don't, if, if I don't know if it'll have, be that entertaining. If, if you could have... A ca if you could have a pistol in one hand and a dagger in the other, you could be completely broken. Yeah, definitely. Because you get cannon pistol shrapnel shot. And then you do um, opportunist strike. 
and that's just yeah six times it would just be so dumb honestly it's really good um Fishy. rig that spear looks sick what is it this is actually the whirlig spear it is in levant not levant but the abrasar desert the electric lab you have to go through the electric lab solve the puzzle and you get the whirlig spear at the end uh probably one of the top three spears in the game very very good i, I don't know man that that, that fishing harpoon is probably the best though <laughs> the gold fishing harpoon yeah Okay, where are the mushrooms at? They're not over here, they're over there. What mushrooms are you looking for? Sulfuric I'm not, ones. I'm not trying to chip on shrooms right now. Oh, hey, let's watch this fight. The giant versus the tour crab. Yeah, the giant wins. I think it's two... Oh, it's... Oh, he has a pet, that's why. It's a 2v1, and the giant is insanely more powerful than a regular giant. Oh, wait, isn't... Isn't that the, the giant that you see petrified later on? Yeah. Didn't you make a video about this? I did, yeah. Guy? Oh, with that guy involved in it? All right, we're going to have to fight him. After wow. they're done, obviously. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, the hippo's go. dead. Yeah, so we're fine. We can fight him. No, let me just try. Hold up, let me do something with my skills so fast. That was good. I will... Oh, yeah, he's got... He has some resistance. Does he still have a lot of health? How'd that hit me? That was like way far away. He has a little under half. Ah, what? Why did he lock on to me all of a sudden? Dodge! Oh, shoot. That would have been okay. bad. Ah, oh, I love that weapon. Giant is down. Was uh, He would have been a lot harder if he had his little hippo buddy with him and everything else. Yeah, this this is a really cool spear actually. I really like this one. Uh Beetle. It's a lantern. Really? Caligard hair. Alright, oh, now yeah, we no. can look for my mushrooms here. Hello, Sheen Shots. Do you use mods? What's up, noobs? I have never used a mod before. Ever. Um, for outward. I would like to eventually, but I currently do not. I have had uh, some really good ones recommended to me, but I haven't tried them yet. Uh, Budzilla, my cold build made a mockery of almost everything in Caldera. Brand is doing 8 physical, 68 cold, 5 raw. I have elemental discharge Jeez. and assortment of pistols loaded with frost bullet. Yeah, frost bullet is kind of stupid when uh, you stack it with the crimson armor set and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how my build fared in Caldera for sure. I know that the if you use the spear as backup, it's definitely good. The bow itself, I think, definitely needs arrows. We're going to find out more later. Though. I want to I wanna do that fire build that you have up on your channel, but at the same time, I know it would be absolute trash here in Caldera. Yeah, it's also not very... Hey, yeah, those, those are the ones I need. It's not very easy to get since it's the end-game armor that you need. I would just probably use debug mode, honestly. Test it out. Yeah, it's... It's kind of fun. I mean, you're a glass cannon. You destroy everything very quickly. But is there only two sulfuric mushrooms here? That's kind of lame. I expected more. Okay. Alright, now we can just leave. Now we need to go back to Berg so we can go to our man. You know what? We'll clear the hive while we're on our way. That way we can uh, kill the hive lord. The hive lord's fun. Wish that giant crossbow was obtainable. I know, can you imagine? It's called, uh... What would you call it? Thunder Child. The Thunder Child? Nice. Or like the Giant's Cradle or something. Something crazy. Boomstick. Boomstick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wish they added a playable... Like, they added the playable Trog, but a playable Giant would be cool, too. That would be or so Or their broken. second game that they work on could be Giants. They could just make it about the Giants and the culture. That would be cool. They could do a sequel type thing where it's you and you go over to the giant culture and you just kind of explore and have these faction quests with them and stuff. I wonder if it would be like um, like you upload your save data from a from like Outward One, or Outward. To How outward awesome would that be? Make it so it would be like maybe you could take your gear over there or some of it, like the equipment you have, but nothing else. 
Right. And then it would also, like, change the outcome of the world depending on which faction you chose. Yeah, that'd be neat. That would actually be really, really creative if they did that. Hey, Palladium. You got your pickaxe on it? I do indeed, yes. Hey, this Palladium will for me. Okay. I'm sneaky. And I can actually use a bow again once I get my arrows. That's going to take very little damage for me, but... Wow, that did some damage. See, it does so much damage in these lower areas, and then Caldera kind of... Like, hey, you are not overpowered. Might I remind you... A cold demands cold beetle. Um, that... Caldera is in game and you are not in game yet. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> mid game. I don't even have my full skill trees. Yeah, neither do I. But I got a break the point. I just need 12,000 silver. Yeah, I just, I just need a lot of money, you know? Huh? Need a lot of money. All the money. Yeah, that's All a right, let me skeleton. grab some wood here. Grab the wood, don't climb up the tree. I almost did. Did you see that? Yeah. I think this is the wrong entrance, but we might be able to get up through here. I can't remember. No, this is I, the I, one that has nothing. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do it anyway. What do we have to lose? All lives. It means nothing to me. All right. Now, we're going to want to use fire bow, I think. Yeah. All right, you ready? Where you at? Uh. Oh, I'm getting my stamina buffs going. Over there? Oh, I see, I see. I, see. Yeah, I was like, where are you? There's All a right. hollow tree over here. There's literally nothing left. Buff up here a bit. Yeah. How Jenny, cool does the obsidian bow look, though? It looks pretty dope. And just a bow on fire. How can you not love that? Sinai, the name of the Primal Ritualist Trainer, is actually the name of one of Outward's biggest modders. Yeah, I believe I included that fact in my Primal Ritualist video, where I went over what the totem uh, workshops did. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, I need the fire rag on. Oh, shoot. I forget where this takes us. Geronimo! Oh, I was hoping for like a big old slippy slide. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, oh. I know there's a big guy here somewhere. Oh, nice damage. Yeah, they're very weak to fire. What about ethereal damage? Ha 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 ha! He's dead. This is another bow that's like really nice to get as soon as possible. Oh, shoot. Come on. It, it lit on fire, though. Did you see I that? thought I was walking out of it. I walked directly into it. And I hey, the, Dreamer's the, Rude. It, it, the, the whole thing bested in flames. And you did. Oh, yeah. Well, there's lay will. There's a lot of Dreamer's Rude in here. I didn't know that. Okay, we gotta be extra careful around in these corners here. Are we up? We are up. Okay. I know where we're at. Holy crap! Ah! It's just a beetle. Woo! Bro got me scared. One. Bo carried for the whole faction quest and antique plateau. Alright, bring him back over here to the sigil so I can actually help. Alright, he should follow you. If I had Conjure, I could actually be really utilizing the Sigil. What does Conjure do with the Sigil? Uh, it's basically just another Lightning Blast, but it's a big one. It does massive damage. I love how my sword ran out of fire before my dagger did. More Dreamer's Root. I had no idea there was so much here. Oh, there's a big guy get down there. Where is he at? He's literally like right oh, here. Oh, I see, I see. Do you think my totem can hit him from up here? 
Oh, uh, it actually should. Yes. I can hate enemies that do that. Bruh. Oh, I need to take that arrow. Yeah, you should be able to just whack it. It'll go down there and hit him. It goes through walls. Oh, does it? Yeah. What What is uh, nurturing echoes doing? Uh, after you get done using your totem, activate it near your totem, and it will either heal you. It does something depending on the, which totem you use. I think that one gives mana regen. Did I hit him or miss? I think I missed. No, you're hitting him. Okay, now he's on me. <laughs> oh, look, Aether Bomb. Yeah. Oh, nice. I love Aether Bomb so much. It's such a cool, like, effect to get to happen on an enemy. Nice. Whoa, watch out. Yep, Ouch. That'll hurt. That'll hurt. I have constructed the hive. Oh, crap. You can't get your totem. What? I just... Is that healing? It's giving me my mana back from down here. Ha! Just got full mana back and stamina. Uh, but yeah, you can't get back up there. I will just can we not just loop back around from a? Nah, we got to go all the way back out through the hive. That's the only way up there is through the entrance we came. I think. Uh, we'll go <laughs> back. We can go back around and get it though. Yeah. What did you go? We got hive through here. Darn. I didn't. I thought. You, I thought you literally went down a ramp. That's why I did that. Okay. Yeah. No. I just jumped off the cliff. Yeah. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Dude, I hate their that. AI. You knew where we were. You can follow us. How? Wow. The range, bro. The range. All right, that one's dead. Look at this tool. Look at him. I'm gonna slowly walk towards you, because I'm an idiot. Also, in case you're wondering, they're not weak to lighting. Like, not very. Because they're laughing off my damage. Okay. Um, these guys are all dead. Yeah, we just have to loop all the way back around once we get out of the, the cave. Yeah, if you ever place a totem, a good rule of thumb is never leave it. Because uh, that'll happen occasionally. Let's see if this is Some decent good. rewards here. I don't want any of it, though. Again, I thought there was a ramp going back up. No, no one told Wait. me that it was a... Yeetily deep. Ah. Alright, now we can fight the Hive Lord. I'll see you up here. Yes, sir. And actually, the exit takes us back to the entrance. It just means we have to go back through this cave. Ah, uh, but I mean, it's no big deal. No, I'm gonna get my stamina buffs up. You got plenty of time. I guess we'll be in corruption. It's not a bad idea. Uh, stamina's up. Is he weak to poison? Fire. Fire and poison. Just Fire uh, no, he has resistance to poison, sorry. Oh, oh what? Well, I can just do my fire traps. Duh. Um, I, I should probably, probably take my, this. Uh, get my bones back up if I can. Trying to think what I need to do here. I have the right bow on. I need to make arrows does, when we get outside. That's does it. He does, does he do a decay damage? Yes. Yes, he does. And a lot of it. Decay and physical, I'm pretty sure. This fight may be easier with the bow. He can be pretty hard melee.
Um, you're definitely gonna want. Oh, you don't have your totems. That would have been so nice for this fight. Oh, this actual like corruption up in here. Okay. Let's go. I don't even think I can get. No, I can gather wood. Thank goodness. This would kill me if I couldn't gather wood. What What do you want to fight him at? Like, what do you want to lead him back to? It doesn't really matter because we uh that hill up there. The hill like yep. up here where, I, where I'm going. Yeah. We need a ton of arrows for this fight. As many as I can get. Alright, let's do this. Okay, that's as much as I can hold. Let's move this to bag. Alright. Oh, my traps are behind you. Come, come towards me. I'm on your left side. Yeah. These bugs are fast. I didn't know we as much damage as I was hoping it would. That didn't even hit him, I don't think. Gosh darn it. I hate how he can instantly get back from attack and hit again. It's so annoying sometimes. Alright, I can hit him from here, I think. Nope, I hit you in the back. Alright, should be on me. He's too fast to... Backstab. Really? Yeah. I can bleed him again. I don't know if he actually bleeds. Again, I cannot dodge after shooting. That's the one problem with the bow. You can't dodge. There is a huge window where you just can't do anything. Um, what is, Like, what's he doing? He, there we go. There we go. I hit him with that. His difference between regular Hive Lords is he's fast swinging attack. And the fact that he doesn't look like he's going to attack you, and he does. Nice damage. Nice. What does he have on The fact that I took oh. two hits from him, though, not bad. World Great Axe. Yeah, World Edge Great Axe. Really good axe. Some various other things. I don't know why he has a tattered hood. Kind of weird. I think all the hive have hoods. And like tattered clothes. Did you take the axe? What? Did you take the axe? Yeah. Yeah, I grabbed it. Alright, let's get out of here. How do we get out of here? Is there nothing else up here? No, that's literally it. Okay. Think uh I'm trying to think how I could have better prepared for that fight. Obsidian bow is definitely the best choice. Having my totem. <laughs> yeah, that would have helped. Yeah. Nah. Having both totems would have helped. Okay, now we just jump off the right side here. And I think we can get out through a different entrance, though. Yeah, there should be... Unless it goes down, some of these... Because this one jumps down. I don't know if the other one does. Oh, man. Okay. There's a there's a small sweet spot where you don't take any damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, should be right around this corner. There she is. I thought I saw another path back that way. Yeah, but the other exit's right there. Oh, is it? Well, let's yeah. go. Right up here. Oh, wow, well, we missed some serious loot right here. From one of the big guys? 
Meteoric Bow would be a lot more fire damage. You just lose the Scorched buildup. True. And the Scorched isn't even that good. So probably Meteoric Bow would be better. I don't know. It's frustrating because... With a lot of different weapons, you can use fire, lightning, blah, blah, blah. It's all equally powerful. The bow definitely feels like fire outmatches everything. It feels like Meteoric Bow really stands out. Okay, uh, do you have something to take down corruption? I do not, uh, but we are headed to town, so. Uh, I'm 53% corrupted. You can buy a Sanctifier Potion when we get there. I can't remember what's in there. Oh, yeah, that's the trap. There's just two hive in there. Oh, okay. You can spawn there if you happen to die here. Okay, okay. Oh, I didn't see these guys. They were hiding. Just run they for 20 want... minutes. <laughs> they, they didn't want any of the smoke. Nice. See what I mean? Yeah, because oh. those bugs are not there. They're not there. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Uh-huh. Some bull crap. That uh, can I poison myself? Yeah, they weren't even on my screen. Just got exploded from nowhere. We can fight Crabase seeds on the way back. I'll just use them then. He was burning after four to five hits, too. Yeah. Oh, that's not Crabase. That's... Yeah, Barry. Where is a Craybay seed? I actually don't know where they're at. I think there is one actually to the left up here, maybe? You know what was funny? Is we found like eight of them when we're in Caldera, <laughs> and now we can't find any. We find Craybay seeds all the time, except for when I need them. Because that would be convenient, and we can't have that. Convenience? What's that? <laughs> Not today. I did get a lot of loot from Caldera. That's going to be really helpful, though. You can enchant the Meteoric Bow to give it burning, and then it will give Holy Blaze to your enemy. Yeah, see, that seems like the best option. I don't see how you can get better than that as a bow. You want to fight the reindeer? Uh, Not if we have to. I mean, yeah, let's do it. He's he's oh looking. My God. He's he's right there, you know. You butt face. That was funny. Absolute. Look at him. Look at him run away. He's a he chicken. He you twice. It's a piece of garbage. Stupid deer. Yeah, yeah. Take that. And that's why marble sword. This dumb deer. My word, can't get any of these arrows to drop. They should have increased the drop rate of these arrows if they were going to make them like that. I'm not using them. I was like to save them up. Ah, Craybay seeds. Nice. Oh, you found some? Yeah, right here. Are you, are you infested? Do you need some? Yeah, I need some. I'm just killing stuff. Well, I didn't get more than one, so. Which doesn't seem Ask possible, it. but... I guess that's a thing. That big old bushel of stuff only has one. I usually get three from them. One seems very low. All right, see, we can add more damage by grabbing Lightmender's backpack, and we can also add more damage from grabbing Hex. So this isn't really the maxed out lightning that you could get, but pretty close. Palladium arrows. Get some palladium, palladium arrows over there. You know what would be really, really strong is this setup with um with just only using Wind Sigil and the unique shield they added to the game that has extra lightning bonus and you could just block all damage and activate spark. You could just like circle around your sigil and just blast stuff to death. What, Will-O-Wisp? Yeah, the only problem with Will-O-Wisp is this resistance is not as high as some of the better shields in the game.
Also, the fact that you have to die to get it, which is stupid. And the fact that the quest doesn't work properly, which is also stupid. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why that they made that quest like that. I'm fine with that you dying to have to get it, but, like, make sure it's guaranteed. Like, people, multiple people have told me they died and not gotten it. The don't encounter. you have to die and get out before you die again? Right. But a lot of people are dying and not even getting the defeat scenario. Then die again? For you. Okay, do not go to the inn because it will start Caldera. This worries me. So we absolutely cannot go inside the inn. Go inside the inn. Got it. Yes, that's yeah. exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. For sure. Okay, World Edge Great Axe, we are going to sell because I need money and I, it's not useful to me. I feel like the barrier stuff for the movement speed wouldn't be bad for a bow, maybe. In a way. A very roundabout way, though. He's not getting any extra damage. Okay, let's buy the house. And then travel. Something. How can I help you? All right. Nice. No. Well, I thought you were traveling, and I was like, "Whoa, easy there." Kill it. Not yet. All right, oh, ceremonial bow. We throw away. Not throw away, but we throw in there. Just, I'm stocking up on stuff right now. All right. Uh, I want to keep all of that, but I'll sell all that junk. Power coil. Do I need this? No. All right, I have 500 silver, and I have 56 gold in there. That's enough. Uh, oil bombs. I was going to make those. Are you in the house? Uh, yes. Awakening the ceremonial bow with a prober mask and getting the slayer armor set, you'll be doing a good chunk of physical damage. Yeah. Not sure if I want to go that route yet, though. I a lot of... Stamina potions. The majority of what I'm carrying around right now is potions. That's the same for me. Mm. Need to make some teas. Alright. Oh shoot, I need that root for later. All right, we store the bombs. I think I have, yeah, five oil bombs. Not a bad amount. They're not really usable yet until I get more. Um, I don't need this many bandages. I'll throw the palladium in there, too. You know where the, uh, the crafting table for the totems are? I know where the one on our mat is that we're going to. Oh, okay. Do I you know where all people? of them are, but the easiest one would be our men. If we're headed there anyway. Hey there. Oh, I need to buy potions. Health potion. No, I don't really need health potion. Arrows. That's what I was gonna buy. You? That that Mana cup potion. on Angler on Sanguine's Cleaver looks so powerful. I know. It really does. Fifty percent of the existing of the existing weapons physical damage as physical damage. Weapon inflicts burning thirty percent, poison thirty five percent, and extreme poison twenty percent, and it already does extreme bleeding. Yeah, I can't imagine how good that is, really. Hey there. Well, 30, 30 damage, forty impact, and one attack speed. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that. Uh, where did you go? Oh, you ready to travel? Yeah, I need to grab, uh, some more arrows before I leave, because I really am running low. Oh, and wait, I hold think up. I have rash. No, I only have one ration. Okay, so we can go there. I get my last skill for that skill tree. You got, you got plenty of scraps. This I have some me. in my thing, yeah. I don't. I don't have any in my thing for some. What do you need? 
I need probably two if I had a goose. Oh, uh, we don't need it right now. I'm gonna buy the town, the house, and then go over there. Oh, okay. I have the right amount of money for it, so. Cool, let's go. Need we pay for it? This no, I got it. me. Yes. The problem is I we don't have the sigil. The wind sigil. Oh well is it where we're going is like right there beside it? Mmm. I think it's close, yeah. No, it's not close. It's on the other side of the map. Doesn't matter. Almost? We can get it eventually though. I thought I thought they were side by side. Almost. Uh no they are. Yeah, you're right. Cause there's the the primal ritualist thing, and then across from it's the mana lake, and to the left of that's the totem. Or the wind pylon. So yeah, you're right. They are close together. Okay. I think I'm, I have a ton of money, so I should be able to buy anything that I need from blacksmith. Holy cow, a lot of my meat rotted. Uh, I have. I've returned, Mr. Streamer. What's up, uh, Archangel? Yeah, I have to sell my gold. You have what anything you to poison me, lady. Now, can I buy the house? Love all the music in the regions? Yes. And Harmattan has beautiful music. Or Matin's music is something that I would fall asleep to almost. Not quite, because it's exciting, but almost. Gets the blood pumping? Yeah. Okay, now how much money do I have? Hmm. What I think I should do is I should put the Whirling Spear up and just buy a ton of arrows. No, I can't do that. Because it just in case I run out, I'm I'm basically screwed if I don't have that. So we'll take it with us. Uh we don't want to get more money though. Cause I'm about to buy out the whole town. Alright, who has arrows? Oh, this is this a guy? cool how can we set up like Need that? something? Yeah, this town has the best alchemy set up for sure. Wow, he has like no arrows. That's depressing. Okay. Oh, you get pure, you get a piece of pure chitin and two dock stones. Yeah, it's a really nice house. You get really good stuff from it. Nothing much, just this, uh, decide my next build. Master Kazai Armor, Buzu Hide Backpack, Chimera Pistol, and Kurulian Saber. Hex Mage, Mercenary, Blood Bullet, and Stamina. Yeah, that's excellent. Is there something you, need? you can't go wrong with that. You really can't. Um, this guy has nothing for me. How can I help you? This guy, on the other hand, does. I want to buy the Golem Elixirs for later. Those for later. And... Dude, what else should I buy from the uh, these? Okay. I did not get a lot of arrows from Harman. Thought there was more. Maybe the blacksmith has some. No, I don't think he does. And we can find out. And I do have enough for conjure later on. Although Conjure is not going to be very helpful if I ever play solo. Uh, he has six is there something you need? Who does? Blacksmith? Yep. Oh, dang. I'm mistaken. Awesome. I'm a big fan of that. If not arrows from the smith, then scrap. Put him up. I'll train ya. Oh, yeah. I need multiple skills from this, don't I? Uh, 600 here. I think I have more gold bars. Is there something you need? I had 600 gold. Nice. 
Put him up. I'll train you. We're gonna grab Rupture just cause. Machine, I'm gonna have to call tonight, my man. All right, man. Sounds good. I got to be at work in the morning. I'll probably get off here in at, at 11 my time, so about 45 minutes. Is yeah. there? Oh, thanks for playing. You need? A lot of fun. Uh, thanks for having me. Heck oh, yeah. Everyone in the stream, y'all have a good night. Maybe I'll catch you on another one. Yeah, catch you later, man. Hopefully, yep. work goes well for you. Probably won't. <laughs> Uh, See, it is work though, right? Yeah, it is work. <laughs> Can't be like too an good. Hour, an hour and thirty minute drive. Roughly. Dang. Yeah, I'll That's see you. Crazy. All right, man. I'll catch you later. Yep. Have fun. Okay, I need to buy the arrows from the smith. Yes. Uh, you know what is fun though is trogs die to lightning very quickly. This guy has six arrows. I was promised much more than that. I do have 119 arrows, though. There has to be a... There is a money. weaponsmith, though, right? Weaponsmith have him. Hour and 30 minutes commute. Hope they're making good money, considering the prices. Yeah, no, six is making... Uh, Need something? That, that travel is brutal, though. That travel is brutal. I don't know if anything really makes up for that. You better have the money. Yeah, nobody has freaking arrows, bro. Can I help you? This guy should have a ton of arrows. That's all I'm saying. Oh shoot, you're right. Scrap. Can I help you? I need to check this guy for it too. No, he didn't have any scrap, but the blacksmith does. Okay, and. Want to buy something? Yeah, right here. I see what you're saying. Okay. And we can always make more via wood. And I'm gonna head to the first part of the train dungeon, get it started. See what the damage is like. Again, I really think the damage is nice. Uh, it's been excellent everywhere but Caldera. And it's been good in Caldera. So, hasn't been bad. Just hasn't been, you know, top notch. And I do think it was good against the Mimitour. It was trashing the Mimitour, actually. Uh, the only thing it didn't do much to were the... The snails. The... Whatever they call it. I call them snails. Alright, a lot of arrows. That's good. We need... Stamina buff. This gives me stamina. Thank you. Let's do this. All right. We also have the ability to rupture now. Um, without being tired, however, it's much less useful without a ton of mana potions. I also forgot to put my potions back into the chest, so that's going to hurt me a bit here, but it's fine. How many mana potions did I end up with? Only, I mean, nine's a decent amount. I can't complain about nine. I uh, probably shouldn't be walking around with more than nine potions anyway. And potions. Mostly struggling against the things that have high protection. Yeah, and again, that's because my physical damage isn't high enough to just blast through that. Uh, the Medis were nice, though. I, the yellow Medis, at least, were very, very easy to deal with, I felt. Let's see what it does to a Viber, huh? I one-shot the Viber. So. Guys, I can take out Vibers. Excellent. This is the build. This is the best build. You can insta-kill Vibers. Uh, that's all that's required of a build. In my opinion. Okay. So, yeah. We're good. Uh, the stream's the stream's done. The build's done. We're good. Yeah, I'm gonna post it on the wiki. Best build ever. Call it the Viber Killer. I don't see a problem with that. I have no issue. 
Um, let's use Obsidian Bow for the Rock Mantis. Beavers are this area's hyenas. They really are. They do infect you, too. They're so annoying. But they're actually way easier to deal with than hyenas because they actually fight you. Uh, hyenas refuse to come at you. Just be like, nah. Not doing it. Not doing it. Did I just craft an Explorer Lantern? That's what I've been doing this whole time. No, I... Yeah, no, I did it right. I thought it, it made me craft it. I was like, what the heck? Yep, there he is. That was awesome. Rock Mantises have been my worst nightmare for this build for some reason, and I don't know why. That felt good, though. <laughs> like, I have no idea why. They're not even a problem. I just, for some reason, stand there and get hit by them. Protection. Yeah, I mean, they did buff that. But for some reason, whenever I go up against them, I just kind of stand there. I just stand right in front of them. I don't move. Because why would I do that? That would make sense. Once again, I did not push that button. I pushed this one, and it did that. All right, all right, all right. I see what we're doing here. Yeah, I put you on fire, dude. I know. Yeah, part of it has to do with me sucking at pushing the right button. That's a huge part of it. The rupture and torment, though. From the obsidian. That's the problem with this lightning bow. Is it doesn't. It does uh, inflict some sort of hex. But it's. I don't think it's a hex that's explodable. Uh, what's it called? It's. I don't remember what it's called. But I don't think it's explodable. So, Sapped. Yeah I don't think it does anything. Uh, where's my meat at? Here you go. I'm, I can try. I can see if it does. Reach is pretty good when they do that double hit attack. Yeah, and I think that's what it is. They uh, just have a giant reach attack. And so I think I have more room to back out of the fight after shooting, and I don't. Hmm. Which one of these do I want to drop? The flint and steel. All right, banded living quarters. If we can take out this area, which isn't saying much, we'll be fine. The area that I'd like to t actually test is the manufacturing facility. That is a challenging area. Okay, where are these Kazite at? Yeah, there he is. They always hide. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Yep, saw that one coming. Hit him again. I want to see if I can get sapped on him. He's being a pain in the butt right now. Look how much damage it does to humans, though. I like that. Kind of hoping they made archery a little different with DE. Make it so bows have longer range, but a longer pullback and higher stamina cost. Always played bows when I first started. Very easy. But then you need to increase enemy notice range when hit. Okay. I think I get what you're getting at. Understand what you're getting at. I don't know. I, I I like it. I like the bow. Very fun. Obviously, Caldera is where builds start to fall off all the time. So it's not really surprising that the build wasn't 
excellent without, you know, all my skills and everything, so. Where is the secret boss? There he is. I was gonna say, I know he's around here somewhere. Horse, horse. This guy should be able to get sapped on. Humans are just so easy to do with bows because they come at you and you just move out of the way. Alright, let's see if this does anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Alright, what do you want? You want some of this? See, like, just run to the side. You're good. Interesting. Alright, we got the big boy left. Do we want to see me, like, flame him? Or does, like, lightning enough? Is that enough torture? Do you ever reveal soul? I do, actually. Thank you for uh, reminding me of that. I have not used Reveal Soul one time. And that makes me feel really stupid. Because that could have been very helpful, like, the entire game. Mmm, I don't need that. Okay. Uh, Obsidian Bow, which is for some fun here. After Dead Knight's Soul for 100 Ethereal Wait, what? It does? It does? I had actually never tried that. Interesting. Where's this guy at? Um, you come here. I never tried this before. Wow, it does. That's nuts. Really, dude? Really, dude? Get out of my face. That's cool. I had no idea that that did that. I think someone told me that before, but I never thought to try it. Under the Ethereal 66 Impact AoE. Seems like a beast to me. Certainly hit for nice damage. My thing was, uh, I could have been using it to regen mana the whole time. And I haven't been. I don't, I don't know why. I just never... <laughs> I, one of those... Like, so many things in the game to do that's easy to forget... The small stuff, you know? Okay, I don't know where that went. I'm guessing I was out of range. Yeah. Usually use your reveal soul and spark for constant mana. Boyfriend and I do that. Yeah, see, I usually... I used to. I quit using reveal soul so much. Um... And for some reason, I just completely forgot that I had that ability. So. Silly me, I guess. Yep, not doing that. Look at this guy. He thinks he's going to hit me from over there. Ah, knew he was going to dodge. You know what, though? Confusion actually does do something. It does deal a bit of damage. Let's see what how much damage this does. Oh, it kills. Nice, actually.
I thought he might get me on that one. So you know what would be really good is Warbow. Warbow inflicts confusion pretty quickly, and then you can just kind of blow him up. Obviously, it's not like the best or anything, but... Something. Okay. This guy doesn't have anything. Sanguine Flame. Nice. It's a long cast, but if you got Rupture, it's better trap setup if you can manage to find create dead bodies. It's kind of a genius idea. I never thought about that. I guess I've, I've read the skill before. It probably says it on the skill. I don't know. Need. You stack reveal soul, like, have more than one orb at the same time? I never really tried. I don't think so. And I don't think Trogs have souls, so I can't try it on them. But that's neat. Alright, where's this guy at? Uh, we can use Sniper Shot. I want to see how... Watch this. Trogs are really weak to lightning. Yeah, half. It's pretty good. Oh, shoot. I don't have arrows. I hate when I do that. It's almost every time I try to use that shot. I don't have arrows. And I'm like, uh, whoops. Only thing is that Rupture will detonate all souls in range. Oh, I see. I really, really think that my favorite bow skill has to be the, the jump back attack. It's so cool. Even though it doesn't do the most damage, it's, it's the most fun to use. Our loot has been very subpar. That I will say. Now, for this other Trog, he's going to take less damage. We're actually going to switch to this for now. He's not hard, but he is more resistant. And he shouldn't dodge, I don't think. All right, switch bows, activate Hex. All right, we'll let him burn. Get him to throw one more time. That guy's bleeding, so that's two Trogs dis disabled. Uh, now we got one left. Wow, I one-shot him, too. Nice. <laughs> it's fun gameplay. It's what it is. I mean, you can do so many different things. You can afflict hexes onto him. You can uh, run around. Plus that bloodlust. I mean, bloodlust really makes this... It just... Amazing. I have full mana, and I didn't... You know, I didn't do anything to get it. Remember earlier when you were dealing with the Poison Gargoyle hour ago? I fought him earlier, but had to raise an army of undead. And the Teutonosaurs rupture cleaned up well. Yeah, I've done that before and aggroed them all onto me. Yeah, that that's rough. I gotta say. Having to fight an army of skeletons at the same time. Which, can we talk about for a minute? How come there's not that many skeletons in the game? There's like two caves? Skeletons? Very interesting. I wonder why they did that. Alright, so step one. Done. Uh, 
Um, we have to clear out a couple old trogs, and then we kill an immaculate in the next area. So. Which I think if I switch from Obsidian Bow to... I Honestly, in solo play, I feel this build is perfect. The problem is in co-op, enemies with just slightly more health messes with it. Not even a lot, just a little bit. It's just enough. My head cannon, I just say that the Jade Lich had acolytes and those skeletons died. Oh, down there are the acolytes. Yeah, they probably just died. Yeah. I could see it. I mean, I like the amount of lightning damage I can do with the bow. I don't know how helpful sapped is, really. I'm imagining it's better for boss fights than anything else. But. There's the ones in Ziggurat Passage and the two or three in Corrupted Tombs, if you don't count the Pirate Captain. Yeah, Pirate Captain is something else entirely. I guess he is technically... A skeleton. Uh, but he's a little bit different. Yeah, he's a skeleton. We, we, we gotta count him as a skeleton. But he is a boss, so that's different at the same time, though. Uh, there just aren't very many. And uh, it is cool, though, to find them. Especially the ones in the Ziggurat, because they're not strong per se, but they they can still kill you. Alright. Um, let's do the whole... Hmm, I have 20 bitter spice teas. What the heck? Decay damage and fire damage. Another thing is, if you notice, I'm not buffing up that much than I, like, at, compared to what I usually would on, like, a melee build. That could affect it, too. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Okay. That thing I hate. I hate that ball of decay. Alright, now I can switch bows. Oh. Darn. There we go. I mean, no damage. Didn't even hit me. I think the best play is the obsidian bow, get the hex on, then switch to the lightning damage. Skeleton NPC, you have to find his body parts and chairs and knees. I can't remember his name. It's, uh... It starts... It's Myrid. Myrid the, the skeleton. Yeah. It destroys these little illuminators, though. There is 0% chance that that just hit me. Interesting. I mean, I will take more potions. You guys are not threatening me by giving me more potions. Ah, uh, lock it. And that's basically all it's here. My rim, something like that. He's the weirdest quest line ever. Yeah. The sad thing is, he can, you can crush his skull. And unless you're taking Holy Mission, it's like so much faster to just crush his skull. It's really sad. Where's the Foundry go to? Oh, Ancient Foundry. Golems. Will it do well against Golems? We'll have to see. Sheer amount of bone piles and outward, I don't know. Then you gotta think of the souls are in the skeletons half the time, too. Yeah. It's rough out there, man. 
My lantern ran out and while looking for his bones in that cave and I got lost. Oh yeah, that's an easy cave to get lost into. Two shots for a forge golem. I can't complain. All of Caldera bosses have fallen. Immaculate, a bird died in 30 seconds. Elite Buzu was easy if longer. Damage output, Elite Buzu was easy. Oh, it was insane, and 7 protection makes it less stress. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the Elite Buzu is an interesting boss. I have to say that. Caldera bosses are very fun, though. Well, here we go. Yeah, I assumed that wouldn't work. <laughs> I, I had a small amount of hope. I just find it bogus that he can aggro onto you like before you even get in there. Because he can hit you pretty easily. Okay, okay, he didn't see me. Oh, my word, the range. Oh, shoot, this is a corner. That is a corner. We do have this option. And that should be it. Right? Okay, yeah, he is fired now. Look at that. Look how cool he looks. This has to be the coolest unique enemy they added. It's awesome. Oh, I don't have a hex on him. Whoops, my bad. Alright, calm down, little doggy boy. I'm doing something right now. Alright. Machine video idea. You did a boss list for all bosses in Cherisonese a year ago-ish. I don't know if you've experienced expanded on that. It's hard finding a list of where to go and required items per region. Yes, and I have planned to do that. Uh, just never end up getting to it, honestly. I need to finish that list, though. Thank you for pointing that out. Why am I adding things? But yes, I do need to finish that. Holy. Holy cow. Ah, my word. It's so easy to die to this guy. Alright. He's weak to fire? That's interesting. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of cheese, but I'm fine with it. Blade Dancer mini boss is probably the scariest. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> He's terrifying. He's actually challenging. He can kill you very, very quickly because of the high knockback. I mean, everything. Plus, he has this, you know, beast golem here. And the beast golems are a pain in the butt. This one's not even broken, I don't think. No, this one is broken. There we go. Fast chains his attacks and he smacks you down fast. Yeah. Spark bombs. These are the ones, guys. These are the ones. Lightning damage. Blade sword, too. Can't carry it, so. Oh, what are you doing? I am loving the fact that I'm getting a lot of palladium. 
I don't really need palladium. <laughs> but I like that I'm getting a lot of it. Is there a chest up here? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more formidable enemies. Uh, the first time I fought him, he was easy. The, the build that I had it was dumb. The second time I fought him, I died. I actually died. Now, that wasn't on stream. That was me messing around. I actually died to him. It was rough. I think I did die to him on stream, too, actually. At one point. I gotta say, even if the damage, if, even if, let's say it does, let's say the damage eventually slows down, it's still the survivability of it and the fact that you're so at range, you're fine. Like, it doesn't matter. Alright, we need to actually pop the blessed boom. See, that right there with any melee character would have been a challenge. Somewhat. But nope. Whoever told me to do a bow build, I 100% think that you are a very intelligent person. <laughs> Bows excel at keeping at range. Yeah, they really just do... They do a good job. They're just good. You can make a poor bow build and still be at an advantage for certain situations, I think. Oh, you want some of this? Huh? And the fact that they have the extra 10 cooldown is really what is making this build, I think. Because without cooldown, these skills would not come back fast enough. They really wouldn't. How much wood did I grab? I grabbed quite a bit of wood, thankfully. When you're in Caldera, it may be worth it to go make elemental arrows instead of the standard ones. I'm thinking that I just need to rush the elemental arrows. I, I can agree with you. What's the most fun build you ever tried? Um... Hex. Hex builds. I did a... I would say two. So, any, any build with gauntlets are a blast. They're just so much fun. Uh, just because of the way gauntlets work... And their attack patterns and combinations are just really, really fun. Now, the build that I had the most fun with was literally just hexes. I went full hex, only used hex. I went philosopher for mana regen. And, uh, Cabal Hermit to buff the damage. It's just fun. It was so much fun hitting all of those hexes and then blasting the damage in one explosion. Uh, but most... I mean, that's not to say any build that I've ever had is less fun. I have fun with every build I make. But that one in particular was just hilarious. I think that was after... That was right after Caldera... The Three Brothers came out. I think. And I did that. And I was like, this is ridiculously fun. Oh, yeah? There you are. Thank you, sir. But yeah, I believe that was Cabal Hermit Philosopher Hex Mage. I never explored it, but I noticed there's some arrows that do 5 poison and other 10. Yeah, I haven't looked at them either. I will definitely do an in-depth video on the arrows once I have that built. But yeah, I do need to build the buildings first. I will 100% make a video on that specifically because I don't think anyone knows. Because half the people that play this game don't make it to that point. You know? So. Yeah, 
Definitely something that's needed. There's a... Well, we really need some in-depth guides on everything Caldera was. In my opinion. There's so much over there, and, uh... There's, like, no guides on it. <laughs> there's, like, none. Um, let's see. There's no key in here. Yes, there is. There is the warehouse key. Okay. Uh, check the body. Galvanic axe. Redemption. Okay. I'm still mad I got tainted at the last second by one attack. Foundry assembly line key is required. Yeah, that's after I go through there, isn't it? Because that opened up this door over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I also need to make a uh, guide on this right here. Someone asked me to do that. Oh, shoot. I'm out of arrows. Okay. I find it interesting they make it harder for you to shoot while moving. That seems so realistic, yet also is very frustrating. When you're just trying to play the game and you're like, dude, can't aim. People disliked Caldera so much when it first came out simply because it's hot and hard. I think it's really fun. Yeah, again, I've talked about Caldera many a time. I think it wasn't done properly. And I don't think that it's perfect. I think there's plenty of things that are wrong with it, but it's fun. There's plenty to do. There's a lot of new enemies and stuff. So. I think the idea that Caldera legendary weapons having drawbacks was a cool concept. Should have been made in the base game too. Now, I would argue I don't like that actually. I actually hate weapons like that and I hate abilities. Caldera good, did a good job with it though. And I don't think it should have been in the base game. But I think it worked for Caldera because at that point they'd pretty much done everything. Uh, weapon wise. So they needed a unique twist on it. And I think that making some weapons have immense drawbacks. I mean, the unique weapons over there have immense drawbacks. They're ridiculous. Uh, but their power up, like the Scepter of the Cruel Priest, is probably the best weapon in the game, damage wise, but makes you get one shotted by lightning. And I, I think it worked for Caldera. I really do. There you go again, Rock Mantis. This is the only thing in the game that hits me. It's hilarious. Look through my eyes, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I think it really did work for Caldera. You're, you're right there. Just got Outward last summer sale, and I play co-op exclusively with my friend, and we owned so much the first couple hours, but your vids helped us and are a blast to watch. Well, thank you. Awesome, noobs. Yeah, no, it's funny. I, I originally started the Outward videos because I was like, no one is doing Outward videos. Nobody. You know, there was one person at the time making them every once in a while, not regularly. Churchy had made a bunch, but then he quit making them, you know. It's like, dude, this would be such a good opportunity. And also, I absolutely love the game. Actually, it was, uh, you know what happened? It was when Outriders came out. Outriders came out. And me and my brother played the beta. He actually came over to my apartment when I was living by myself. And he... He downloaded it on my laptop and I had my PC. And we played Outriders demo. The demo for that game was phenomenal. We played that for hours. Uh, and we're pumped. And so when the game came out, we were, we were like so excited. And the game was terrible. I don't know if you've played Outriders... But the story is trash. Uh, spoiler. They killed off my favorite character. So, so the whole game was just bad. The gameplay, the difficulty spike was insane. There was only one class. The Devastator was pointless to play. Uh, so that game was trash. So then I'm like, well, now what? We've been waiting for this game. And then I got right back into Outward. And that's when I started making videos. I was like, this is awesome. Because I got back into it and I go, the game is just fun. Just like Outriders bad. He plays New World now. See, I didn't like New World because they have this thing where they force you to 
play certain things of the game with a number of people. If I had a bunch of people to play, like now, because I stream and stuff, I would have people in the Discord to play with. Um, but then it was just me and my brother playing New World, so we didn't really get into it because we got to a point where we couldn't move on without help. Because you have to have three people, and we're like, eh, I'm just done. Uh, but the gameplay is really fun. I like that. But yeah, Outriders is trash, for sure. They they messed... It, it might be better now. I don't want to say it's completely terrible now, but it... They screwed the whole thing up in the beginning. That is for sure. Alright. I'm gonna take a hit to the face there. Alright, need to run by my backpack here. Ah, I'm clicking it too late. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. See you, I see you. Oh my word, look at that damage. Look at that damage. That's nuts. My friend... Oh, we played New World. To be fair, Outward was pretty awful when it first came out. Well, I don't want to say it was pretty awful. I thought it was a blast. Uh, but it had so many, like, bugs and issues. Kind of the same thing that happened when the Three Brothers came out. Or, uh, Definitive Edition came out. There's so many things wrong with the game that it was unplayable. Um, and yeah, there were a lot of things that needed fixed when the game came out. So you're not wrong, though. Uh, I still had a lot of fun when it came out. I played on Xbox 360 when it first came out. That was really fun. Uh, but yeah, no, Outward is just... The co-op experience of Outward is something unique. Because it truly is a adventure. You and your buddy scrounging around for abilities, killing enemies, fighting monsters. It doesn't really get much better than that. And honestly, it's a very D&D-like experience. If you don't like D&D, you never got into D&D, you, know, you don't know what I'm talking about. But... The idea of D&D is very cool. And it's a very... Similar experience, I think. Hey, potion. Nice. But yeah. Only bad part of Caldera was the randomization of the samples. Took forever to get a Voltaic Vines for the Enchantment Guild. Cleared all dungeons like six times. Got old. Yeah, I gotta say the randomization. So there's that's not the only thing that was randomized, too. The samples were randomized. And there's a quest, mini quest, boss puzzle thing to fight Ancient Dwellers. And that's randomized. So they show up. You have to kill three of them. To get to the the big boss. And their spawns are random throughout the world. So it's just kind of like... Bro, the amount of randomization with that DLC was a bit much. Samples I would have been fine with if they kept them at the samples. But adding it to a enemy type spawn, just it just felt over the top for me. Um, and I wish they had more samples in the game, considering how hard it actually is to get some of those items. Now, they did fix that when they added this whole, uh, trade three samples in for whatever material you want. Which I haven't tested out. Liger said it was pretty good, though, when he did it. So... I think the only problem I have with the game now is that a lot of the bugs that should have been fixed two years ago are still in the game. Uh, you have grass flying in certain situations. You have blocking. When you block, it doesn't work. Sometimes they'll have a weird lock-on situation. And there's like three or four bugs. They're real small stuff, but it's like this stuff should have been fixed pronto, you know? Funny, when people were talking about Haboob and the other unused locations, I kind of had a thought that Outward's game world was kind of like an unfinished D&D adventure module. Model. Yeah. It it has that uh, the feel to it. I have to agree. If it was that big, it would be a perfect D&D experience. If it was that big. The full map that we were given for Outward... That would be... That would be insane. Can you imagine? Wish Nine Dots would make a third DLC. 
I was hoping DE would bring Haboob in the other city that you see in the world map. Outward has received its last major update. Yeah, and that's a, that's a big complaint I have with their company, not with their game. They definitely... Geom is the, the CEO. And I've talked to him a couple times. He's in the Discord regular... Or at least he was. I don't know if he is right now. Um, basically, his he got on one day and he was like, we just want to work on other stuff. You know, there's not enough time in our lives to make an, as many games as we want to make. Greetings, so they want to move on. Uh, which is disappointing because there's so much potential. And it feels like they're giving up on a successful project. But at the same time, they are human, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't want to work on one project for my entire life. Uh, so it's this weird back and forth. I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, they, the game has so much potential to be more than it already is. Feels like a bummer to quit now. Four other unused locations. Yeah, and imagine... So, Sora Boreans is one location. Everything we got from that. And then Three Brothers is one location. Everything we got from that. Imagine three to four more locations being added. You could get just... Some nutty stuff going on in this game, for real. 20 plus skill trees, bro. Like, can you imagine the combinations of skill trees you would have with 20 plus skill trees? It would be insane. 24 health potions, guys. You think I bought enough? I don't know. Foundry assembly line key. I need that, I think. Uh, McCult remains. A lot of junk, honestly. I did end up with one dark stone. That is not useful to me in any way. And I really want to use those bombs, but I got to save them till later, so I have a whole bunch of them to use. So I feel like that's going to be cool. Okay, um, will they have arrows yet? I don't think they would have restocked by now. I wonder how successful Outward has been over ever since its launch, because I have honestly no idea how well they did. Well, I can tell you what my opinion is and what I know. The Definitive Edition was a massive <laughs> failure. Uh, in terms of money. They lost tons of money on Definitive Edition. Which is why, in my opinion, it shouldn't have been free. They should have made it bigger and made it an actual DLC and then charged people for it. But they didn't do that, obviously. And they lost a ton of money. Um, you something? can go check the Discord and stuff. They talked about it multiple times. They, It was a massive failure. Originally, when the game came out, I think it was a big hit. And I think when Soraborians came out, it was a big hit as well. I think both of those times, they made a ton of money. Um, Caldera? Three Brothers DLC? I'm not really sure. Can I help you? I have absolutely no idea what Three Brothers made. Like, did it make money? Did it not? I have no idea. I feel like it did. Because a year ago, the game got pretty big. Like, some videos on YouTube have a lot of views a year ago. Want to buy I don't. Something? I think Three Brothers was less. Uh, Three Brothers was when a lot of people got into it, and then they were like, "Dude, Three Brothers sucks. I can't even play it." I think it's how they generally felt. But yeah, they they definitely lost a lot of money with DE, and I feel bad because it's like it's my favorite game, and Definitive Edition was actually, you know, they added a lot of good things, a lot of fun things. But when you don't patch console weeks, multiple weeks after launch, I mean, you're going to lose money. Anybody who played the game on console and had never played the game before the first week immediately told all their friends to not play the game. Like if you want to view it like that, you know. Because it didn't work. It actually didn't work on PC for a week. Outward has the legit most potential of a game I've ever seen. Imagine all the different storylines, the lore, everything. More regions would bring. Talking bringing nine dots to AAA. I agree. 
it would be a massive experience. Okay, what we're going to do is go do the clock tower run, and then I'll have to hop off. Just a heads up. Um, but I want to do the clock tower run first. And I want to make sure I have... Yeah, I have the mana for that. And arrows. Okay. Um, when you check the achievements, you notice that Soraborian's DLC average achievements are like 4%. Three Brothers being like 2 Yeah, nobody did half of the achievements from Three Brothers. And... Think of it like this. I'm a... I mean, I make videos for Outward. I've made tons. Over hundreds. I have not beaten Caldera. So I don't have most of the achievements from Caldera. An average player... <laughs> there's no way that they're going to have all those achievements, you know? So yeah, Three Brothers definitely hit... You know, hit hard. Seasoned and veteran player... At this point, yeah, when I first started making videos, I wasn't. I, I think at this point, with this many live streams and stuff, I've... I think I generally have a decent knowledge of the game. I'm new and on console. I've been telling everyone to get this amazing game another chance. It's my absolute new favorite game. Paperboy coming in strong. I love it. I'm glad. I'm glad. You, you should be telling everybody. It's a great game. If you've never tried it, you 100% should at least give it a try. Uh, especially now that console is all patched and everything. Now's the time to get people back into it. For sure. I feel like I have enough arrows, guys. I feel like I have enough. I might not. But we're gonna take that chance. And we're gonna... We're gonna do this thing. Now... Uh... Can I apply the Scorch text? It's not gonna do anything. So I need a lightning buff, right? Yeah. Okay, there's the dog golem. Now this guy is actually a pain because... Oh my word. What? What? I demolished him. There's never enough arrows? I 100% agree. <laughs> yeah, there really is. Yeah, console players did have it rough. At this point, I think it's safe to say anybody should try it on console. But like a week ago? Two weeks ago? Bro. Look at this. I'm just making fun of them. I'm embarrassing them. What? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Actually, you know what? I can't end yet because this hasn't been... Yeah. We'll probably... We'll, he'll probably play a little bit more. Okay, where is this guy at? I can't see a thing. Oh, I didn't knock him down. Darn it. I knew it. They always insta-attack. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this area now. I was a little worried. I think we're good now, though. Originally bought it on console until I discovered that people were making mods for it. Oh, yeah, the mods are game-changing. I gotta try some of these, honestly. Is this gonna hit me? Yep, yep. I uh, I played that wrong. That's a that's a bad play. I did it again. What is happening? <laughs> I'm standing in the attack. Okay, I gotta get in close. I think. Why is he constantly doing that? See, that's the one he usually does. He doesn't usually spam that that much, though. Alright, do the fire attack. Okay. The bow... is... working? It's, like, kind of working? What the heck? No! That's not what I wanted! I can't fight that guy, too. There we go. I got him, I got him. I just need time. I think he's stuck, guys. Do we think he's stuck? Because he's not trying to kill me. 
Okay. We're gonna say yes, he was stuck. Dude, nothing? Are you kidding me? Um... This dude's going down, though. That's all I have to say about this. Okay, we get this around the corner. This is gonna hit me. This is so weird as a bow build to fight this guy. I feel like I don't have an opening. You know what I mean? I think I gotta stay in close. So he won't do that stupid attack. He's still doing it, though. Do the fire, bro. It'd help if my thing would actually work. There we go. Okay. I wasn't taking that much damage, but I felt like I couldn't attack him. Wow. Howard is such a good game. It can be as in-depth as you want. And it can be as less depth as you want. I agree. Quartz! Yes! That's luck right there, guys. That's luck. Understanding the mechanics is the only issue. Just need someone to explain uh, protection and resistance. I think that's actually a good explanation of that word. Protection and resistance, like the actual stats are not well explained. Because, you know, that word doesn't explain it. And they're like the most important thing in the game. <laughs> like, you gotta understand how they work. Resistance is percentage and protection is flat amount. Yeah. Yeah, but see, to us, that makes sense. But it's like... Initially, you have no idea what protection really does. Would you ever do a modded uh, series? Maybe you could stream it, but also segment the streams into bite-sized episodes to upload for that. Double content? Mm. I have thought about doing mods. Throwing them on and just kind of checking them out. Uh, I want to do the one that Probonia... I don't know if you guys even know who that is. He's in my Discord. He made a mod... A big mod, like huge balance changes, and uh, it seems some pretty cool stuff on it. I want to try that one. I definitely would try Combat HUD too. No, it seems one. Death by thousands of tiny needles. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean, tiny needles? Are you talking about his lightning blast? Um, where's the ethereal one at, guys? The mana lake? Let's go do the mana lake. Uh, I know he'll give me three ethereal particles, so we need to do that. No, the arrows versus golems. Oh, I see. Yeah. Since they don't do a ton of damage. They're pretty nice damage, though. I've been, been kind of happy with what I've been seeing. I gotta say, it's, it's it's really fun playing the book. wonder if the devs left enough tools to make entire regions and such and folders for modders. I don't know. Uh... I've seen some people mention that Outward seems like a game that modders will one day pick up and just kind of explode. Now, I don't know if that'll happen. But, uh, it's possible. I don't know if they'll be able to create entire regions, but... Yeah, I just knew that was coming, you know that? Yeah, you. Oh, I, uh, I pre-dodged. I hate this guy. Yeah, you, stupid. Get out of my face. Oh, I have another thing. I can make a... Uh... Oh, do I have two of them? I should. No palladium, though. I need to decraft that. It's a lot of work for a weapon I'm never going to use. And crystal powder. Why do I always do that? I always put the recipe in instead of looking at the thing I already have. Combat Head is best mod for Outward. Only one I probably don't want to be without. Yeah, see, I've seen people say a lot of things like that. Like, it's an awesome uh, mod, so I need to try it. I really do. I think I've played Outward enough at this point without mods. I could probably do it. Probably. 
How easy are they to turn on and off, though? Because, like, I don't want them in videos, but I'd like to end the stream. You know what I mean? I wonder if I could, like, shut it off. Um. And then turn it back on the same day. Really easily without having to go through a bunch of stuff. I'm assuming it's that it's easy enough, but... Again, zero experience with mods, so... <laughs> this could sound really stupid. You can launch without them in Thunderstore? Oh, okay. Well, that solves my answer, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll eventually do a... A modded... Probably live stream is what we'll do. Probably a... Modded live stream. Can't turn them on and off while in-game. Okay, yeah, no, I didn't want to do it while in-game. I get you. It makes sense as easy. Might be really difficult considering the game was built on an older version of Unity. Be very ambitious to make an entire region from what's ordered here. Yeah, see, I feel the same way. I don't know if there's really is enough to uh, do that. How did all my water skins end up in my pocket? And all of my arrows ended up... What? What? How did these things happen? But yeah. No, definitely want to try. And even some of those some of those mods I don't even want to do live stream. I just want to make a video on them. Like, here's some cool stuff you can do with blah blah blah. It's a nice mod. You know. Show some uh show off some of the work that the hour community actually does. I feel like that doesn't get praised enough. Or even shown off really. Nobody sees it for the most part. Unless they specifically play. Um, let's see. We don't need to fight Buzu. Oh, dang it, I'm corrupted. That's not good. Jeez, there's a lot of corruption in this area. Back when Sorborians came out and I didn't actually know what corruption did, I was terrified of it. Me and my brother refused to go anywhere with corruption. We saw it, we're like, nope, turn around. Turn around. No reason to even be here. It's kind of funny. Dude, I did it again. I pushed the button and it didn't activate. Darn. Oh, shoot. Watch this. Uh, okay. See, that's how I timed it correctly. Darn it, I thought I saw the... Yep, okay. These things are freaking annoying. I'm not kidding. I think they're the only thing today that I've been getting damaged by. Um, let's see. I need to move back to the... I mean, fire would actually be pretty good for this elemental. If I can find him. Yeah. For modding to even work in the first place, a third-party modding tool had to be used. Hmm, I see. All right, where are you, you stupid elemental? Could be anywhere. It's safe to say that I don't see him here. So he's probably on the other side of the light post. Where are you? This one's so hard to find because he's masked by the stupid lake. I wonder what... Your game plan for fighting the MK Titan, or whatever it's called. Yeah, the MK Golem. Yeah. Uh, I, ri I don't really have a plan right now. We're gonna have to come up with one on the fly. There you are, you son of a gun. Come here. You want a piece of me? I have become the sniper.
I kill you, not the other way around. One more to make sure I have the hex on. He's gonna hit me? Yep, thought so. I don't know why they've been spamming that attack. They usually don't do that attack. It's like every other. Um, two elemental ether particles. Nice. Uh, we can do the truck cable. I'm down here. Because I... I'm already down here. I don't know. Like, my resistance doesn't feel that high on this build. But it feels like I'm not taking a ton of damage. I don't have barrier. I do have a decent ethereal... Oh, that's what it is. It's the white arcane hood. It has nice resistances. Yeah, so I mean, I have a decently well-rounded resistance build. Fire is could kill me fast, though. Fire could kill me fast. Where am I going? The wrong way. Okay. Here's the plan. Get someone to do it for you. Get them into your game, send them in solo, and root for them. You know what's funny about that, uh, Archangel? That's actually how I beat the MK Gall the first time. So the first time, me and my brother went in with full Hex Mage. What do I mean by that? I mean, we couldn't do any damage unless it was with Hexes. So, obviously, the bosses can be difficult. The Corruption boss was easy because you could Hex him easily. The Rust Lich was impossible. We had to completely go get new weapons because you can't hex him properly. It's a terrible fight for full hex. The MK Golem, we couldn't beat either. You can hex that guy, but we had... We just died too fast. So what we did was, since we were playing in co-op, uh, couch co-op, we just spawned in like five different characters. I had... Uh, he was single player or first player. And I was second, so I would jump in, and then I'd leave after my character died, and then I'd hop in with a new character. And we did that like five different characters. And that's how I beat the MK for the first time. Absolutely hysterical. We're like, this is so dumb. We're, <laughs> we didn't even beat him. What you gotta do, what you gotta do, you know? Sometimes, uh... Sometimes when the world's against you, you just fake it. Did I beat DMK that day? Technically, yes. Technically, yes. What's up, Sean? Thanks for the donation. How's it going, Sean? Nice sticker. Cool. Oh, what do I got? How many arrows? 50? Those dudes will literally throw grenades across the map. It's nuts. Doing good? Nice. Glad you're doing all right, man. Now that's cheesing at its finest. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool cheeses you can do in couch co-op that you can't do in, like... Technically, you can do it in online co-op, but it's not the same. Because couch co-op, you know, you're both sitting there, you're like, dude, what are we doing? What are we doing? It was pretty hilarious, I have to admit. We were cracking up the whole time. I'm like, bro, don't go in there. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Let me do this. And I did it. After like six characters. Oh my word, it was intense. Because you know not all those characters had the right potions and buffs. What am I grabbing a mushroom for? I'm trying to open a chest. Need to be making more astral potions as well, so I'm gonna grab that. Oh, you want some? One shot. Hello, Felicia. Or is it Folo Folota? I don't know. Hello, Trog Merchant. You know what's ironic? There was a lantern sitting here. And the trog is right here, but has the worst version of the lantern. Just teasing the trog. That's so rude. Also, who locked the trog up? The trogs? 
Can Trogs lock each other up? And why? Very odd. They locked her up for trading with the humans. Why didn't they just kill her? I don't know. It's very confusing. Does not make a lot of sense to me. Okay, so we did the ethereal guy. Um, I can probably just head into this dungeon here and start clearing it out. I don't know if I can make it back to town and do another elemental. She was bad, put in the corner. But she's so nice. She's nice to us. I think it's pronounced Foliota. Foliota. That's what it is. I knew that. Everyone. I think you're right. I think you're right, Caustic. Foliota. Wouldn't it be funny if I'm like, you're right, and I'm saying it wrong? <laughs> I think it is Foliota, though. Sometimes I try and tell people, they'll be like, oh, what's the Trog Merchant? I'll be like, well, her name is, uh, just the, she's the Trog Merchant. Because I'll be, I, they're never going to know if I say it wrong. Look how thick the mana clouds are. Mana smoke. This is a beautiful part of the game, I have to admit. Could be thinking of it wrong, too. Alright, good. We're both, you know, together, Caustic, we're just going to be completely wrong about the Trog Merchant. Together. That's fine. You know? It is what it is. If you're going to be wrong, be confident about it. So, we're just going to be confident in the fact we're wrong. But that ley line water tastes like cotton candy. You know what? I almost guarantee you it does. That sounds spot on. Watch this, guys. You ready? Boom. All I need is water, and I'm good. I have to say, Ash Armor, man. Ash Armor is nice. Uh, we need to pull a lever, which means sniping this trog. Oh my word. Think they can hit me from over there? I think they can. This is doing a lot of damage to them too. I'm going to play the, the the peak. I'm just going to peak. Okay, okay. See, what we do is we hold down the bow, lock on, boom. Done. Easy. Oh! Alright, alright. We do it again. Ha! <laughs> This is interesting. Oh, I almost got hit there. No! Oh, look at that. He's trying to get me. You see this guy? He's trying really hard to kill me. What in the world? Oh, fire particle. Nice. Absolute trash either way. <laughs> what if all these guys are just sucking down mana water and it tastes awful? I did not bring enough arrows, did I? Yeah, I did not bring enough arrows. 100%. It is the right way to pronounce that name? Nice. We got it. I like it. Yum, yum. Okay, this guy comes around the corner. I blast him with this. Nope. Dodge that. Okay. Ah, you stupid golem. That didn't set me on fire, though. That's nice. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Hello. Oh, shoot. I can't see a thing. Why are they all... Where are they coming from? Ah, 
I guess they came from, uh... Oh, shoot. Sir, I don't want to fight you right now. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. That one's gonna hurt if that hits. Alright. We have a problem. And that problem is there's like 40 guys that are trying to kill me. We're gonna pull out the old spear, guys. And uh, we're gonna go at it. Oh, of course. Okay. Uh, they drop a lot of fire stones. Or fire stones. The jukes, yeah. Hmm. These guys both have full health. Yeah. Drop backpack for this. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, shoot. I'm standing right in front of it. Why is he just constantly doing that? Alright, here's where it gets good. Getting close. Boom. Spear has an amazing combination of attack moves. I have to say that. It's absolutely fantastic. Another quartz. I have never had this much luck with quartz in my entire life. The problem is I don't have any health. It refers to a genus of mushrooms. Oh, really? Boliota does? That's interesting. This guy have iron. One piece. Fantastic. Um, I would have loved to have had more arrows for this, but make do with what you got, I guess. Well, that is all terrible, terrible loot. Geronimo! Okay. If I have a lightning rag, I don't. So, that's awesome. I'm going to use a poison rag, even though it's going to do almost nothing to shrogs. Find my ability to delude myself is amazing. Dodge! Oh, jeez. That's like five people. Okay. It's only two, but you know. Look at the run attack. Oh, shoot. Excellent. Nope, got hit. Dang it, I timed that wrong. These guys' stupid charge attacks, I gotta say, really being annoying right now. Alright, let's do this. You guys wanted to fight. I didn't want to fight you. Okay, you brought this upon yourself. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I might die. This is a slight oversight. Nope, I'm fine. You thought the old Sheenster was gonna die, didn't you? Not today. Not today! I came close. <laughs> I came close. Oh, shoot! Ah! <laughs> That's not good. Ah, I grabbed this. Oh, I got poisoned. There's absolutely no way that hit me. What? Lucky World League holds up late game so well. Yeah, World League is amazing. Oh, shoot. Come on. Get around these corners. Oh, no. Stupid elemental. All right, that's it's gonna do something. 
Okay, as long as we got the elemental out of the way, we're fine. Whirlig is the bomb. Okay, we have another Trog to deal with, but I want to take another health potion real quick. Sheen, have you done a video on the particle farming quest? I think it would be very helpful to players wanting to get some guaranteed particles. I actually haven't. Uh, the only reason I haven't done that is because Comforts made a good guide on that, and someone else recently did. I will make one, though. Uh, just because someone else made a guide doesn't mean I can't, but that's just the reason I haven't yet. Wolf Spear? Is that Light Helm? What? And I actually... I can't remember who it was. I think it was uh, Corinthian Daniels. He... walked me through every step of where they show up and stuff, so I actually know pretty... I know pretty well where they spawn in. So I should be able to make a decent video on that. Red Trog's Halberd build-up. Oh, did it? I was wondering what happened. Two hits, because they are weak to lighting. And Train Kie. That music gets intense. You gotta be, you be like, what's going on? It's not even max damage, guys. Not even max damage. Ooh, uh, since we're playing with Spear right now, Bought a little bit of Simeon's Gambit for you. Show it off. Whew. Oh. There you go. That's what it does. It's pretty good. I mean, it still hits if you don't block an attack, but it does more damage. I'm on the Trog Queen? What? Alright, now we just get in close and personal. Want some? Hit me. Oh. Let's do this. 1v1, bro. 1v1. Huh? Huh? You ain't got what it takes, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, dude. I'm a better species than you. I'm built different. 45% per hit? Oh, wow. Yeah, that'd be why. That would be why. Uh, what do I need to do here? I think I already did it, right? Hey, that lightning rag would have come in handy, you know, like 10 minutes ago when I fought all the trogs. I'm not salty about it or anything, though. Look how big these golems are. I'm telling you right now. You fight this golem, you're dead. I'm telling you right now. You fight this golem, you're dead. That is a huge golem. Feel if the old agent spear wasn't 0.9 attack speed to be the strongest spear in the game with war memento. Longest reach. Yes, uh, with wind and fuse, I think you could make an argu or argument that it is. Uh, but you're right. The slow attack speed really balances it and balances it hard. That length is crazy, though. I watched the... I don't remember who it was that made the... Uh, the build on a bow build when Caldera came out. Uh, but there's a YouTube video. They made a Damos scene, I think it is, or Masterpiece bow and the old legion spear and the i mean the range on it's nuts a range on it's nuts i mean you could really go with anything as backup for bow but i feel like spear is the best combination they they make sense they both have the most range of their respective classes Um, I need to be immune to cold. And... That's it. What does this do? Increase movement speed? Cool. Oh, shoot. 
I just got rid of my ethereal varnish. Darn it. No. Alright, alright, alright. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you take out a sword golem. Easy peasy. He dropped literally everything he can drop. <laughs> That's hilarious. Or Halbert. Yeah, Halbert's always a good option, too. But, I mean, the spears do have longer range. Moonswipe is the best. I think it's the best action skill. There's an argument for that, at least. Yes, do that. Dodge! Okay. That's not what I thought he was going to do. That's what I thought he was going to do. Dodge! Ah! Reading this guy's attacks, man. Dodge! Thank you. Nearly flawless. Not quite flawless, but I'll take it. Alright, if anyone's wondering, the bow build is still here. Another purifying quartz! Oh my word! I've done this multiple times where I don't get any purifying quartz from these guys, and I got it from both of them. Uh, this is still the bow build. I just don't have any arrows. And there is no wood. Alright, don't hate me for not playing with the bow. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we have anything to help against the cold? This will. There we go. Only weapon I've noticed where .9 speed isn't too bad is with Knuckles. Yeah. Most enemies have a standard attack speed of 1 or 1.1. So it's all about block and dodge. Your Knuckles can get away with it. Uh, even then... If you watch any of Comforts of the Burrows gameplay, he will tell you that if it's not 1.1 speed, it's not worth using. He actually uses uh, Legacy Chested Fang Knuckles because they are the fastest knuckles, I think. All of my knowledge of Knuckles comes from him because I, I play... I love Knuckles, but I'm not very good at setting up a decent build for them yet. Even though they're so awesome. Wow, that did nothing. Okay. I don't know. So I originally started out with pure bow build. But I'm thinking that bow plus spear for this is actually an S tier build. We need to test against some bosses to be sure. But it's looking like it's very, very good. I mean, nothing can really touch me if I play correctly. It's so fast. He didn't even get to attack me one time before he was already dead. What's up, Nito? The Grave Lord. Epic name. Alright, here's the challenging part. Uh. You know what? I have a plan for this, too. And it's called uh, Use My Wind Sigil. Hey, I'm tired. I have mana regen. Finally. I've been waiting literally all day. The ton amount of lightning damage this thing does is re actually ridiculous. Knuckle build with speedster and warrior monk is basically one you would do. That's what I, I assume... Uh, I just never found the right combination of 
gauntlets to go with what I like to play, you know? Have mana regen, baby! I can spam this all day. Well, not until my sigil goes away. <laughs> Iron? Um... Come on, give me an ice particle. No ice particles? What? I always get ice particles from them. Good thing I got one from the golem boss. There we go. Savage Fang Knuckles with favorable wind enchant is 1.2 attack speed, 26 damage, 5 ethereal. With bleed debuff. Yeah, see, those are insane. Oh, that's what he used. That and the porcelain fists. Because the porcelain is like the number one. The porcelain gauntlets are the number one uh, gauntlets, really. Can't go to the warehouse. No, I can't go to the warehouse. Can't go to the manufacturing facility. No, I had that wrong. I can't go there, though, because I don't have corruption resistance. I can, however, go here. Throw a spell blade onto it or something else. Uh, actually, here's the funny thing, Caustic. I did a gauntlet build with Virgin Knuckles enchanted with Wendigo's Breath. And then I did Virgin Armor enchanted with uh, upgraded frost damage. That actually used Spellblade very well. And it was very, very fun. Again, Spellblade eats durability so fast that it was a pain in the butt. But at the same time... That worked extremely well. Um, let's switch out. Get a little bit of variety in our gameplay. Okay, we have we have mana region. We can use a little bit of jinx here. Yes, warehouse is the one you can't reach the train until you get the key. All right, all right. That cooldown coming in handy with the. Alright, one more Torment, and uh, he should die. That's what I thought. I'm gonna eat some attacks here while I damage this guy. Okay, I didn't even eat attacks, nice. Sit down! All right. That another purifying quartz? Guys, what's going on? I have literally never gotten this many purifying quartz. I currently have four in my inventory from walking outside her mountain. That's nuts. Where's my pearl bird pet? Is he gone? Do I need to summon him again? That's what I'm going through now. I have the repair brand a lot, and it has high durability. Spellblade just eats it up. Couldn't imagine with Knuckles. Yeah, well, I did that with Dreamers before. Dreamers has high durability, and it eats through Dreamers fast. Uh, it's not even Dreamers. It's Dreamer Halberd. It eats through Dreamer Halberd fast. I literally don't think it's very usable as a main attack skill unless you use an iron weapon enchanted with un uh what is it? Un unexpected strength, that's what it is. Bruh. What are you doing? Get a little bit of damage in there. I'm going to be honest, that, not what was planned. We'll make it work, though. Alright, two attacks and speed. Ooh, I like that attack. What was that? That's so fast. Spears have very, very fast combo attacks. 
surprisingly fast, actually. Lady Luck is smiling upon you today. I guess so. Just live the dream. Have you been here for the entire stream today? I know you said you were going to at the beginning. Epic. Even if you haven't. Man. Been here a long. I appreciate everybody who came out today. Um, let's turn these into... Uh, call them right here. Yes. Dang, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. We'll just drop these. I don't see how that's any... I don't know why I have that. Really. Uh, I don't need that either. Epic, man. Been a great stream so far as well. Awesome, Grilled Ribeye. Well, it has to be after that epic donation you gave, man. The other day, man. That was awesome. I appreciate that. Hey, that pizza was good, by the way. Say, uh... New... The new pizza Casey's is uh, making right now. I gotta say I was a fan. I like jalapenos on my pizza, so... It's your 100 don't know over there? Yeah, no. That was, uh... I think everybody who was in the stream will remember that for sure. Alright, here's where we switch things up. Because that is not useful. This, on the other hand, is... What the heck? Does that look like I wanted to do that? No. Uh, spark. Where's spark at? Du -du -du -du. That right there. Now, I'm also going to add Simeon's Gambit, because why not? I usually add this too far away, but I'm going to do it closer, because I think it will benefit me more. Okay. Hey, ugly. Get the heck up here. All right, here's what we do. Boom. Mega damage. Then we back up. Boom. Dead. Easy peasy. All right, now what we do is literally just run away, because that guy will come up here if we run backwards. Figured I paid my bills and expenses, so I give you some Jetta. I appreciate that, girl. That, yeah, no, that was really cool. That was really cool. Wow, he's going to be a pain. I see how it is. Yeah, I don't like how you are uh, not cooperating, buddy. Not cooperating at all. We're going to have to pass. I literally cannot keep just picking things up. Oh, that had nothing. That, that was actually bad loot. That was bad loot. Yeah. The one stream I missed, truth be told. Oh, was it really? Tuesdays? No, Tuesdays was a fun stream. We actually had a lot of people go back and watch the stream afterwards, too. Okay. Mm, can we pop Winston Joel again? I feel like we can. Bro. Oh, shoot. This is not going well. Alright, alright. We need to, uh... Evaluate what's happening right now. It ain't good. It ain't good. That's... That's for sure. Okay. Back up. This would have been an easier fight with the bow. Yep. Alright, there he is. Let's get him up here. I almost killed him, too. Wind Sigil just didn't do it for me. A few quick clots for so many skills. Yeah. There are a few quick slots for so many skills. I, I hear you. Sometimes I read things backwards. 
Alright. Now is where we switch it up, because it didn't work. Torment, where are you at, please? Thank you. We go sneaky, sneaky. Oh, oh, oh. You, my friend, have messed with the wrong guy. Okay, okay, okay. Can I do this? Aha! Suck it! You thought you had me, but guess what? You didn't. That's the closest I come to dying, I think. Like a bow to me. <laughs> no, I ran out of arrows, Noah. I ran out of arrows. Can we just pull the bow out? Here we go. Boom. Oh, you can't see anything because the lantern ran out. There we go. Arrows. How many arrows do I actually have? Because I think I'd rather get the fire on him than anything else. This guy... This guy sucks. This guy's actually a pain in the butt. Since I'm defiled, that's even worse. Oh, boy. Okay. And I... Th I think that's all I can do, right? I just pop all the boons because this guy does damage and everything. How'd I get rid of my tired buff, guys? I'm at 100% sleep. Did I take a potion that did that or something? Okay, you pain in the butt. I see what you're gonna do. You're gonna make me go all the way around. Okay, okay. I'd do the same thing if I were you. Getting hit by that? Let me tell you. It hurts. Dodge! Okay. That should be lit, right? Yes? Oh, wrong ability. And I'm out of mana. Alright, we're fine now. We got the hex on him. And activate this. Watch this. How much damage did I do? Not a ton. Um, but enough. Look at his fast attacks. This guy really is trouble. Oof. And he's gonna die now. Dang it, I got hit. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Woo! I do not like being defiled. Get attacked by a corruption spirit anytime. Ether Particle and Light Particle, those are nice drops as well. Bow build runs out of arrows. Something ain't right with those two things being together, Sheen. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't I don't know how I ran out of arrows. It's it's honestly ridiculous. I blame the game. They did not give me enough arrows. I blame the game. How can I be expected to uh, live up to this standard if I can't be getting arrows? Oh, Energizing Potion, Azuzil. Why'd I take that? And Caustic. You said that too. Why did I take that? I was really enjoying being tired for the first time, and then I took an Energizing Potion and got rid of it. What's wrong with me? It would be scary for a uh, mod for hour. No enemy health bars. Less individual particle effects than when inflicted with debuffs. Imagine you're fighting a scourge beast and you have no idea the HP. Yeah, like hidden H, uh, hidden HUD. 79% defile, guys. That's a lot. Uh, we might not die from it immediately, but if we get hit from anything else, it's going to hurt. 
And I'm talking big time. Okay. Uh. 1 a.m. I'm off the bed. Catch you later, Archangel. Thanks for staying so long. That was awesome. I appreciate it. Means a lot to me. Appreciate it. Not gonna be able to see, guys. Hey, you. Puffin head. This way. It's actually not corruption over here. Okay. Gosh darn it, guys. I did it again. I took off my stupid spark. And I gotta stop attacking twice. It's getting me killed. Okay. Here's where things get real uh, goofy. And I stand right here. Uh, spark? Come here. Thank you. Hey. Um, this is not part of the plan. Watch this. You. This is where I pull a uh, move I would not normally do. And we get the heck out of here. Because we cannot be dying right now. Also, let me take a health potion real quick in case I get defiled. Or I reach 100% defiled. Ooh. Was that an immaculate with tentacles for face? Yeah, that's a uh, pure illuminator. They're freaky, man. They're the bigger scourge enemies. Which I actually fought one a little bit earlier, but he was much easier when I had arrows. Crap. Oh, shoot. This is a terrible place to be. Run. Is this a DLC area? I've never seen those. Yes, this is a Soroborian's DLC area. Um, if you pay the merchant, the Soroborian Caravaner, money to travel, he'll take you to Harmattan. And this is the train dungeon area. Over in that region. Kyrie Mathis. What would you just suggest on a gun? The single best gun you can have for mid, uh, beginning to mid game is the cannon pistol. Uh, we can go living quarters, so I can go back to town. 100 hours, I've never seen it either. Oh, dang. Yeah, you gotta go to the train station in the Antique Plateau. You'll see a lot of stuff like that. There's, uh... How many are there total? Three or four? There's four. In the game. That's spawn, I think. Uh, no, there might be five. Because there's one that spawns random in the outside area. So I think there's five. But yeah. Waiting for them to fix DE on consoles so I can do DLC stuff. Okay, Noah, apparently that is fixed. From what I've been told, that has been released. Uh, that should be an update. Now, the reason I haven't announced is because they haven't released patch notes for it. So I have no idea, but a lot of people have told me it did get patched. They got an update for the game and all that stuff. So it should be working better now. Yeah. What, breakthrough skills? Uh, what did you say here? Suggest for gun? Uh, well, if you go gun, you definitely want mercenary. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. That is the gun skill tree. The best gun skill in the game is blood bullet at the top of that skill tree. Um, I would go that, and I would go probably, honestly, Philosopher and Hex. Now, you don't necessarily need Philosopher, no. But Liger just did a build where he did Mercenary, 
Philosopher and Hex Mage. And it's an excellent build. Uh, makes a lot of enemies easy. It's very fun. So I think you enjoy it. Chimera Pistol is the best pistol. Only because it inflicts elemental vulnerability. So you definitely want to eventually get that. But Cannon Pistol is the best one to have uh, right off the bat. Chimera Pistol and Sky Crown Mace do wonders. Hey, that's that's true. What are you doing? You're dead. You suck. How's it feel? Um, yeah. So yeah, I would definitely get the Chimera Pistol towards the end game. Yeah. Sky Crown Mace is so awesome. I wonder what Sky Crown Mace and Wind Infuse looks like. Man, that has to be fast. Also, here's my opinion on the lamp posts. So you see these lamp posts out here? There's a blue one right there. There's one for each of the elements, the colors. And an elemental will spawn by one based on the color in the middle of the clock tower. For those of you who don't know what the clock tower puzzle is. I think that the lamp post should only glow when the elemental's in the area. I think that makes more sense. That way you wouldn't actually have to go back to the middle every single time. You could if you were there, or you could just walk, meander around and find the lamppost. Y'all hear Valheim is coming to Xbox with day one Game Pass release? I did hear that, Noah. I heard it was coming to Xbox. My brother, little, little brother, is very excited for that, actually. I think instead of Philosopher for a gun build, I take Hunter. Uh, I'd actually, instead of Hunter, I'd take Warrior Monk. I would 100% take Warrior Monk. Only reason I say Philosopher is if you've never used a gun before. Uh, I mean, you don't even have to use the mana that much. Yeah. I'd probably go Warrior Monk instead of Philosopher. You miss out on the fire resistance, which is nice, and fire damage. Oh my word, I'm freaking sick of you. Come here. Okay. Actually, I really want to do more Jinx right now. Um. Okay. So we need to get him up. What did I put on him? Poison? I did not expect that. What's wrong? You missed? There you go. There's poison and fire. I'm telling you, there is nothing more fun than watching your enemies die to rupture. Truly. A amazing skill that they put in that game. Or in this game, sorry. If you take Hex, Bloodlust will quickly restore your base and burnt stats. Something with a melee skill set would be better when you run low on shots. Yeah, I prefer the melee skills from the Warrior Monk skill tree over the Hunter, but Hunters work very well too. Uh, specifically, Predator Leap is amazing. Predator Leap is actually fantastic. I run a Rogue Hunter Monk. Interesting. And it's probably the best pure melee in the game. Use Chimera to open up and then go in with Red Lady's Dagger and Sky Crown. That's such an awesome combination, the Red Lady Dagger and Sky Crown. How can I help you? Well, I'd like to buy potions because I'm dang. Dang. Wow, that's not a word. I'm dying. Uh, we want Purity and we want Sanctifier. And then we're. Oh, that didn't even get rid of it. There we go. Uh, sell the Can I help you? two. Oh, I need to go to somebody else. I already spent all our money. Is there something you need? This guy should have money as you well. You better have the money. I 
That means I have enough skill for cleanse, which I haven't needed, but it could be helpful. Especially when I get to that level of uh, corruption. Now, I got the gemstone key, right? Gemstone B. Four purifying crystals. Jeez, I actually have some decent stuff for enchanting now, guys. We can get into that next, uh, next episode for sure. A couple... I mean, I don't have hardly any ice particles. That's what sucks. I don't have any decay at all. Hmm... Uh, let's keep those potions on me, and I think that's it. With that. Now I gotta go buy that skill. Yeah. Still plan on playing Outward even after the bow playstyle. You should totally bring back the Fire Spear build. You think so? Maybe I will. Someone wanted me to play with daggers as well. The Fire... The fire spear build looks kind of awesome. Uh, I'm kind of excited to try it. I have it all worked out percentage-wise and damage bonuses and everything. I just have to get in the game and see which enemies it's weak against and stuff. Uh, but it seems really good. In my book. Basically make yourself immune to fire and then get some bonus damage and stuff like that. Yeah. Sounded so hilariously fun. I would love to see it in action. <laughs> I don't know if we will do it live streamed. Uh, it depends. There's a lot of different things people have wanted me to do. Someone also wanted me to do a corruption build. If I don't actually bring it back, I am going to make a video on the build. Um, so once I make the video, you can you know comment on it and be like, hey... Definitely do this in a live stream, because uh, that would be cool. Made me think of Caveman Discovering Fire and Poke and Burn Unga Booga. Unga Booga. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like that, yeah. I mean, it makes use of petrified armor in a way, which is kind of like a prehistoric armor set in a way. be kind of fun to do. I can't, I can't say I'm not up for the idea. It'd be a lot of fun. But again, I'm kind of doing a spear build here too, so it's like, I'm doing a bow build, but spear is back up, so. It'd be fun to maximize the spear's damage. It also might be fun to do a, a full gauntlet build. I really need to do a full gauntlet build. I started one on a live stream, and I got killed, because it was a hardcore run, so. That was disappointing. That was a major bummer. Alrighty, guys. It is a half an hour past my bedtime. Or the time I was supposed to get off. I am going to have to hop off the stream now. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. The build is amazing. I love it. Does it have some shortcomings? Yes. It's not perfect. We are going to see how well it fares in Caldera next time. However... It was a lot of fun. I feel like it's very strong in the Antique Plateau. In the base game, it's excellent. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And the spear definitely as a backup is nice. Um, I need to refill the arrows so I can actually use the bow again. But, uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for coming out. Watching the stream. Thank you for staying so long. Some of you guys were here so long. And Grilled Ribeye just lived the dream. Azusio. Caustic. Noah, you guys, I mean, man. Thank you for coming out. I really appreciate the support. Uh, thank you for watching the videos as well. I need to go check how my other video did. I haven't even seen. I posted it two hours before. So. Oh, Silent Victim. Sorry you didn't get to stay too long. I, I do have to hop off, but glad you got to see it. Thank you. Appreciate the compliment there. Shop keep sell arrows. Uh, I think only the blacksmiths and... Some, the, some of the ones in Harmattan sell arrows. Some of the ones in Harmattan are weird. They have, like, separated shops. But, yeah. Uh, 
Thanks for Sean for the donation today. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming out and live streaming. The live streaming has been an amazing experience. Uh, it has really made Outward way more fun because I get to converse with you guys. And uh, yeah, so thank you. I appreciate that. We will get back into it next Tuesday. Well, not really next Tuesday, but Tuesday of next week will be the next stream. We will continue the bow build. I wanna, I wanna get, I wanna get this going. I wanna get into Caldera so we can get those videos on Three Brothers DLC stuff going and you know help some people out. So uh, appreciate it, Zuzio. Thank you for your comment there. I uh, hope you guys have a good night slash day, whatever it is for you. I will catch you next time and. Uh, yeah, can't wait to see you on Tuesday. So, I'll see you later.